Welcome to Warhammer! We're finally live! After a year of preparation and altogether too much champagne being consumed at this end, we're about to start Warhammer Fantasy Roleplays, the Enemy Within campaign. I could barely be more excited or more nervous. I have never done this before and I think that's the first content warning that we're going to offer. <laughs> we are not voice actors, we are not professionals, we have certainly got no idea how to sort out a sound rig and cameras and everything else, so our first content warning is if we make any errors, just accept it, that's pretty much what's going to happen. But we do have a Discord up there, if you see anything that you think's not worked out the way that we would prefer, and we want to be super polished and professional of course. Drop in there, give us some ideas. In particular, I'm gonna drop in two things that we know are the case. Number one, these cameras that are attached to our frame that you can't quite see as I ruin everything there, uh, shake. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. You won't be able to see that because you can just see me just now. Be aware of that, but don't tell us we already know and we're already crying. The second <laughs> one, we've got a map cam that sits up above me over there, which we'll be using later. That map cam is woefully insufficient. We know this. Uh, it, it, we need something that's going to zoom in and look super special and spiffy. We'll get one of those later, but if you happen to be a camera technician and you've got some ideas for how we could do it, do get into our Discord and do tell us. So. What are we doing? We are playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Now, for those of you who haven't played the role-playing game, and maybe have only played the battle game or one of the computer games or some equivalent, um, we're going to immediately start with another content warning. Warhammer is the original grim and perilous role-playing game. And we are going to be, at points, very grim and very perilous. So we're immediately going to open with, this is an adult stream. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to be dwelling on adult stuff the ins and outs of relationships perhaps, but we are most certainly adults, grown ass adults, which means we're going to swear, we're going to be dealing with some pretty grim things, because in the Warhammer world you've got horrible chaos gods, you've got bad guys that do really bad guy things, and the characters are going to be investigating a lot of this as they progress, and meeting, well, a lot of horror, body horror, blood, guts, awfulness, stabbings, betrayals, bigotry beyond anyone's realistic measure of what's acceptable in normal society, because that's the world that we're playing in. So this is a grown-ass adult stream. Now, we might not actually get into all the fucking swearing all the time, but we probably penis. will. <laughs> Our first penises have already arrived. <laughs> but we might. But I will also add, though, we've got ourselves a dictionary of euphemisms that we're also going to be using to make it all feel a little bit more Warhammer, because us shouting out various effing and blindings, which we will do when we're not being our characters all the time, because we almost can't help ourselves when we, I don't know, arrive at a greater demon or something before them. That's a real fuck moment. Uh, but we've got a host of euphemisms in a lexicon that we popped up online, a lexicon of slang. You can find that over our blog. It's all free, all up there. Everything we give to you will be free and up there. So that's Warhammer. That's our content warning. So what are we playing? We are playing The Enemy Within. The Enemy Within was originally created back in the 80s by a extremely talented team of writers and it became one of the most beloved role-playing campaigns ever written. Recently it went through a complete upgrade when Graham Davis, one of the original writers, came in and did himself an enormous director's cut of the entire campaign. I was there helping Graham along throughout the entirety of that process and enormous fun was had. One of the additions that Graham added, and something that's going to be very much a theme of what we're going to be doing here, was the concept of a grognard box. Now, when you read it, you might have said it as grognard, but it originally comes from French Napoleonic term for a grumbling old person who complains all the time, which I think is super relevant. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much super relevant. So, uh, the grognard boxes gave you options to play the enemy within campaign in a different way. So if, for example, the first encounter you had was a bunch of, let's say, thieves trying to steal your stuff, in a Gronyard box at the side, it might say, ha-ha, if you've got players who've played this before already, instead of thieves, you could go for Skaven. No, rat-like beastmen. You could go for, I don't know, cultists. You could go for almost anything. And the whole concept of a Gronyard box continued throughout all of the books to present different ways of playing it. And I think that that loosely and gently introduces the last thing that we need to talk about, and that's Lawhammer. Lawhammer is basically all of Warhammer redistilled and filtered through a Gronyard box. 
an alternative way of looking at everything. Uh, War Lawhammer has three things that I think are worth knowing if you're coming to this for the first time and so you understand exactly what we are doing here. Number one is rules. We're playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, the fourth edition of the game, and we're aware that quite a lot of the people that are going to be watching this might not know the rules. That being the case, we're going to take a certain amount of time for this session and maybe in the next couple of sessions to explain what we're doing. That's not just for you who may or may not be a beginner. That's also for us, because some of the people around this table have barely played Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. They're going to be as new to this as some of you out there, and that's one of the great joys of this particular stream. It's a beautiful mix of people. So. Not only are we going to teach the rules, we're going to teach our version of the rules. At the very beginning of Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, there's a nice little section that says something along the lines of, I'm going to paraphrase myself, I wrote this bit. Um, <laughs> look, my big head. Yeah, I wrote this bit. Uh, paraphrase myself, I said something along the lines of, everybody plays a different version of Warhammer when they're playing at home. And we recognise this and understand it throughout the course of this rulebook, we've put a bunch of optional rules in place. These optional rules are there so that you can ensure that your version of Warhammer matches your taste. If you're playing a dark and dr gritty bunch of beggars and rat catchers in the streets of Aldor stabbing each other in the back and generally bemoaning the fact that they can barely find a single bronze coin, then great, that's perfect. But if you're playing a super heroic Gotrek and Felix kicking greater demons in as if they're nothing as you pump them out the door and vampires swoop in the next day, that's also cool but they're going to have a slightly different angle in terms of the play style and the rules that you need for them. We provided a host of optional rules throughout the role-playing book, and this stream is a host of extra optional rules. Indeed, to ensure that our stream runs as smoothly as possible, we've rewritten every career, every talent, every skill, every magic spell, every miracle, pretty much the whole lot have been re-examined to ensure that they work really smoothly here at our table. And also importantly, because we're going to be doing combat on a, a table in front of us, work really smoothly for moving around with, on little squares. All of those rules go up in our blog. We're about, I don't know, 10% through posting them all just now. We just recently posted our new stress rules for what happens when you encounter the Grim the Perilous. It's not good. It's, 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 it's just not good. So the first thing about Lawhammer is extra rules. The next part is background. Uh, almost certainly with Warhammer being a living, breathing setting, Things that we present in this stream will be overwritten by somebody else at some point. And that's how it's meant to be, because when you're at home playing your game, you don't worry too much about what Games Workshop may have said about something. You're playing your hammer. Um, and when at home, I'm playing my hammer, low hammer in this particular case. Uh, our setting is very much all of the various settings pulled together from Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 1 through the, to Fantasy Roleplay 4, through all the war games, through all of the computer games, I've drawn from the lot and I've created the low hammer version of it all. Now, that means that we have to pin down certain details. Your hammer might have Altdorf with a population of 15,000. Your hammer might have it with a population of 105,000. Your hammer might have it with a population of a million. All of those are canonical to Games Workshop. My hammer, Law Hammer, has all of those, with the different numbers being used in different ways, which means it automatically contradicts some sources as we go along, and that's just what Law Hammer does. Be aware, if you are a big, huge follower of the lore, you're going to see all the lore coming in here, but you're also going to encounter some stuff that's, make, that's going to make you go, what the fucking hell is this? But how can they do that to that character? Because our setting is also, the second it starts, going to divert strongly from where the canonical end of the world is. They might, as the PCs, head it straight towards the end of the world and make it happen faster. Because Warhammer <laughs> is a five minutes to set the, to midnight setting. It's the sort of setting that suggests that at any moment, it could all go very wrong, the chaos gods could rise, and the end of the world occurs. The PCs may be responsible for that. They may equally, by their heroic endeavors, stave it off. And that's an important part of what Warhammer is. But to do that, they might do things that involve canonical characters that everyone knows and loves dying. And that's going to be a part of why Lawhammer isn't Warhammer. Whew, we're almost there. <laughs> One last thing to say. We've got, um, covered the rules being different. We've covered uh, the setting being different. Before I get on to the next bit, it says, I think it's time to bring in everybody else. Because they're all sitting there patiently going, does Andy ever shut up? <laughs> <laughs> he, he just keeps on going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the table in initiative order. Now, for those of you who don't know Warhammer, every card has got an initiative. That's one of your attributes. It shows you how quick-witted you are. Our least quick-witted character is sitting over here to the side. I won't say his name, um, but I will say he's to my side. If he could give us a quick 
who you are, who you're playing, and what is your experience with Warhammer? Hey, I am Andy. I'm playing Leupold, who's our warrior priest of Sigmar. Um, I've been playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay since first edition, back in the 80s. I've uh, played every edition in between, and I was one of the writers on fourth edition. Uh, so I had a hand in the core book, Enemy Within, Archives of the Empire, and most notably the starter set, where I did the Guide to Ubershark. You can see why I need to have a Lawhammer version of the Bloody Adventure. He fricking wrote bits of it. <laughs> now, to ensure that we keep someone like him on his toes is pretty important. I'm also going to add that Leopold, as you will find out, is a classic example of one of the things that Law Warhammer does really well with its random character generation. He rolled a giant. He's like six foot six or something? Six, six. Yeah, six six. He's really big. And because of random character generation, he's not the only giant in our party. <laughs> um, <laughs> As we move on to next in our initiative order... Not a giant. <laughs> um, I'm Dan, I am playing a Talabeckler bright wizard named Elric. He is a short arse. Uh, five foot eight, I believe. No, five foot six, I think. Um, my experience with Warhammer goes back to when I was 12, playing first edition in my local games workshop, and then never really played it until fourth edition, and I texted Andy. And he said, no, there's no games going. <laughs> so, you, we don't want you. Here's your hook. Uh, and then a year later, after post-COVID, we're here. Woo! <clears throat> um, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say much about Elric, other than Elric is a classic example of a character that you're going to see once you have learned more about him. Can you do that in the Warhammer setting? And the answer is yes, you can. I'm seeing nothing else. <laughs> moving on from that, we're go uh, moving on to... Hi everyone, I'm Sage. Um, I'm playing a Nipponese um, ambassador's daughter who is also part of the cult of Renard, uh, who's called Yume. Uh, my experience of Warhammer, I actually uh, painted some minis, played a couple games of Blood Bowl. That was pretty much it uh, until I joined this game. So I am probably one of the newest people here. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> One of my favourite bits of this character is the fact that Games Workshop has not really detailed Nippon, which means that we're in a position where we can. And that is the last of the three things that I was going to mention. We're going to world build like mad, and it's going to be going up onto uh, World Anvil Online where you can grab it all, and that means that we're going to map Nippon. We're going to add a whole bunch of extra provinces. We're going to do a bunch of big families, cool, mythical creatures that come from that place. We'll put art up for it, it'll be super fun. It's not going to be an entire uh, setting expansion, but it's certainly going to be enough for us to really get to grips with what Sage's character is like. And I think that's an important part of what our streams are going to offer too. Because if you fancy having something coming from there, a Nipponese ambassador equivalent, we'll have a host of information for you, which Games Workshop will almost certainly overwrite within a week. <laughs> Moving around the table, we move to our high initiative side. <laughs> Uh, hello everyone, uh, my <laughs> name is Ed Sylvester, I am playing Gerhardt of House Young Freud. Well um, done. <laughs> my experience of uh, Warhammer is a split one, so back in the day uh, during my teenage years I would angrily try and blob red some direction of a space marine's eyes whilst listening to uh, various <laughs> angry music um, and not going outside. Um, my experience of uh, role playing it is literally the last year as we've been setting up and getting ready to run the stream. Yeah, that's that's it, right? That's all we need to do? That's pretty much it. Excellent. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> see you. Um, uh, Ed's character uh, has a history and is actually in the Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay starter set. That character was originally conceived way, way back in the midst of time uh, when we were considering doing a actual play stream like this. And B, Sherry and I <coughs> were discussing different ways that we could seed the characters that we would eventually play into the setting so that if you picked up one of the books, you could say, oh, that's that character, what is here? And Gerhardt's entire setup was nothing more than is intrinsically linked to the big mess down in Ubersreich, if you know the Warmer Fancy Roleplay starter set, but is up in Altdorf. Meaning that you can, for example, immediately move into the Enemy Within campaign without any issue at all. Which is what we're doing. Perfect. We now move on to. Hi, I'm Kath. I play Birdie the Rat Catcher and her small but vicious dog, Meat Pie. 
I played Warhammer First Edition at uh, St Andrews University a million years ago, and then nothing, lots of other role playing games, but not Warhammer, until about a year ago when we started prepping this in my living room, because the table wasn't built. Um. <laughs> As I wobble it, is it even built yet? Um, one of the uh, great joys of Birdie is she shows that random character generation can make what looked like a giant look small. Birdie is huge! Random character generation for the win. Um, with white hair and is a, what I think is a fine example of something that we're doing with our version of the Anywhere Within campaign, which I'll go on to just as we finish as a little intro before we begin. But before we do that, we end up with... Hi, I'm Lindsay Law. I play Alamena Wife, an Aeonir spy from the Elven Enclave up in the north of the Empire. I've been playing Warhammer, Games Workshop games, with Fripp all of my adult life, some of my teenage life, with both the Andes. And um, I wrote part of fourth edition, and I'm happy to be back in this world. So am I. Good times. <laughs> um, this is our only non-human. Um, we did originally have a dwarf right. as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Um, we did originally have a dwarf as well, but unfortunately we couldn't carry on with that character. But she's still in our world out there. She's an NPC because she plays several of our pre-stream sessions. Um, so those character parts are still part of their history. And she might pop out an NPC and never know if her life circumstances changes. She may even come back and play her, which would be super fun. Um, but our only non-human and... Again, a representative of what Lawhammer is in comparison to what the current Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay is. We have created an entirely new set of rules just to deal with elves. Um, in particular, their over-emotional, hyper-teenage circumstances that they have to deal with. And what that reflects over into the Aether, the magical side of the Warhammer world, where their souls are bright and flare and flash to such an extent that demons like to chase them for lunch um, and ensuring that that doesn't happen is a part of elven existence and she is on a path that stops her from being under any particular danger it also restricts her character significantly in a variety of fun and exciting ways we'll be discussing that up on the blog for those of you who are interested in knowing exactly how that works so there's our peeps that's what we're doing Lohammer, Warhammer we're grown ass adults. Fuck, fuck, penis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite. Um, that's who we are. That's what we're doing. Um, the last thing to say is that our adventure is going to go in a host of very different directions than you might expect if you already know. And you can see why I'm having to do that, because two of the bloody players here have not only played it before, they've also written for the bloody game. Someone else has already read chunks of it, not that I'm looking at someone in particular. Um, <laughs> and that means that I have to make sure that it's fresh. That also means though, that it will be an entirely fresh take for you as well. So if you happen to be someone who's playing the enemy within at home, maybe you're part through part one, two, three, up to five, don't worry too much. Our one is going to veer so wildly in a different direction that you might be surprised. Um, largely because I had conversations with Graham, who did the director's cut, that lasted for years. I spoke with him every single week throughout the course of that. And we created so much cool stuff. And our work pattern was, he put all together the director's cut, edited it, made it cool, sent it to me, and I added on all the extra stuff. And then we giggled like little maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, as I was halfway through doing book one, I giggled like maniac and resigned. Meaning that all the extra stuff that Graham and I discussed and I had in tons of notes didn't really come to pass. A new team came in, they took it in their direction and that's super cool because there's yet another version you can look at. But I'm gonna draw from all of those grown yard boxes that Graham and I created and we're gonna play, play, pardon me, a very different, let's say fresh view of what the enemy within is. But it starts in the same place. And it starts with one of the most iconic beginnings that uh, many a role player may have encountered, because it starts with Wanted Brave Adventurers, episode one.
But the intelligence bar is still, still there. Pardon? That's you. Oh, oh, we're back. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was super professional. As I said, get used to this. We've never done this live before. It's going to be so slick. It's ridiculous. I was sitting there speaking to our producer in the background going, are we live? Yeah, are we live? Yeah, you're live. Oh, right. So let's get started. Jazz. 2,500 years ago, Sigmar bound together 12 great tribes of humanity and created the empire. His life, his deeds and his action turned to myth. And in time, Sigmar was deified by his people. And he became the patron deity of the empire. 2,500 years later, and the empire still stands, just. It has been through multiple wars, many civil issues, and has collapsed frequently. But 200 years ago, it was bound together again when a new emperor, Magnus the Pious, faced off against an encroaching threat from without and crushed it at the gates of Kislev. The priests of Sigmar preached, one must be aware at all times of this enemy that lies beyond our borders. One must protect oneself, one's soul, by one's deeds and one's actions. We must band together as the folk of the empire. And they demanded that the civil issues of the past were cast aside and stopped. We must be ready for this happening again. However, as the years passed by and the Sigmarites banded together and built walls against the enemy without, they perhaps did not look for the enemy within. Oh, what was the title? <laughs> <laughs> it is a cold early evening. Seven relatively freezing characters are making their way along a road, having come recently from the town of Delbrain, where it is fair to say they were not entirely welcome. <laughs> That issue that they've been facing is the current problem for a man by the name of Lucas. He's in his 50s, grey hair hanging down one side, covering an eye patch, which is still red and livid from the marks that are feeding out of it, holding tightly to his side and leaning heavily on a stick. As he reaches <sighs> to hold his stick and go, Master, master, we're getting closer and closer to the Altdorf Middenheim Road. And I think it's fair that we're going to have to come to a decision as to exactly what sort of pseudonym you're going to use. Oh, uh, a pseudonym, you, a uh, nom de guerre. Or something yes. along those lines. Right, yes. Um, I've been th so I've been thinking a long time about this. Um, and obviously I can't go with the current name due to, you know, everything that's happened. Um, I don't want anything too common. You know? Right. Well, I think it's actually fair that we represent... I mean, I, I don't think you could be too common. No, it, well, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, it's sort of a, a hide-in-plain-sight kind of situation. So, um, I mean, you know you know the, the houses relatively well, um, and it is it is right to, to take the opinion of those who are lesser than oneself into account. So, who do you suggest that I should... Uh, Portray. Um, uh, if I'm honest, um, Master, and he fidgets a bit and then continues walking forward, uh, I'd rather it was something that you're familiar with because well, I, I, my awareness of politics is mostly Middenland. Um, okay. Uh, and you're from the south of Reichland and your accent betrays you. Oh, uh, accent? Um, Ella Menowith will just, because she's slightly agitated that we've stopped mm -hmm. in the open, she's just going to slide slowly backwards. Right, so I'm going to mention trees. this. Can you bring up the map cam if you haven't already, Erin? We've got ourselves a bunch of tokens out here, which we uh, generally use to show the uh, order of where everybody is. This is just in case I immediately shout, Abush! And uh, <laughs> that means that the players already know where they are. They've forgotten to move themselves. Clearly, they were having a small side conversation. And I'll jump in and I'll move whatever ambushers might be into place if required. In this particular instance, there are no ambushers, obviously, but uh, Lindsay gave a nice uh, show of how she shows that um, Alan Menowet moves off um, away from the party. Uh, where are you? There? Um, there. Are you moving ahead or are you moving out to the side? Um, 
she's moving out to the side. Does anyone have acute sense hearing? No. No. <laughs> I, I, I look smug. Meat so pie does. Meat pie does. Ah, oh, excellent. Can I have a test from meat pie, please? Uh, 40% as I recall. Meat pie. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, uh, here's our first rule here's and our first right. change for how we do things in comparison to how it is in the fancy roleplay book. Every single test in Warhammer Fancy Roleplay requires a D100. If you roll equal or under it, you pass. Great. Um, there's also a mechanic in Warhammer called Advantage. We have simplified Advantage to just one single rule, which is, if you have it, you have plus 20 on your test. That's it. So if your skill was 40, 60 or less, and you pass. And you either have Advantage or you don't. That's it. No more, no less. Advantage has got a bunch of applications in combat, and when you're out of combat and you've got time and there's no pressures on, you always have Advantage, which means you actually have plus 20 on that test. No, <laughs> the Pie is clearly far more concerned with the chilliness um, that he's going with. He snuffles up by your feet and continues walking along. Um, so, so uh, if I were to recommend anything, uh, he says, first is, could we keep on moving, actually? Um, I, I, I don't want to stop. Oh, yes. No. Um, we, we need to get some sort of in soon because I don't want to camp outside again. That will be awful. Um, um, but, 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 but might I suggest you actually speak to the, the, the father? Yes, no, certainly. Uh, so I'll turn towards, uh, sorry, Gerhard turns to Leopold. Um, Lucas suggests that I talk to you around this, uh, as far as a nom de guerre. Sorry, you don't speak Bretonian. Um, a, a false name. <laughs> Leopold gives a, a long suffering roll of his eyes. Yes, I, I, I'm familiar with the concept, my lord. Right, okay, good, good stuff. Excellent. Good to know that you're aware. I mean, yeah. so theoretically, he says that we should look for something around the area and, you know, like. We, we grew up relatively close together. What do you think? Somewhere down near by the Grey Mountains? Yeah, some somewhere in within the Duchy of Ubersreich, but not actually associated with your father. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Something on those lines. Well, Widow's Veil vale is probably the best bet. House Shadowfaust? Yes, that sounds excellent. House Shadowfaust. Shadowfaust. Sh Shadowfaust. Shadowfaust. Yes, very much. Lucas? Yes, I heard. Yes, okay, <laughs> so I shall he looks be... looks up at the priest um, with, with eyes that suggest thanks and then looks back towards you and says, perfect, it's Shadowfaust. Shadowfaust. So uh, you shall refer to me now collectively and uh, Gerhard turns to everybody. Arms wide. Okay. Could we do that while we're walking? Yeah, no, no fine. I, well, I can walk backwards, don't worry. Walking backwards. Uh, you shall refer to me now as Carl Shadowfaust, okay? Carl of House Shadowfaust. Uh, well, obviously, yes. Of House Shadowfaust. Right, well that's something. Is there a Carl of House Shadowfaust? Not exactly. The, <laughs> the, the Lord of Widow's Fail is, is older and he doesn't have uh, many offspring that are legitimate yet. Right. So his lordship could well be a recently legitimised heir. Very much so. So low key. He suppresses mirth, it's quite clear. The, the idea of you being a bastard amuses him. <laughs> um, I mean, he, he did spend a lot of time in Oldorf. <clears throat> Quite. <clears throat> well, uh, that being the, and as he says that, you hear, because um, you're up at the front, I believe, um, the sound of hooves rumbling along the road. Now, this is a rare event for the last two or three weeks as you've been making your way through the forest. There has been an almost complete lockdown on coaches for reasons that you're still not entirely aware of, but you kind of guess at. Um, and travel has been almost at a minimum. You've barely met anyone. The sound of rumbling hooves could mean almost anything. Um, Alamanoith will, will appear, will slide out at the front, <gasps> which she used to be expecting. Riders coming, get off the road. Into the ditch. Again. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> will just trudge across. <clears throat> uh, one that... Uh, <clears throat> A downside for being Elric is as you make your way down in, you hit a scree of sharp rocks and it almost digs into his bare feet, which is worth noting. Um, it's cold, but not too bad. Your feet are tough. I've walked on worse, it's fine. Quite. What's Yume doing? Um, Yume will probably follow Elric. So Yume will move down with Elric off towards the side. And I'll yes. amend away. Watch your footing. And perhaps you will also readjust her hat on her head. Yeah, perfect. Her oh, yeah, fall over by Gerhardt. That sounds good. Um, rumble, uh, rumble, 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 rumble. Yeah. If you 
just move Birdie closer to close his neck. Yep, yeah, sounds good yeah. to me. Perfect. Perfect. And the and dog Mikhail. is going to be very close to you. There's no way Meat Pie's get, getting away from your ward. Do you want to be between Gerhardt and the road? Not really, but I suppose I should. <laughs> <laughs> In no time, horses turn to a coach that careens around the corner. Coach is on the road again. This is the first coach you've encountered for some time, and it blasts by at an enormous rate. And the top of it is a coachman with a blunderbuss as he looks out. The one beside him with the whip cracking it shouts, Where? But you can't help think it's early evening, and you know there's nothing back there. You've been travelling all day from the last inn, and you expect to encounter another inn, hopefully at any moment, but you have yet to do so. What the heck is the coach going at this hour? Um, can we see any kind of colours or insignias on the coach? It is completely without. Mm-hmm. Is it Suspicious. black? It is not black. I'm sorry to say the stereotype has been ruined. <laughs> <laughs> do, uh, is it, has it, sorry, has it, has it entirely passed? The uh, it will pass by very swiftly, but if there's something you want to do, if you wish to, you more than certainly can. Any livery? No, 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 no. Without? Probably not. Maybe. Do you want to? What do you That's think? enough time for it to have gone. <laughs> <laughs> rumble, 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 rumble. As mud splashes up from the wheels. There is a chance that Birdie gets caught by said mud, but I don't think it'll make much difference given her long coat is already covered in mud. Splat, 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 as it goes by. Curious. It's enough for Lucas to look at it with a, a half frown. We should probably be getting on, he says. Hmm. I hope they weren't looking for you. Uh, well, I mean, if they were, they would not find me. They would find Carl Shadowfaust. So <laughs> impeccable. <sighs> exactly. <laughs> impeccable. He says, "Let's let's get moving." He says, "Carl Shadowfaust." Right. Just um, as he sort of steps forwards, Gerhardt just like takes a quick clock of of how he's running because obviously he's taken a little bit of a beating recently. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, Lucas, do you do you want do you need a hand at all, or is there anything that can we can do? He says, for you? I, "I would really like to be warm." Just just get it. Oh, uh, no, not that sort of warm. <laughs> <laughs> he says, looking at the bright wizard. Bright wizards are pyromancers. For those of you that don't know, but there's more of the boom sort of pyromancy rather than the boom sort of pyromancy. There's levels, <laughs> <laughs> and all bright wizards totally recognise those. Yeah. <laughs> As uh, he says, I, 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 I'm fine. We just you, you just get you know to uh, somewhere warmer. Right, fine, good, good. Fortunately, food. it turns out that somewhere warmer is only about twenty minutes away. Yeah. The walk is cold and growing colder as the sun dips down beneath the treetops. Off to your right-hand side, the dark shadows of the Five Sisters can be seen in the far distance. Huge peaks. Five of them, unsurprisingly. And eventually, ha! the warm glow of a a coaching house can be seen ahead of you. Now, you've passed more than one coach house over the course of your last couple of weeks, and most of them have had no coaches. But this one clearly has hopefully guested one recently, or it just drove straight past it. The coaching house itself has a fence all the way around it to try and keep near do wells and the worst that the forest has to offer out. But interestingly, the front of it is entirely bedecked with frescoes, images of gods. One of the gods has been completely scraped out. Interestingly, it's Sigmar. <laughs> um, it rather imaginatively says, get fuck F-U-K out O-W-T. That's a nice welcome for you. Oh, there is, however, an incredibly crude rendition of other gods. Verena, the goddess of wisdom. Ulrich, the god of winter wolves. Oh, if oh, that's a wolf. If that's a wolf, meat pie's a wolf. Um, they're definitely related. They're in the same area, but it's not the best rendition. They even have a rendition of Myrmidia, the southern goddess, the goddess of war and strategy, um, sitting, leaning upon a shield. Clearly, they've never been to a temple of Myrmidia in their life. They've just presumed it's an imperial soldier and um, positioned her like so with a sun sitting behind her, clearly marking her out as the goddess of strategy. 
more importantly, beyond these frescoes and the incredibly welcoming sign, is the warmth of a door. The light of fire. He doesn't want to go running towards it because clearly he's meant to wait for you. Um, but you can see there's a certain amount of almost constipated anticipation coming from Lucas as he looks towards it and says, Sir, we'll be staying the night in good rooms this time? Oh, Lucas, of course, only the best. Yes. <laughs> Not the common room. Uh, well, I mean, it's good to it's good to be seen with, you know, those others. Um, but, Scene. Yes, exactly. Rub, rub, rub elbows and, and sort of get the lay of the land. But uh, ultimately, yeah, we'll get our own private rooms. Don't you worry about that, Lucas. Especially, well, for yourself. You can have a full bed well, to Could yourself. we go and not talk? The, oh, of course. Uh, yes, certainly. Um, let's, let, us, let us go. <clears throat> Gerhardt strides self-importantly towards the door. Um, nobody let him get the room. He says, somebody interrupted Bird, Birdie intercepts <clears throat> with a hand. Oh, hello. Allow me, my lord. Although bodyguarding you is more of a hobby since you don't pay me. <clears throat> she opens the door. Opens the door. Oh, it is warm. A roll of heat passes over you. On the inside, immediately, <clears throat> big mutton chops, big smile when somebody's coming into his inn as he goes, well, thank fuck, he says. <laughs> Business has been shite, <laughs> he says. Come in, come in. Oh, it's a party. It's a party, he says. Whew. Yeah, we got a party. The inn itself is not particularly well stocked with happy goers. This place could easily accept a hundred or more souls. We don't have a hundred or more souls. There's one party sitting in the corner and it does not look particularly, let's say, open to interruption. A noble woman um, who is um, sitting, leafing through a book. Her hair is held up high and she is dressed impeccably. Her face is clean. She has not been on the road. How the hell did she even get here? As um, she flicks through the book, looks up, wrinkles her face at seeing you and looks back down. Opposite her is a woman that would give you probably a good run for your money in an arm wrestle. She's very stocky, big, long, blonde braids hanging down from either side of her head. She looks at you and she gives a completely different appraisal. It's more of a, mm-hmm, that's potentially trouble. Mm-hmm. So and angelic looking. It's so angelic with your... <laughs> that's one of us entering. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Opposite there is a maid who's currently doing some knitting. She looks over and then looks down. In another corner are two men drinking. They look over. One of them, big mutton chops, points over. The other one nods and one of them immediately stands. The other without the mutton chops. He's got long, dark hair in his 30s and he starts moving over towards you already. Over in yet another corner is a young man. Long robes of a scholar. He has a marvellous page boy haircut. A thin neck, a pronounced Adam's apple. He doesn't even look up. He is nose deep in his book. Behind the bar is a man who looks like he wishes no one else was coming in, quite unlike the innkeeper who has recently greeted you and is rubbing his hands together. Who's coming in after Bernie? I believe you are. I would have been right behind us. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, he smiles as he tries to look at um, everybody else at the back. Is anyone acknowledging him as they come in? Oh my goodness, you're huge. <laughs> and so are you. This is very... Uh, uh, <laughs> Right. There's an obvious pause when he sees the wizard. Partly takes the elf in with ease. <laughs> but the wizard was enough for him to go, mm. Right. Good <clears throat> evening, innkeeper. I do hope you have stew. Uh, well, we, 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 we always have stew. I thought as much. Right. <laughs> uh, will you be looking for rooms? Yes. Excellent. Yeah, and he well, looks around. He says, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess you'll be looking for seven rooms." How much are they? He says, "I will not need a separate room." They're, they're, they're only three shillings. No, nothing. I mean, yes, maybe that isn't. To, maybe to you, my lord. Yeah, well, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's yeah. There's a lot of rats. There. He <laughs> says, "Well, why don't you get yourself warm by the fire?" 
He says, go sit yourselves down. He says, and uh, I'll go and get your keys. He says, uh, uh, if you need a drink, he says, you'll, you'll need a drink. In fact, why don't you just sit yourself down? I'll get some drinks for you all. I'll bring them over. <laughs> and then we can discuss exactly what you need once you're all settled in. He Excellent. says. Are there any Good. low beams or high chairs? The, uh, <laughs> in itself, the end itself does indeed have um, beams that go right down almost to the floor to uh, either side of the room. One, two, three, four of them in this large uh, tap room. Well, Ellen and wife will go to where near the fire and get a chair and hop up and just swing one leg down, looking over the whole... Ah! Whoa. As a bird okay. that was hiding behind <laughs> one of the beams immediately flaps up um, and crosses over the open space and lands on another beam and looks at you like you are possibly a demon. Um, the black eyes beadily look at you. Oh, never mind, Blackie. Never mind, Blackie, Mr. Self. Never mind, Blackie. He says, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Sell down! He says... Right, I'll go, I'll go get your keys. No, oh, sorry, just before you go, one second. Um, a full-bodied red. Ideally. We do have some bottles of red. Oh, great, excellent. Uh, Elric, you usually join me with the red? I, I'll have a glass. Sure, Wonderful, yeah. perfect. Two glasses and the rest of them don't have a uh, refined taste. So it's okay. Right, he says, we'll get you sorted out. Um, we, we've got no glasses. Do you have your own steins? Uh, I could bring a cup. Excellent, perfect, very good. I'll bring some cups, he says, and pops over. As he moves away, almost like he was a ghost, he immediately almost apparates in the space that was held. The one who walked over to you earlier. His dark hair hanging down as he uh, smiles. Afternoon. I have got a proposition, he says. Weary travellers on the road. He says, I imagine you're going to be needing a coach. Albert just crosses his arms and is like, can, can we not even just sit down first? He says, well, it's just that me and my companion just happened to have a coach and have run out of drinking money. <laughs> he says, so I thought it would be in my interest and in my good companion's interest and of course in your interest if a business venture were, let's say, opened up before us. He says, we happen to have a coach. Work for Ratchet Lines, and whilst legitimately we weren't supposed to go down this road, it wasn't our fault. It's just that we <laughs> thought this was the way to Del Bears. Turns out this is the way to Del Bren. Oh, yes. So, um, well, we're late now, so we decided just to go the fuck back to Altdorf, actually. <laughs> so, we're going back to Altdorf. If you're going to Altdorf, have I got a proposition for you? If you're going to Del Bears, he says, maybe I have a proposition for you as well, because we would really like to have some drinking money. Um, <laughs> but, but it will be a... Well, we've already been... He says, are you going out of? My lord. Well... Well, uh, uh, sorry. Just, this is a strange proposition to just come upon us. But probably yes. However... I need to clarify a few th a few things beforehand. Number one, uh, you say you have a coach. Do you have horses? <laughs> <laughs> he says, I would not be much of a coachman if I had the bit in my own mouth, is what I'm saying. Yes, I do. Okay, wonderful. And also, well, I, I would obviously have to look at the horses, see how many hands high they are, and you know how thoroughbred and all that sort of thing. Uh, uh, my, my lord, uh, uh, why don't we deal with that particular part? That's true, yes, okay. What, Lucas, do you want to do the negotiation? Uh, um, are we going to Aldorf? Are we going to Aldorf? I well, I, don't know I, we I should probably ask everybody realistically rather than just make a general decision on behalf uh, of them. Excuse all. me. And he turns around and brushes down his front. He says, "My lord will make a decision later. Now, please bugger off." Oh, right. I'll save uh, me having to do it. Oh well, he says, "If you happen to fancy buying someone a drink, I'm over in the corner." Says me and the mate. <laughs> says, come on over, we'll be happy to talk. And uh, you hear a, a media, don't do day. <laughs> <laughs> he starts going back. <clears throat> Lucas, invaluable as ever. Thank you very much. Now we have some space. Do you want to go to Adolf? Huh. Bill poster. On the other side of the thing that you happen to be perched upon. <laughs> I'll let if we'll get up. Go over, reach out a long arm, 
Well, you can worry about that while he's mm. discussing with said party. I mean, I know I would like to go to Altdorf because I have um, some various bits of unfinished businesses. I know you wanted in Altdorf. I know I wanted in Altdorf, but <laughs> okay, I mean, that's true. <laughs> I know that I wanted in Altdorf, but Lucas, Carl Shadowfaust is not wanted in Altdorf. And that wasn't the point of creating a pseudonym. Well, I, I mean, it was the point of creating exactly. I mean, I mean, there's a wolf with a particularly open mouth at your throat. It is un generally unwise to push it in further. I mean, my metaphor is pretty direct. I no, I understand your metaphor. However, to rebut, if one was to place their head more into the wolf's mouth, they would be unable to close their jaws. So it would obviously. <laughs> You know, uh, if Liverpool will, will sort of lean in, uh, perhaps my own more apt metaphor would be if the wolf had something valuable in its jaw, you could snatch it from there quickly before it, it bites. Might that be more apt? And true, that's exactly that's what I said anyway. So, yes, <laughs> I'm just happy for support. <laughs> he says, Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> hold, hold on, why were we on the road to Aldorf if we weren't going to Aldorf? Exactly. You hadn't what? decided whether you were going north or south well, yet. Perhaps this may settle it for us. I have found something. I shall read it. Wanted. Bold adventurers. His Excellency. Oh, this is terribly written. It's it's so difficult to make out. Someone else read it. <laughs> <laughs> you may. Why don't you? Nobody. <laughs> um you may well uh, write herself a little bit, um, getting back to her, her roots of having to read something out loud. Um, oh, oh gosh, it, it is really hard to read. Um, <laughs> Isn't it though? It's uh, shoddy. The Crown Prince... Hergard? Oh, for me. Nergard? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Ner Nergard. Perhaps pass it to Leopold. He may be good with gothic Tass script. <laughs> Tassernik, I believe. Uh, yeah, Hergard von Tassernik. Von Tassernik? Grand, Grand Prince Proudly. Uh, uh, you don't even need to roll. Now you know exactly who that is. He's the Crown Prince. It's a little bit like saying who's I don't the know. Crown Prince. Yeah. Um, the local Prince of the Realm. Oh, right. um, except he's a little bit further away over in Oslo. Awesome. Yeah, so he um, hereby gives notice that he is currently resident in Altdorf oh. and wishes to engage the services of a party of skilled adventurers. Employment is to begin as soon as possible for an indefinite period. Would-be applicants are forewarned that they shall be... Uh, we'll talk about this when you're not here. Lucas, um, <laughs> but we'll be visiting, visiting the Grey Mountains. <laughs> Panic um, crosses his face. <laughs> to a matter of utmost delicacy. Now that is good to know. Um, and absolute discretion is required. Oh, that means money. Now, read how much it is. Read how much it is. is. Ooh. Well, it's negotiable, is what it is, apparently. Oh, but there's um, a minimum rate. Depending on experience, but a minimum of eight shillings per person per day is guaranteed. In addition, to a generous <laughs> bonus on completion of the mission. I, I'm less interested in any old mission. He says, but I am rather interested in the fact that the Crown Prince might be there. And also, to be fair, he has asked for discretion. So if he requires discretion, then his discretion shall also become our discretion. Does that make sense? One would hope that the discretion is reciprocal. Exactly. A discre to be discretion, to be discreet about the discretion <laughs> is what we require. <laughs> Indeed. Um, is it though? He, he does so. <laughs> un unfortunately say no laggards, cowards, nor dwarfs need apply. Well, that's none of us. We're fine then. All right. <laughs> oh, we do need the money. There you go, my lord. To me. I mean, we all have. Thank you. Uh, we all have skills. Certainly. Uh, I know a lot of us do. My, my, my lord, <laughs> I, I think you're missing the, the bigger point here. <laughs> yes, Lucas. Well, bluntly, who cares about their silly mission? What's more important is that he's in Altdorf. It's very true. And you said that possibly there might be some opportunity in presenting an alternate version of how things could proceed to your father. Oh, right, yes. Um, that's... We could, you mean, Lucas, that we could approach him for politically? <laughs> Not so bluntly, but yes. Influence. 
I mean, I, uh, quite quite honestly, the uh, money that's actually It wouldn't surprise me if he's actually an Aldorf because of what bloody happened. Do you think so? Well, I don't know so, but it might be so. Well, then we'll have to see if it is so-so. It could just be a cover. I mean, he's going to need to have a cover. So his cover is he goes to Altdorf to look for... It probably could be a cover. That, it would th- be strange for him to be here without that in, in, in the first place. Well, no. I mean, Altdorf is a normal place for someone of his ilk to go to, particularly but, representing his father. But Particularly if you are en route to the Grey Mountains. Yes, yes. But, but we have talked before about... Might I say that the Grey Mountains are very close to Ubersweig? Yes, no. I, I'm very aware. You're not getting what I'm saying. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, you think... Oh... What Penny I'm saying has dropped. Is, <laughs> should should the royal household of Ostland have mm. issue with the emperor's recent proclamations in Ubersreich, he may require a reason to be making his way there. And you, not more than a few days ago, said that you wouldn't like to go back to your father. How did you put it? Well, you didn't say cap in hand. You said something a little more. I think apt. it was with his tail between his legs. No, I don't think he said that. Oh, um, no, I'm absolutely. sure he said that. So. His hat between his legs? <laughs> <laughs> it would be good to have that as somebody pon side and to be going to my father from a position of strength, to say the least. Um, I don't wish to... Well, I, I, I might get more into it at another at a, at a, at a point, but ultimately um, I will not return in a way that is not befitting of a good return. You, you know what I mean. You've read it in the books and things like that, a, a glorious return of the prodigal son, even though technically it's not me, it's my older brother. But you understand. <sighs> you may perks up and goes, mm, without your stocking uncinched. Exactly, yes. Without the stocking uncinched. That is the wonderful way to put it. Right, so um, to reinforce that, you might be in a position where if he is looking for, let's say this is a cover. Yes. He might be interested in potentially gathering aid for your father and you might be in a position where you could potentially approach him for that it it couldn't hurt to find out well it might hurt well (laughs) it might be be worth sending somebody in your stead is what i'm suggesting kidnap being a very real thing kidnap the the prince no you you. i know i understand (laughs) well sometimes it's difficult yeah you want your bloody drinks yeah oh yes a thin muscular man <laughs> comes over with a large tray full of steins, cups, one bottle, two large jugs of ale and drops it down. There you go. And then he moves away. Thank you. Perfect. Um, I mean, if we're looking for anybody to have sort of, you know, uh, subterfuge in real open discourse, then you, you may, you're well positioned to have that conversation for us. I mean, obviously, we'll get you there in the first place. Mm, I mean... Do you, by any chance, have a whole outfit for her? She currently looks like an out of street rat. We can buy that when we get there. But can we? Yes. Right, of course. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm having a drink, he says, as he pours himself <laughs> one. I don't necessarily know if I have any standing, since, you know, my family is missing... My friends are missing. On the same night that you were almost arrested. Do you think that she would be tied up? Are you tied up with us? <laughs> you oh. think? Oh, God. I don't Sorry. Longer. Carl. Carl. Oh, Carl. <laughs> Good. You know, we, we were just... Oh, my Lord. You better. No. <laughs> We've known each other yeah, a long time. Long. Perhaps it has something to do with that. I don't know. Oh, you think sort of guilt by association? My my mom and your dad hang out a lot, right? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I, I think I'm going to take that cue to go and suggest that I possibly take my drink and ask them if we can get a coach ride. Find out how good much it costs. Good idea, Lucas. Are, are we convinced this is a good idea? No. Yes. <laughs> No, but then when are we ever I mean, worried about we're going to Aldorf. You need to go it's to Aldorf, Aldorf, Elric, to get your testing, your key, your... So that I am no longer a journeying apprentice. Exactly. I have become a fully licensed Magister of the Empire. So I don't want to go, but we'll go. Or I'll go anyway. And that means that you can... Alaric is suddenly drinking his wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's become mold. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, then. He itches at his eye patch. Um, right. Excellent. I'll go and haggle, he says. And he uh, toddles off towards the two. 
One of them looks up, nudges the other, <laughs> <coughs> looks down at his stein, looks up, and um, there's a nod. <laughs> they both look really rather excited <laughs> as he makes his way over, and they're excitedly nodding over to the other side of um, the inn hall. It looks like you've made yourself a couple of very happy coachmen. <clears throat> they carry on with their discussions. Leaving you to, what, make plans for Altdorf? Would anyone like some music? I shall play my flute. Oh, God. Would you like to play alongside me? I, do you know what? If you could uh, give us a something solo, and I'll see what I can join in with. Absolutely. Alan and wife will get out her flute in her vantage point. Play! Do your good old <laughs> play flute roll. <laughs> Let's see how well this goes. <laughs> Uh, two success levels. Super. Two successes. So uh, we play fast SL as it's marked inside the core rulebook. That means whenever we roll a D100, whatever the tens number is, is how many successes we have. This massively balances out all of the various uh, exploding dice rolls that can potentially happen inside one fancy role play, which is pitched at heroic play. We're a little bit more dialed down from that. We use fast SL. Um, so we tend, tend to refer to our successes as successes so that we don't get mixed up between successes and fails, things going wrong. So we rarely use the success level language just because sometimes when you say minus four success levels, that might be heard as four success levels. So we just say four fails. It's gone badly. Everything's gone wrong and it's rubbish. In this particular case, she's done pretty well as she pulls out her foot and tootles what sort of air? A country air. Oh, a country air. From, with... um, from Nong. Oh. So actually more of a... A, a southern country a southern air. Country oh, air. I, I rather like that. As she starts tootling away, it's got an almost military undertone. Okay, well, seizing upon that military undertone. Let's get out there. Loot, Gerhard pulls a good out in front of him. Oh ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay. Upon seeing that, you note that the noblewoman across the room looks over, didn't care about the appearance of sudden elven flute music, but upon seeing the loot, she looks up, frowns a little bit, and looks somewhat surprised. How did you do? Uh, five successes there, Andy. Oh, you did really well! Yeah, as you pluck yeah. up that tune <laughs> and start <laughs> strumming away, as she looks over and involuntarily can't stop her feet from tapping. Um, she looks over and she nods and she says something to the rather heavy set woman um, sitting opposite her, um, who shrugs. Mm. She, and um, she sits and she watches and she, as um, the pair of you, deciding that her book is no longer as interesting as what you offer. The uh, gentleman in the corner with the book looks up with veilly, veilly? Thinly disguised, thinly veiled perhaps, no. disgust, um, <laughs> at all the noise going on, like it somehow ruined his book. Looks at his drink, looks at your noise, closes his book, and shall we say, slightly passively aggressively stomps up <laughs> the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> Not entirely happy with this uh, intrusion. I'll, I'll, I'll play a bit louder. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the tempo of the stomps and just incorporate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Um, the uh, innkeeper comes over not really quite clapping his hands together but making definitely the impression that he's about to he's obviously trying to interrupt he's not sure who he should be speaking to and sort of hovers looking really uncomfortable can we help you there's the bloody rooms i mean the rooms he says um, we've got um uh got, we, we, we've got you they're bloody good don't they he says oh, yeah. we don't normally get he says you know, musicians round here. Yeah? You can keep them, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have very good room rates. He says, if you're willing to pay, we'll keep them as long as you want. <laughs> <Tempting>. <laughs> what do you think of that, eh? Tempting. Oh, we could do you a tour around the Five Sisters, although I don't think I'd be going myself. Maybe we could just leave the instruments here. Um, he looks at them. I don't think they'd agree. They look expensive. Uh, right, so for uh, everything up... Uh, uh, do you deal with coin? Lucas normally does. Leopold. And father. Right. Uh, well, I'll be dealing with you then. Hmm. Right. So. Right. Um, is, is he standing up? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, to, to, to make things equal, Leopold will we'll stand up as well because that's what one does, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. And Birdie will join you. <laughs> Forming a very tall wall. <laughs> um, Elric stands there, but he's behind everyone. <laughs> 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 um, uh, right. So, uh, are you, you are you sharing rooms? I'm presuming not. Yeah. I th- I, th- I think uh, while his lordship would require a room uh, to himself, his retainers are able to to share. Is there a common room? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, 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 that, uh, there is, he says, or you can even sleep in tap room if you want, although, you know, I wouldn't. It gets pretty drafty in here. Oh, I think I'll be fine. All right, so one, he says, what, one for the good gentleman who's, um, and um, you're hearing laughter over in the corner where Lucas is chatting away with the, uh, the two coachmen. Well, I believe his, his lord's personal servant would probably share his room. So that he can offer him private counsel and so on. Do you have a twin room? There he is. No, well, we, we've got room with quarters, so he could sleep in quarters. Hmm. Right. So one, uh, uh, one each for the good ladies. As he looks up and he starts half clapping again, as um he looks up at you playing, and then stops. So one, two, three, common room. And he reaches Elric will sagely nod. Arms folded. Oh, one for yourself, or you, you, you're going to... I can sleep in the common room. Right. Um, and, and your good lady self? You'll be needing a room, I presume. You know. I'll just share with one of these two. It's fine. I don't mind sharing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he says, well, obviously you're folk of good standing. He says, let's not worry much, too much about that. I'll go get your rooms prepared. He says, and we'll bring you over some food. As you tap away. And Thank the song you. comes to an end. The noble woman in the corner claps, which immediately causes her, you presume, bodyguard to go. <laughs> um, the uh, girl who's sitting over, presumably a maid servant, um, looks up and um, puts down her knitting, picks it back up again, <laughs> and gets back to what she was doing. Uh, over in the corner, the two coachmen. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly a passive aggressive thump from above you. <laughs> <laughs> Shall there be more? Says the noble lady as she calls out. I should like to hear more. Interesting. Um, you have an admirer, my lord. Well, you pick this time. Oh, I pick. Oh, yeah. excellent. Um, a lament. <gasps> a lament. A lament. Excellent. I, I love a lament. Too rowdy now, so let's bring it down. Yeah, I agree. We? I agree. Wonderful. Here we go. <gasps> do wrong? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> While well, they're uh, doing that, you may well turn to the bold and go, Do you recognize her? Is there any chance that she will know who he is? I mean, I don't recognize her, but I don't really move in those circles. You would be better placed to know than I. Not really, but... Uh, Gerhardt takes one leg, places it up <laughs> on the side, looks somewhat anguished, <laughs> and then begins to play five successes again. Oh, he is quite literally, maybe not literally, on fire! As the heart and uh, Eleanor Anna Eiffel add an accompaniment. Marvellous. Dangling her foot down. Okay, there. so now there's two ways One. you can do this, oh, and there's two ways that this can be done um, using the rules. One, you can have separate rules, and whoever rolls better wins and is the better player, so to speak. Or alternatively, someone can literally be the accompaniment. And the way that we handle our your helping along rules is everybody does a test, whoever's got the most successes is the one that we take the test number from, and everyone else who succeeds adds one on top because they all work together towards a shared goal. So, for example, if you succeed and score... One success, so I'll add it on top. Add it on top, <laughs> turning it to six successes. If anything, you have made the music even better by your very presence. Of course. Absolutely. Um, as the noble woman looks over and sort of bobs slightly as she's listening to it, and, hmm, she seems to see, she's given off the impression of being appreciative. Lucas walking sticks his way back over to where you are. They, as, as far as I can tell, they're breaking the law. Um, they, they, I'm, I'm not saying that they've stolen the coach. I, I think they are legitimate <laughs> coachmen, but I am saying that they're perhaps a little bit rogue. The, lo- the, 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 the roads here have been locked down. They didn't know. They've come into here and they've decided they're going to leave. 
and they probably shouldn't. Uh, uh, they, they took a wrong turning. They, uh, they are going to Altdorf by preference and have already picked up the people who are here to go to Altdorf as well. Okay. Is that going to get us in more trouble if we travel with them? Will we be well, stopped? Well, it depends if the coach stops before it reaches the road to Altdorf and midnight, really. If it's not stopped, we'll be fine. If it is stopped, then, then we might not be fine. The roads here appear to be locked down. I think we all know why they're locked down. L- Leopold kind of leans forward quite quite intently. They managed to get past the roadblocks to get in, though, right? There is no roadblock. It's just uh, the road wardens are patrolling around and they've yet to encounter them. As far as I can tell, they blithely, and if one is to believe Gunnar, he's the larger of the two, if one is to believe him, and drunkenly stumble down the wrong lo- road. Um, I mean, that does seem in character. They've yeah. arrived at the first coaching house, been told that they're in the wrong bloody place, got rather confused, then they learned that they were possibly breaking the law, they've got themselves into a bit of a tiz, and they're turning around and going back the other direction. I mean, this seems like this may be our best chance to evade these road wardens ourselves, then. Well, yes, it might be the very same road wardens we encountered not that long ago, actually. Our old friends. <laughs> right. So, uh, um, uh, passage is exceedingly cheap because of this. I'm not entirely convinced that that was their preference, but it certainly <laughs> is the case. <laughs> well done, Lucas. Yes, well, you know, <laughs> one is not going to just simply feed someone beer money um, without, you know, realising that they need the beer money. So, um, <clears throat> it's already paid for, my lord. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think your playing has done it. Yeah. He says, no, no, not, uh, that did not come out as I intended. He says, your playing is marvellous. Still going. Still yeah. going. <laughs> Can't interrupt an artist. <laughs> Lucas, <laughs> did, did you say all the people in this room have signed on to go to the coach? Yes. So who will we be travelling with? All the people in this room. That's a very literal answer to my question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know their names? Do you oh. know who they are? Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel just perhaps a touch foolish. Um, it's okay, you're recovering, it's fine. Um, uh, um, right, so uh, there's a lady, she's, um, uh, she has bought the entirety of the inside of the coach for her hats. Um, <laughs> Uh, and herself, of course. That seems um, like something they're doing. Uh, yeah. Her maid is riding on top. Um, there is um, a fellow in the corner, and they don't know who he is, and they don't particularly know who he's gone. There was a fellow in the corner. Um, he's apparently uh, travelling with them as well. He says, and that's pretty much that. Right, so we're on the roof. Did Do you recognise the, the lady? You may quite Yes, how strudled off. Do you think she's someone who might recognise his lordship? <laughs> no. Um, no, no, no. It's a, it's a local household. They come from the Mountains and the Five Sisters. She's come out and apparently she was waiting here for three weeks for travel. Her parents, um, from what I hear from the coachman, I it must be said, it's really unreliable. Par- apparently her parents have sent her off to find out something in Altdorf, which uh, I sort of translated in my head as trouble in Altdorf. We're sending someone, but she can't be. I'm not entirely sure what's happening there. Sorry, mm-hmm. I, I missed it. Did you say Strudeldorf? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <'Cause> that's Ed <laughs> asking. No. <laughs> Strudeldorf. Um, yeah, yeah, quite. Mm. But I think it's fair for him to go, Strudeldorf. <laughs> <laughs> he mouths over. Um, and he just goes, Yes. Presumably famed for their pastries. Um, I'm kind of hungry now. <laughs> Actually. Tug at no. Alan. Oh. Oh. So El- Elric will tug Alan in a white sleeve and be like, you get the perch on the roof of a coach. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'll be able to reach your sleeve. It'll have to be your <laughs> dangling <laughs> leg. <laughs> 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 um, so, uh, mm, um, where's the food? Come in. Right, good. Um, have we organised rooms? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Marvellous. Um, mm. He says, and what sort of accommodation have we organised? You're sharing with him. Oh. Well, that's my job. Yeah. Marvellous. But we made sure you had a bed. Oh, marvellous. Leopold and Elric are sleeping. <laughs> he leans back. This was the best idea ever. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Oh. He stopped listening. It's fine. <laughs> oh, this has been a pretty tough few weeks. Yeah. <sighs> right, so, um, 
Well, if that is the case, I'll, I'll have my food and I think I'll probably retire as early as possible, unless you require me for anything, my lord. Chicka ching! I didn't get so. finished his last chord. Oh, dear. Brushes <laughs> his fringe out of the way, just uh, thinking that it looks roguish and quite attractive, but really it just looks a bit daft. Um, <clears throat> No, uh, Lucas, you have, as always, been a fantastic... Oh, over in the corner. The uh, two coachmen don't know whether they should clap or not because it was a bit lamenty. Um, I'll make my full hop down lightly and bow. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. um, Oh, I I, I, I bow. (laughs) It's quite strange for me to be doing the bowing. I should like to hear another one, she calls out. Um, uh, Lucas, one second, just before you go to bed. uh, I'm going to have food first. Uh, well, uh, before you eat and yes. everything, um, uh, could you just do do the honours and just uh, do an introduction for me? Oh right, of course. He says, I, "Are you wanting to come with me, or shall I just go over and I do the shall her- heraldic duty?" Uh, yes, if you could, if you could just go, and I shall okay. stand here. Does the light look good? Um, you're by the fire. You look particularly attractive. Excellent, thank you. He says, "Right." He says, "I'll be back in a moment." I stand. Would you like me off. to play you a heraldic like piece? Yeah, that'll be very good. Thank you. <laughs> what are you playing? Um, <laughs> y- yakety sax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something known to accompany fools. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something from the non court that they might, you know. No, I quite like that as an idea. Do yourself fools. a test. Let's see how well that comes out. If I got advantage. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> um, six successes. Oh, superb! An enormously impressive piece of music comes out. A piece of music that, if one were familiar with the courts of Nome, might make you go, What, really? <laughs> <coughs> this woman certainly isn't. Mm. You almost certainly are no, not. No. Um, as uh, you can see, uh, Lucas bowing, saying a few things. Um, there's some nods, um, more nods, and more nods. And then she says something in return. And then Lucas comes back. <clears throat> uh, her name is uh, Lady Zold, as it turns out. And I think she's a liar. Uh, he says quietly. She's, Zold? Is a, she is not of House Dumbledore. I mean, she obviously doesn't know my background. And she certainly doesn't know the background of my previous employer. And doesn't know that I'm relatively close to the Strudeldorfs. Our accent is not just wrong, it's far too forced. I'm not sure why she's here, I'm not sure who she is, but I'm quite convinced she's not a Struvelof, largely because there is no heraldic device. There just isn't one. I didn't ask for one, of course, because that would have been implied, but there wasn't one. And if she's working on family business, she would have something about her. Good. Lucas, fantastic. Excellent Might I work. say you have no Shadow Shad- Faust, pardon me, um, heraldic device? That's fine. I'm sure I can make something up. What is I think she did. She had, sorry, she had made something up. Oh, right, in the same way. Yeah. Well, um, I did, I did acquire, I think this is canon, I did acquire this (laughs) ring, which looks very similar to the uh, Shadow Faust. Yes, yes, the one we brought back in Delbren. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that that might even pass if she doesn't know right behind her heraldry well. It certainly passed for me. No, exactly, so perfect. Okay, that's good. Um, Cover still intact. (laughs) Uh, something unfortunate she she's if she's has a lot of hat boxes maybe we should check them every box well they they might have things that aren't hats i i like i think it's a fantastic idea and if not they're just all hats (laughs) And we can, yeah, fantastic. Actually, that's very good. You may, you always surprise me. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Lucas. You've been fantastic. Plate, and he goes, you "Can serve yourselves." Mm. And then what's off? Spoons it, counter. As um, the innkeeper looks at him, shakes his head. Goes, no. Looks over, picks up. He says, "I've got them right here for you, um, my lord." He says, there's, "There's your spoons, uh, father." Thank you. Thank you. There, there you go. Will you be playing any more, my lord? Um, no, I think for now, no. But I appreciate it. Um, thank you for the, you know, everything, and and uh, and also not necessarily myself. Uh, obviously, the uh, our elven. Uh, what cover is a minstrel? Is it not? <laughs> I just wow. To... 
<laughs> just, just the elf. It's fine. <laughs> in an, atten- an attempt to divert attention, uh, Leopold will play mother and will begin serving out the, the, the stew, mur- murmuring a prayer to Sigmar to thus cover anything inappropriate that might come out of his lordship's mouth. Well, I'll, I'll be leaving you to it, he says, as he um, uh, pops off. Not his business, not his problem. <laughs> as um, he goes back round um, behind the counter and tries not to frown. <laughs> Finds himself something busy to do. <clears throat> Through a mouthful of stew, Albert will just say to Leopold, do you, do you think it's the best idea to be saying prayers of Sigma when they've wiped your boy out up there? He's, he seemed perfectly respectful to me, so... He seemed to climb up and walk away. Well, and that's exactly what we wanted to happen. Lucas takes a spoonful and says, most irregular, we're very close to up. Really, rather irregular. This is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> As Ella Menoway finishes, she'll call in. I am not a mere minstrel. I am a jongleur of the Gigs. Sorry, uh, correct. That's what I said. Yes. He takes some gristle out from between his teeth and throws it down to Meat Pie. Meat Pie gobbles it up. Did she say she was a juggler? <sighs> I'll oh, think so. Yes, yeah. juggler of Jeeps. No, <laughs> a jongleur of the Gigs. Is that Bretonian? Right. I was going to say. Is it, is it contagious? <laughs> <sighs> this so is bad. Flute with a weary ear and start playing it. It, it, it. Look, it can't be that bad, can it? You, you've taken like three spoonfuls. For those it's, of us, it's warm. I dare you. <laughs> that, that, that's all I can say, my lord. I dare you. For those of us who are used to eating substandard stew, it's, it's, it's really totally good. fine. <laughs> it's it's warm. warm. It's, it's quite cool. literally. It's warm. Yeah. It's warm. It's vegetable, and yeah, there's a bit of gristle here and there. But then you'd expect exactly that. Food. It will be, you know, unspecified meat stew. It's got meat in it. That's a win. You just don't over chew. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. yeah. all of those bits. <laughs> yeah. Just neck it, like. I mean, <laughs> you're so picky, Lucas. Yeah, do you seem to be loving it? I, I, Lucas, you merely must carve it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Don't you it's, it's just swallow. No. <laughs> well, I must remember that it sustains one. Oh, look, I don't think this is... Come on, get it down, you lad. I'll put <laughs> some meat on those bones. <clears throat> so there's um, a big bang from upstairs and the movement of feet. Do you think? And then... Someone comes bounding down the stairs, taking two at a turn. Is it a huffy skull? It absolutely is not. Wow. He is not the type to take two steps at a go. Maybe he very much looks like the type of he attempts at that, may trip, fall, break his neck, and die, probably landing on his prominent Adam's apple. But that is not um, who we have here. Quite the opposite, in fact. Um, uh, a man about five foot uh, nine, so relatively average of height, with a long, flowing mane of dark hair. Small moustache and a small goatee, um, and a darker skin, suggesting that he comes from the south. Suggesting even further, though, is his jacket, which is well embroidered with fleur de lis across the entirety of it, suggesting that he may be Bretonian. Um, summoned him he, with your uh, language. <laughs> <coughs> he smiles as he comes down, sees all of you, smiles even more deeply, um, clicks his fingers over towards the barkeep, and says, and then looks around the room as he realises everyone's looking at him, except for the noble woman who has pointedly looked away, shaking her head. <laughs> I appear to be the centre of attention, he says, as it should be. <laughs> he says, I'll have another one of the elves, please. Um, and he looks at everyone looking, he says, I am not a player. <laughs> or a mama. And he smiles. Do you want me to play? I heard your music. You summoned me downstairs. Uh, yes, Bretonian? Mm, probably. Oh. You're not sure. His accent is weak if so. Okay. I have a crack. You've, um, uh, <laughs> you've, you know Bretonians. You've met many Bretonians. He looks Bretonian, mm-hmm. but he looks altogether too middle class to be Bretonian. <laughs> He's got himself a really nice jacket. <laughs> He's got himself a really tight pair of... Uh, they're not even trues. We're moving down into tights area. A pair of really shiny boots. Oh, okay. He looks altogether too well put together to be Bretonian. Bretonians, in your experience, tend to fall into two loose camps. Camp number one is I'm a knight, I'm a noble, 
that's pretty much the entire camp. The other camp is I smell. Yeah, surfing <laughs> and whatnot. And yeah. yeah, yeah, indeed. You, you don't even people. talk to them. <laughs> um, <laughs> and there are no in betweenies. Um, here is a standing in betweenie if you are to believe his appearance, at least. Okay. Um, As um, he smiles, looks back at the innkeeper, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'd call out in Bretonian. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a very good jacket, my friend. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I don't do that accent very he, well. <laughs> <laughs> he simply smiles and says, Oui. <laughs> um, turns back and <laughs> <laughs> um, grabs his drink <clears throat> and pulls out a tarot deck. <gasps> oh. Cards. Cards. I have a different proposition for you. Cards. <laughs> <laughs> you may. You're always a, a game player. Sure. Yeah. Um. Why not? He smiles. You see. <clears throat> ever since I came from Bretonia. <laughs> <laughs> knew it. <laughs> <laughs> and he smiles at you. He says, "I have learned." that of all the decks that one can use, that the Nalmer Tarok is by far the superior of the Imperial decks, says, because they dispense with all the unimportant cards that do not matter, so you just have the fun. He says, Scarlet Empress with the Nalmer Tarok is a completely different game. Shall I teach you? He sits down, takes a swig. I shall teach you. <laughs> <laughs> he says, <laughs> who wants to play? All of you, of course. <laughs> I'll play. You'll play? I'll, uh, if that is the, is, wait, hang on. Is there money involved? Why not? Okay, he says, well, let me teach it first. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a suggestion, it was merely a question. We can teach it first. Okay, no, yeah, sounds good. He says, it is very easy. It's so easy, in fact, that all it requires is a single Either gamble test oh, or alternatively an intelligence test if you do not have it, a gamble test. What if one were to have sleight of hand? Well, you could try and cheat if you wish. <laughs> that is a completely different proposition to playing cards. If you wish to lose sleight of hand, of course you can. No, Ellen and Mike is going to jump down with a light in her eyes. <laughs> I shall play. Excellent. Ping! Uh, you may. Is- would like to have a good look at the coat and check, just double check there aren't any, you know, crosses ha- hidden between the fleur de lis. There are. <laughs> <laughs> but no other way of putting it. There absolutely 100% are between each one of the fleur de lis is a clear cross symbol. Uh-huh. That would suggest to you, at the very least, that mm-hmm. he is most certainly a follower, if not necessarily oh. a practitioning, practitioning, a <laughs> practitioner <laughs> of Ranald and Ways, the god of trickery, deceit, and fun and games. <clears throat> Interesting. So, who would like to uh, gamble off? No, well, he's sitting back. He mm-hmm. Yeah, he's eating a stew. Yep, yep. Um, you're out. Oh, what entertainment for just? Losing money? Yes, very much so. Uh, absolutely. Uh, yes, good. Bernie? Um, no, I'm giving her... Oh, Bernie? Give, give he frowns at you. <laughs> How can someone so pretty not play? Um, he just shakes his head. I start edging but the you are stew in. towards hmm? me. <laughs> <laughs> flick, 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 flick. Everyone do their uh, test. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> We still have advantage, right? We're learning, so it's relaxed. So we it's still always, advantage. Advantage. as I said, advantage always, unless it's super. Five generous. successes. Five successes, lovely. I'm still not. Mm. Zero successes. Zero? Is that enough here as well? Or is it zero? And no, no, it's just you zero. Passed it, so zero. Passed. That's not too bad. I would like to reroll. Superb! So, uh, in Warhammer, if you don't know already, everyone's got a certain number of luck points. Yumi, in particular, has a lot of them because she is also a follower of Ronald. Um, so, <laughs> give it a go! Reroll! Because apparently, she will not lose her first non money reliant game of cards. Uh, that is. Okay. Still not a <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is where we um, uh, alight upon another rule. And um, we use the rule as yeah. neatly expressed inside Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, and that's you, you cannot, under any circumstances, re roll a roll that has been rolled. 
We rolled, pardon me. Ever. Unless you are willing to listen to the dark whispers of the Chaos Gods, who at any moment can whisper in your ear and say, are you sure you don't want to re-roll? She can re-roll it, but if she does re-roll it again, she takes a corruption point. I highly doubt you're going to take a corruption point for that, but that doesn't mean I won't offer the opportunity. I am okay. Offer chancity turned down, <laughs> meaning that we have a clear winner over here. Um, let me just see if you are a clear winner. You are a clear winner. I got two successes. So I have never played this game before. And yet I win. He says, oh, you are clearly an expert. <laughs> he says, so, will we do what he is afraid of? I saw the hackles rise when the suggestion of money came up. Silver I see why. Piece out. He says, <laughs> <laughs> then, he says, let us put the money where the mouth is. <laughs> I... That's what he means. <laughs> <laughs> As he tosses a coin on the table. <laughs> the the, the boy's like, it, it, inwardly, it's just like, who, who gave him money? Why has he got money? Uh, are we I putting, said this do we put this in the middle? All upset about Is it no, 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 cash? No. We have to put it in the middle. Then let us, he says, gamble. <laughs> Changing dice. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly. Oh, exactly on. Mm -hmm. So, how many successes? Three. Three. Seven. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, one thing you can say about Gerhard is he's a smart cookie, obviously. Uh, so, one. you won. Success. That is your round. Beautiful. Oh, do we uh, pass them all to him? They are now his coins. Ah, Another the, round? The fantastic smell of freshly smelt, smelt something silver. Uh, as an aside what do you to think? Leopold, Elric is just going to say, this is not going to end well. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's like it was probably I yesterday. I really <laughs> hope that you have most of his money still. Well, yeah, I'm surprised he had any, to be honest, Elric, but Lucas is clearly slipping. <laughs> Another round? Uh, well, uh, Oh, oh yes, yes, Why for sure. Not? Why not? I mean, if anything, we we that was so good. You should probably raise the stakes. No. <laughs> what do you mean? No. He smiles. I'm good no. at this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, and his accent slips. He goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a very good idea. He says. Pick out two silver. Oh, yep, yep, yep. He's well up for that. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, the classic usually when you're trying to get somebody, you know, into it so much that they'll raise the stakes and then lose all their money is that they are made to win a couple times. Mm -hmm. So you may will keep an eye out on how he's dealing the cards. Mm -hmm. Do your self-perception test. How did you do, everyone? Uh, my perception is four successes. Good. And how did you do with the three successes? Three. Very, very good. Uh, three successes. Three successes. Well. Very good. Three successes. Three successes. Very um, good. After he's dealt the cards, can Alan Menowith look out for any sleight of hand that he yeah, is doing do with his own cards? Yeah. Do test. Okay. So what you note is that he purposely loses, of course. as he gets nothing this time. And indeed, his hand's rubbish. He did do a card swap. Mm -hmm. You spotted it. Um, two successes. <laughs> <laughs> Why you... did we put the coins in the middle? We're so far away. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we do this to ourselves? You need to all put them in the middle. Mine could be thrown for quite some distance. Let's <laughs> put our coins here. <laughs> that would have been easier, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I should just use my pointy stick. Um, so, uh, who won that one? That was three and three, wasn't it? Yeah. It's okay, a tie. So, um, so, who's got the higher intelligence? Oh, this boy, baby. Uh, so, you break it. Oh. I'm there sure. you complain about bullshit elves when they post online as well. And the good old human has won the day with the cards. He says, ah, it is so sad that uh, I lose again. He says, shall we do another round? <laughs> he says... Uh, oh, yes, well, uh, most definitely. I, you should always keep playing whilst you're winning. That's what everyone says to me. So, um, if anything, you should, I believe you ramp up the stakes, don't you? So, yes. One more round, please. We'll do three silvers. Scratches at his face I almost compulsively. Can... Mm, no. Uh, what, what are you putting in? Three silvers. Oh, well, no, if you're not going in, then the pot's smaller. Right. Uh, 
What about four well, silvers? Well, three silvers then. All oh, right, I will do three silvers. Right. Such a bower. Carl, you shall never learn. Feel? <clears throat> <laughs> That's quite a sizable pot running there now. <clears throat> Got my hand. <laughs> Hot damn! <laughs> how we all do? How we all do? No, no successes over there. One success, but I would like to do another perception check. Mm-hmm. Um, six successes. Um, I feel. Partially because she's so waiting for him to palm something or do something, and if he does, she's ready to grab his hand. There's no palming, hmm? but you see. How many successes you get in your perception? Zero. Nor do you see. <laughs> As he lays down a winning hand <laughs> with a mighty eight successes in his roll. Oh, bugger. Well, you can't <laughs> win them all, can you? <laughs> he says, maybe you should try again. Y- you probably should play to win the money back that you lose. Is that that's probably that, now what you think? <sighs> oh, have this you heard is the not price? my shocked face. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Currently, you are up." That is correct. Uh, in fact, actually, Joe, you know I think I will quit while I am ahead. If that is the case, well done, sir. I shake your hand. Shaky, shaky, shaky. He says, "So, where are you all going?" This card. Bed. <laughs> <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he says it was worth a look yeah everybody says that no all right all right he says well if there is no more cards he says um dice <laughs> 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 and he pulls out a pair of bone dice and look not even loaded um i do not play dice Di- dice feels a little bit lesser you know what i mean do the, do the very, label, very, label? very common. The, yes, oh, very I'm, common. I'm afraid I could not touch those. But enjoy, do enjoy. Are you interested? No. Oh, it's a shame. In the corner, singing begins from the two coachmen. <laughs> it is fair to say that their rendition of She Was Only the Emperor's Daughter <laughs> is somewhat salacious. <laughs> and they have definitely changed it from any versions that you've heard. They really, really like the word topping. <laughs> Bless them. <laughs> it causes one of them to laugh uproariously. Something along the lines of <laughs> um, he stumbles slightly. <clears throat> topping. <laughs> As they continue drinking. Um, you may well ask um, our friend, who I don't think has named himself. No, he hasn't. Um, could I have a look at your cards, please? Why? He says, it is time to retire, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I am, after all, taking a coach tomorrow. Okay. And he bows. Good evening to you all. <laughs> <laughs> and he backs away, having not even given his name. Did we lose money? No, well, um, yeah. when you yeah, say you we... Did. I'll be taking all those silver coins back, please. Yeah, no, 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 completely fine. I think I made money, but I think everybody else, technically, the party as a collective, lost money. <laughs> Sorry, I Well, I mean, he was obviously doing it on purpose, so, you know. What? He was cheating. What? Well, that's not fun. He let you in. Look, look, Paul, surely uh, Sigmar has something to say about this? Yeah, don't gamble with strangers, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Seems very precise. And then, and then, and then, and then, <laughs> spreads his hands, indicating the table on which he did not gamble. <laughs> is this what you refer to as a teachable moment? It, it is indeed. There are lessons to be found in in everyday occurrences, and this is one such. And, 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 and master says, "Lucas, as he um, fiddles his fingers, he says, no, I just finished my stew.' You're oh, right. Clearly paying attention. <laughs> um, he says, I, I, 'I'm, however, intending on retiring. So if you have no further need.'" me, I'm going to get the room prepared and ensure that they stop the fire correctly. No, thank you, Lucas. Um, as always, fantastic work. Marvellous. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. He says, and uh, makes his way off, waves past the uh, innkeeper. He's just nodding. It's a busy night. <laughs> Not sure what to do. And he makes his way up the stairs. Should we check those hats before we go to bed? Well, 
I would imagine the hats <clears throat> are firmly ensconced in her room. Or in the coach. Could be. But mm. wait, do we know what time we're going at tomorrow? I'm sure Lucas because knows. those lads over there look quite merry <laughs> and they're driving us, so oh, yes, that's good I point. don't imagine it'll be an early start. <laughs> What are the rules on drink driving in the Empire? <laughs> there are no rules I in drink driving in the nice. Empire. <laughs> other, other than the laws of physics. Well, quite. Yeah. Yeah. I think the rules are you might go down the wrong road sometimes and occasionally find yourself in an inn that you never intended to go to, for example, picking up a whole host of passengers because there was no other coaches going by. They may be the rules of drunk driving. <laughs> So here we have left left in the. You've got um, the noble woman who's yet to retire. We've got our two singing um, coachmen, <laughs> and that's it. Uh, right. Other than the uh, innkeeper who has stayed, but his person who was tending the bar, who very graciously gave you your food and your drinks earlier, mm -hmm. he's already left because clearly he has no desire to be in this place. The noble woman, however, is looking repeatedly over at the singing coachman mm -hmm. with a certain amount of. I think I'm done. Right, okay. It's quite obvious she's not so much agitated as more. Hmm. I am. Um, I think. I think I shall also retire, actually. After that, uh, I've, I've learned a lesson. Um, <laughs> good red wine. Have you, though? Well, <laughs> good red wine? Well, reasonable red wine. Better than most. And, uh, Fine. you know, some money, money won. Uh, Elric, feel free to finish the rest of the bottle. Oh, it's gone, my lord. Oh, right. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I'll make my way up to my room. Marvellous. Um, Lucas is already snoring gently in his little oh. side room. Oh. He's passed out, poor chap. Stroke his little head. <laughs> <laughs> Your special little pet, Lucas. <laughs> That's not at all creepy. <laughs> not in the slightest. Um, how about everyone else? I, I think it's the time to retire. Back yeah, up to the common room, uh, quite. Uh, there is uh, one person in the common room already. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Um, he's sitting uh, knees up to his uh, chest, almost with his book and a small candle as he looks over. Looks you up and down, probably checking for instruments. Doesn't appear to be any. <laughs> returns back to his book. I mean, I could hit my hammer off my shield if he really wants me to. But Pretty sure yeah. he doesn't. Um, as uh, he I, returns to his book again. Out of interest, is it at all clear what his book is? Um, yes, yeah, so he appears to be reading. Uh, you can just make out, presuming you pass a uh, perception test, it's pretty gloomy. The text. No. No, um, he's definitely reading something that has got text on it. <laughs> it's a book. Yeah, it's definitely a book. Reading a book. Yeah, quite. So um, that's what <laughs> he's doing as you come in. How about yourself, Elric? What's your plan? Uh, Elric will also retire, but walk past our two erstwhile drivers and mm. just... Um, they look up at you. Yeah. <laughs> Please just remember that you have to get us to Adorf safely tomorrow. He and says... with that, I wish you good night. <clears throat> oh, I'd just like to add, he says... Yeah, what do you like to add? He says, no, no, no. So, you did give us a lot of beer money. <laughs> <laughs> she was only the Empress's daughter. He said she didn't find you water. <laughs> she says, where is the fire in the room? <laughs> <laughs> On the opposite side there. Uh, Our will just balefully glance at them and... Sure, why not? He'll stomp his way up on the <laughs> You've learned how the passive-aggressive yeah. stomp might perhaps yeah. elicit a response. He will also glance at the book, but he's not too interested in what it is. He'll just acknowledge. Hey, you can do yourself a quick test, but if you're I'm um, not that interested, yeah, he's got yeah, a book. He's a just book. um he's just flicking away reading at it. Ume, what's her plan? I mean nobody seems as interested as her in the hats no they don't um, so she'll probably leave it for now and just pop up to your room yeah you're sharing with Alan anyway she'll probably just keep an eye out for that guy in case he's trying to also like steal our stuff here's your key says <clears throat> it's, it's, it's for you and um, your, your companion yes thank you says, um, at top is the door mat can you read East. It's the door mat with um, the, the the big V. Okay, thank you. Um, by the way, is that man the Bretonian man? Is he here often? She says, oh, funny you should say that. Yeah, he passes through about once every two months or so. Mm, and always in the same... 
character. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't like to say. <laughs> <laughs> but but nothing to do with you, of course. Mm. No. Of course. Right, so um, <laughs> you uh, heading up to your room then? Yes. Marvelous. Uh, what's Birdie doing? She'll take meat pie out for a last walk. Nice. Because we get into trouble when he makes messes. Freezing and it's cold out, but it's quiet. The sound barely makes, or the sound, pardon me, the forest barely makes a sound. You've got little more than the wind rustling through the mostly bare branches. It's uh, that time of year where everything beginning but hasn't quite properly thawed yet. There's no longer snow everywhere but it's certainly not warm. Meat Pie is rather disappointed that there was so little stew thrown in his direction. Sorry. They're getting better at eating it, it's rubbish. And I'm in a way She'll retire upstairs, Jim. Marvellous. The curtains draw as the next morning dawns. Father's first up. There's a certain level of freedom from not being in the college anymore because they always had you up at ridiculous hours. But the father makes those ridiculous hours look, well, normal. <laughs> <clears throat> morning prayers, down early, fresh water, ablutions, cleanse, second set of prayers. Tell you what we're The innkeeper wakes up, sees you there, is sitting in an enormous long white robe, and is horrified that you're up before him. <laughs> he just looks at you in the corridor. Sorry, father, I'd known you were up. But Sigmar's blessing be upon you. Oh, I'll get the porridge on you. I'll, I mean, I'll get the porridge for you. I, I, won't, I won't put it on you. Oh, I'll get the porridge on, but not me. Oh, as he goes down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> thump, 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 thump. He goes down the stairs altogether too loudly, which wakes up Yumi um, in her room. It uh, doesn't it's feel Alan like... sharing a room with Yumi. I believe so, yes. Yeah, yeah. Alan Menowaith is just on the windowsill. <laughs> All the she hasn't been asleep. <laughs> you closed your eyes, she was there. Yeah. Open your eyes, <laughs> still uh, Exact still same me. position. <laughs> You're not weird. <laughs> looking, no. looking at Yumi. <laughs> No, she's looking out the window. So creepy. <laughs> That's when you wake up. <clears throat> Going back to Altdorf. This is actually the day. It's been two years of wandering free of that horrible, hot... Let's just not go into all the horrible invectives that come to mind as you consider the place. Yeah, but you tongue his sleeve a bit when he thinks about that. Yeah. That's enough to keep you awake for the day. You smell quite clearly the two coachmen <laughs> as you pass by their passed out prostate bodies. They definitely smell of alcohol. One of them smells of something more. Pretty sure he didn't get to anything that resembles a privy in time. <sighs> Possibly too drunk to even realize. Oh. He does, however, look particularly impressive as he is sprawled like this. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a lot of drool, an impressive amount of drool. And as you go by, he gives you a welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't wake up. Alric will respond with a, a tap, hard tap with his foot into one of the drivers. <laughs> well, are we talking like you're kicking him to wake him up or are you just more... That, that would be a way to phrase it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, a foot shove. <laughs> He's a, giving him a foot yeah, shove. A foot handshake. A firm. <laughs> firm foot shove. Firm foot yeah. shove. Um, and apparently does little more than make him sprawl out further with a... <laughs> his chest hair bursts free. <laughs> <laughs> as he continues to snore. <sighs> Father, he's out at the moment. Oh, I thought you were still there. No, no, he's um, gone down to do his morning uh, eatings with the porridge. Oh. An hour, we'll just sit down and pull out his grimoire, and yeah, he needs to prepare himself. Mm -hmm. Prepare himself. Scrape that out. Ah, <sighs> Bernie, it's the smell that wakes you up. It's familiar, very familiar. 
What is it? Shit. <laughs> oh, it's shit. Back to the sewers again. <clears throat> a lot of shit. One of them has not been... Yep, he shit himself. Birdie takes this in. Is there an innkeeper above? No, 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 you're in the common room. Head downstairs. Up, stretch, down the yeah. stairs. Yeah. Innkeeper um, can be heard uh, in the adjoining kitchen, humming away to himself, repeating one of the airs that was played with such a plum the previous evening. Um, he, it's fair to say, is not a musician. <laughs> <laughs> After my own heart. I call out for him. Um, he uh, comes through and says, Morning, morning, you'll be looking for some porridge, we're not quite ready yet. You got a well. I'm not going to say well, well, well. <laughs> um, but I am going to say, he says that it's a fine morning for frozen wells. I need a bucket of cold water. Oh, uh, we've got water. Can I, can I have some? Well, a whole bucket? Yeah. Aye. Uh-huh. Thanks. Goes back. I'll be right back. <clears throat> goes back upstairs. Back upstairs you go. <laughs> <laughs> and uses the bucket of water. <laughs> Oh, you've not got it yet. You're, you're when, when he gives he's it about, to he's, me. He's mm. Open! You hear? Open! You what? <laughs> water! You eventually get the water about five minutes later. Oh, oh, your dreams. They're disturbed. You heard someone shouting. Oh, oh, oh. You wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, blah. There's someone sh- shouting. Oh, right, fine. Uh, <clears throat> Lucas is already awake. He's currently t- um, checking his bandage um, at his side. His top's off. How's he look? is not the fittest man in the world. He's quite the pot belly sticking out as I'm um, looking at it. Can I do a quick um, heel test? Heel test, just yeah, to have a gander. Um, um, his stitching has come out slightly. He's oh. still twisted in the night. He goes, I'm sorry, my lord. <laughs> is there anything you can do? Spend one of those uh, points. I spend one of my fortune points. You cause... love it when your henchman requires you to spend fortune <laughs> points. All right, yeah, that's good. So that's six successes. <clears throat> You've already got yourself um, a healing kit that you bought previously, because mm-hmm. um, it was actually bought when he was tending. Oh, well done. So you can come over and restitch it. It takes about five minutes. He winces his way through it. Oh, okay. um, it holds on tightly to a bed knob. Um, um, bloody hurts. I ask him questions about his kids during that time. Yeah, sounds he's got good too, isn't he? Yeah, he's got two kids. Yeah. Um, he will uh, wax lyrical about his children, which he misses terribly. He says, you know, we would have been going back, but I don't think going back right now would be at all wise. Not at all wise, given all the mess that's currently going on. No, 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 no. This is a better option. I'm sure it's the better option. Thank you very much, my lord. It's really appreciated. No worries, Lucas. He does his um, <coughs> shirt back up, which has got blood on the inside. Pulls his coat over it and a second coat over that. Have you got any other? Have you got more shirts? Uh, no, my lord. Okay, right. We'll have to sort that out because I can't. Well, we get out looking... perhaps. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> um, and might I raise something before you go downstairs? Sure. What 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 is it that you wish to talk about? Well, I'm aware that when we go to Aldorf, you have repeatedly said that you've got business you wish to attend to. Yes. Might I make one small request? You certainly may. Don't attend to it by yourself. Well, you'll be with me. Marvellous. He says, <laughs> that is what I was hoping for. Marvellous. Then, yes, then everything is perfect. He says, and thank you again. <clears throat> How long do you think this is going to take to heal? Literally no idea. Um, you're, you're no time at all. A, less, yeah, from your perspective, it's, it's basically all book knowledge. Yeah. And you've never really put this into practice before. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it's yeah. nice to say. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. That's what you said last week. No, I know, but no, time, days ago. time as a concept is, you know, <laughs> it depends how close or far away you are, doesn't it? <coughs> Eventually, you're all down eating your morning porridge. It's good. If you like porridge with bits of random meat in it, oh. but it's good. Meat um, pie does. It's it's salty. It's flavoursome. It's oaty. Lucas has an opinion. Why? <laughs> I, Lucas, I'm, I'm, um, why put meat in it? It was fine without it. Uh, have you ever had frumenti? Frumenti is a marvellous oat meat dish, but it is not this. No, exactly. I mean, that has sort of taste, flavour, um, good mouth feel, good <laughs> aroma. Like everyone else. 
shoveling it into the <laughs> road. Just, 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 I will fight you for it. Sustenance. <laughs> Sustenance. Did the lives want to continue? Sustenance. I can see if they've got something else. They don't. Have you asked? Uh, right. Yeah, I did. Okay. <sighs> it's the end of winter, apparently. The stocks are low. All right. Cheeks is saying they expected to get more, but they didn't get any. The road's blocked. When do you think we shall leave? I've got my bucket of water now. Soon, I hope. <laughs> you have a bucket of water. Are you going to use it? I'm going to take it upstairs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dump it over the pair of them. <clears throat> Sploosh! <laughs> One of them wakes up. And finds himself pulled. You guys, get yourselves cleaned up. Get some water down you. Get your asses downstairs. Be by yips. Are you married? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me ah, drop him. Because, <clears throat> you know, it kind of reminds me of my wife. He looks around bleary eyed. Where are we? <laughs> the same inn you passed out in last night. Now get your act together. Who's that, you Betty? <laughs> You, you really remind me of me. Why? Sorry. Let's just say. So this. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I need a piss. <laughs> he goes over to the corner of the room. Undoes himself <laughs> and starts to piss. Oh, this is going to go on for some time. <laughs> I kick the other guy. Sorry. Foot shove him. <laughs> <laughs> you um, ungently foot shove him. Yeah. He. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he does not wake up. <laughs> um, you do, however, disturb those impressive smells. Oh. Gonna take more than a bucket of water. <laughs> Did you try and foot shove them? Because <laughs> I tried that and it didn't work. Why are we one of them? <laughs> at this point, our chap who has the book gets up from the corner, looks at you like you might be possibly possessed, works around you, holds on to his book tightly, goes down the stairs, sees the room, veers away from anything that might be sentient in it, looks over to the innkeep, who nods at him reassuringly. <laughs> I would say, would you like some breakfast? He goes, uh, yeah, yeah, breakfast please. Yeah. And um, looks, oh, it's porridge, oh, it's porridge. And he goes over to a table. Oh, I love porridge. As he was coming in, in, Louis Pobo have gone out of his way to, to be like kind of non-threatening and smiling <laughs> at him. Bearing in mind we're going to have to share close proximity for, for the day. He looks at you um, because you're clearly giving him thanks. Yeah. Clearly he's one of the most socially comfortable men that has ever graced your presence if he goes <laughs> <laughs> um, almost falls down by your gracious goodwill. <laughs> um, the, the power of my smile is something. Yeah, quite. <laughs> right, writes himself um, uh, and puts on a smile. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and the face <laughs> and the smile vanishes it's like an echo <clears throat> and settles down to eat his porridge our other man is not up yet but our first one is as he comes in walks up and says beer he'll have porridge and some water <laughs> he looks at you What I would like to say is at least my wife fucks me. <laughs> you just fuck me. Well, let's put it this way. If you don't get that porridge and water, Danny, you won't have anything to fuck her with. It's a compelling <laughs> argument. <laughs> I like to think of myself as something of a philosopher. A what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know it's not a good morning when you can see two of them. 
I'll drink both of them. It'll help. <laughs> but which one for? <laughs> 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 Is anyone woken up, old chip? Don't let me get the bucket. Says, you already got me with the bucket. I'll do it again. You can just open your mouth and try and catch some. You're a charmer. <laughs> Says, give me the porridge, will you? There you go. Mm. I'm fine. I'll go check the horses. Look. No, no. <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and he picks up and he goes. <laughs> it's at that point you realise that the good lady is probably not coming down to breakfast because you see an entire tray being taken upstairs. Oh, you missed out on the tray. I didn't know that was... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> but more importantly, is it just porridge that she has on the tray? Um, and you, and you're at the wrong angle. You stand up, you'll know. No, I don't, I don't care, but I know yeah, you yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still standing. Yeah, you're still standing. Uh, no, it is not porridge. She's got herself a bowl of something that looks far smoother. You're not quite certain what it is. It could just be a finely milled porridge, but you're not certain. There's definitely milk in there. But it's definitely different. Perhaps a more refined version. It's, um, he knows as he goes by, goes up the stairs. Well, I, I didn't see it, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you look slightly insulted. Meanwhile, you do hear an enormous saw. No, he's snoring upstairs. The snoring continues. You don't know what time it is, but it's definitely past dawn. Breakfast is done. Dude. Uh, Bang! Whoa. Upstairs. <laughs> Then crump, crump, crump. <laughs> and then, you will bloody well wake up! Her ladyship needs to be on or off! Uh, so says, it's your other you're one. either getting up or you're going out window! <laughs> Which is it? Open window! Fucking hell, he's sleeping! Fucking! Punch, kick, bang, bang, bang. Fucking hell, what's wrong with you? Birdie. Birdie, she's good. <laughs> is that your sister? <laughs> I don't think I or, have one. Or, or is it mandatory for all nobles in Middenland to have someone like that? Everyone's got one of me. Oh, I hope not. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, you see, it's his feet. He's been carried down. <laughs> and it's his feet, um, not his head. I was going to say, he's carrying his feet. No, no, it, it's not, it's his feet. She's gone, <laughs> got uh, his head sitting in the crook of his arm and she's uh, carrying okay. through, pulls him through and drops him into a barrel outside. Oh, thank God. And then pulls him out. Apparently he's still not awake. Oh no, no he is. Cough, 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 <laughs> cough. I thought he might be dead. And then, No, he would be dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, she wasn't quite nimble enough to avoid that. She does, however, do have a very good line in foot shoves. <laughs> <laughs> and she does manage to foot shove him a good bit across the courtyard for his, let's say, good work. And she accompanies says foot shoves with a variety of invectives, many of which involve my fucking shoes. <laughs> <laughs> she comes in looking not entirely composed, her braids half undone in a few places as she strides through, makes her way up the stairs looking at no one. Bang. Oh, so, uh, you you mentioned yesterday. Sorry, you may. Uh -huh. Apologies. You mentioned yesterday that um, the noble lady was lying about who she was. No, who did that? Lucas. That was Lucas. Lucas. That was Lucas. I do apologise. Uh, you know, bit, bit adult, had a little too much wine. Not as much as those gentlemen. But um, you did mention that, that maybe. Well, you, you're very good at being not seen, right? I. I can't help but have a feel feeling that that actually the the one pulling the strings, the real lady, might not be that woman. Well, you know she's not. She's lying about it. It might be the servant. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get to here. Ultimately, my, my lord, can you keep, 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 keep? You need to be a little quieter. You, you, you just you speak so loudly. So this is good. this is perfectly quiet. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Fine. Um, could you? Dull voice. Is that? Just your preference in women, or <laughs> <laughs> do you think that 
What, oh, are the you woman suggesting who that... just carried the man down the stairs and threw him in the no, bucket. No, 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 no. no. Oh, this is suddenly um, got a lot more interesting. This is Lucas as he leans in. Um, uh, let's, uh, we're gonna put, we'll put a pin in that conversation. <laughs> Maybe another time. Get heart going very visible. Okay? <laughs> well, what, to put a pin in you, my lord? No, no, I don't want... No, that's not a thing. Well, it is a thing. It's not my thing. Look, just... I'm just trying to say, um, could you just keep an eye or, or you know, um, uh, surreptitiously observe the servant, the one, the, the, the one that was knitting yesterday? Oh, sure, yeah. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I don't have a thing for pins, but just to really Is that like hammer a, that home. a euphemism? <laughs> so nails. <laughs> it's nails that you prefer. <laughs> No, Knitting just... needles? What? No! <laughs> I've got a hat pin. This porridge looks really good. <laughs> I think. Another One of the coachmen <laughs> comes in, sees you saying, I think, goes, and then goes. Yes, who may speak? Right, well, there seems to be a bit of an issue with the coach's axle, which means we might not be setting off until the early afternoon. Can we? Can some of the men help with that? Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I'm, 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 I'm fine with it. It's just, uh, we're, 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 we're going down in the afternoon. And he goes back out, and you hear quite clearly because he's not quiet. Did you tell them? Did you tell them? And you hear, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they bought it though. <laughs> <laughs> they are apparently just as Le surreptitious as <laughs> Gerhard. Le Le Liverpool will yell out, "We did it!" <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck. Well, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Okay. We're gonna leave it off a bell. That's what we're gonna do. Even in the distance. And it, yeah, it is an easy one to oh, use. Nice. You can reverse fails in this oh, one. There's yeah, no, no chance you're going to fail. Uh, in that case, it's a critical. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, criticals happen whenever you roll a double and it's a success. And it means something special has happened. It means something untoward, something that might not necessarily be simply uh, expected by the rules has come to pass. And what is not expected by the rules? That he actually pays attention to you. <laughs> because we all know that his, your success would be nothing more than the recalcitrant, reluctant maneuvering of their bodies from one part of the, the inn to another part of the inn in a desperate desire to look like they're doing something while simultaneously nursing a terrible hangover. But instead, instead, they are considering doing their jobs. <laughs> <laughs> that is what a critical has given you. Wow. I mean, do you want successes? Um, I don't think we even need okay. them. Nice. Um, they're, 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 go they're going to town now. Okay. Nice. Is that what we would call a, a, a Sigma Right miracle? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. Nice one. We're all working together. <laughs> it takes about three quarters of a bell for them to organise their coach. In that time, our bookman has already moved out and is sitting on the top of it inside the coach house, reading his book. He's just waiting for them to get everything ready. It's got two horses. They are indeed attached to the coach eventually. It's fair to say that one of them is doing all the work and the other one is not. Lazy horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn lazy horse. <laughs> that horse, he's got a sly eye. Quite. Just, the coach is going to go side. <laughs> we're in a circle. <laughs> Taking quite some time. Just... Um, uh, is anyone going to be a lighting side coach? Are you just going to wait until oh, they call it's going to their pick horn? A, spot. <laughs> a perching. A perching. Well, front a perching back. Front. Front. Lupo might suggest we've got a bit of time to kill if anybody who's interested in a little bit of morning sparring to kind of get the blood circulating before we're going to be sitting <laughs> still for so long. If it says anybody, but very pointedly looking directly no, at her. Okay, no, I understand. Uh, yes, Leopold, we will do the morning uh, the sparring. It's, it's good for you, my lord. It gets, it gets the heart pumping, mm, yes. gets the blood flowing. Yes, very much so. Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, my lord, I'm obviously wounded and cannot attend. I, I, I shall <laughs> fetch your good things, he says, and I shall ensure that they place it on the coach. Perfect. He says, and you'll find me there. Thank you, Lucas. And a smirk crosses his face. <laughs> his way over towards the... Uh, you've not cleaned yourself up, you hear in the background. Can you clean yourself up now? For goodness sake, there's going to be a lady aboard. And you smell like you're, uh, you, you smell like, well, midden, midden like, and you're not off, you're midden like, uh, never mind. You smell bad. <laughs> Just, I'm getting on my coat. Do not dare get on this thing until you clean yourself. Oh, this is ridiculous. We paid you good money. Yeah. 
who's who was that? Was that Lucas? Lucas was speaking. Right, yeah. Too, sorry. yeah. Right, are we swinging? Yes, so yeah. uh, the Leopold will take take out from his pack his two wooden uh, sparring swords. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You wet muddled. <laughs> yes, thank you. This is this is a a big sort of two handy type thing, or is this? Uh, no, just, just a wooden my... like okay. big bokken. It's yeah. a proper one rather okay. than that pointy thing you use. Okay, well I'm not very good with these, so fine. That's why you do it. I understand. Stuff. Okay, <laughs> as Birdie washes on with a huge smile on her face, what you may doing? Uh, you may well investigate the coach inside. <clears throat> the coach on the inside, um, peering in, um, indeed does have a fine collection of hat boxes, of various sizes, various colours, and various decorations. The predominant colour is blue, followed by green. Do you have lore heraldry? Uh, yes. Then yes, you may roll. Oh. Uh, yeah, three successes. So, what you can say for certain is, you presume she's trying to pass off as a, you presume, some sort of Drakvold noble. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. There's two things that um, are going to call this out wrong. Number one, mm-mm. just just the wrong colouring on absolutely everything. No heraldic markings on anything. You're not even convinced there's going to be hats in there. But maybe there are. Uh-huh. I mean, I'll, I'm definitely having a look. <laughs> and, and maybe... There are people around the coach. You'll probably be spotted slipping in unless you do something to ensure that you are not spotted slipping in. On that, um, what are you doing, um, Elric, while she decides? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're on top. Um, Alamenowife will probably notice that uh-huh. um, you may... And, and, and she'll out. take out her flute and uh, start playing some music on the other side and just, you know, make a noise. That, that'll probably be more than enough. Elric, what are you doing while they're sparring and they're nice. um, potentially investigating? Well, Elric is disdainful of the sparring. <laughs> um, he's been made do it once and he's like, fine, whatever. <laughs> Where is our scholarly friend? He's sitting on top of the coach. Okay. Elric is going to actually go have the, the noble lady and her retainer. Have they left their room? They, they have not. I was going to find their room and ask to speak to probably her retainer. Knock. The door opens and it's the small, relatively mousy looking um, girl who answers and says, Yeah. Uh, my apologies for the intrusion, but uh, is your mistress? He smiles. I was got no one around them, so he's like, <laughs> Hope Uh-oh. <you're> the best. <laughs> uh, he's, would she be, be available for a quick word? Says, may I ask what it involves? Uh, uh, the passage in the carriage. Yeah, well. She goes in, closes the door. There's a pause. During that pause, <laughs> <coughs> the tootling begins. How well did you tootle? Um, four successes. Um, it's a marvelous accompaniment to give you a good pace to your uh, training out there. Um, <laughs> is that a military air? Just to it's a montage. Get, get that. Yes, it's montage music. <laughs> montage music, sure. absolutely perfect. Yes, but, uh, but, uh, um, do yourself um, your post melee checks to see how well we do with each other. Um, <laughs> as you may slips in um, to check those hat boxes, and her ladyship um, uh, appears. She's wearing a long house coat over What's her dress? dresses. And she has her arms folded, and she looks you up and down and says, I did not expect it to be you. My, my apologies for the intrusion, my lady, and Eric will, as best as he can, like, give a little bow. Um, but she smiles. How old are you? Well, <laughs> I may be older than I appear. <laughs> How enigmatic would you <laughs> She says, <laughs> if I were to guess, I would say, 18? Mm, You'll be rather young. No, I'm, I'm older than that. Oh, really? Are you going to answer my question, or are you going to beat around the proverbial bush? I'm 21. Oh, really? She says, interesting. Hmm, 21, you say. What is it that you're looking for? Are you here representing your lord, or are you here representing your personal interests? No, I'm, I'm here on... The request of my lord and we have a, a boon to ask of you yeah yes what is it you you may have noticed last night that one of our party is not in the best of health he's, i did not he's been quite badly injured and we were wondering rather than him be on the roof could he ride with you inside hmm 
my mm-hmm. lord would find it most well you are very pretty and I should like to see a charm test coming from you please before I decide exactly <laughs> what I think on this one because you are very pretty work it baby <laughs> <laughs> Not that pretty, I think. One failure. One fail. And uh, she says, if he has paid for it, then I shall consider it. And what would said payment be? Well, I don't know. I'm not the coachman. Okay. You would need to speak to them. She says, is that all? That is all I appreciate. 21, you say? 21. Hmm. Interesting. Making me want to check my character sheet now. <laughs> <laughs> How old am I? Oh, um, on the inside of the coach, your light fingers pick, and these are locked. Oh. Oh. You what? thought it would just be little snaps, but it's not. These have got little locks. Do you have little lock picks? Um. Fail. I don't think <laughs> I do actually. I think the one so that's just does. regular size lock picks. Yeah, is that she does. Yeah. And you know she does because you've seen her use them in the past. Yeah. Um, so you're not getting into these without doing some damage. Yeah. Could I just try and lift them and see how heavy they are? That mm-hmm. kind of thing. Hat. They feel hat box light. So they don't feel like they're heavier than you would normally expect. And you have been on the receiving end of many a hat box in your time. So you know what to expect in this particular circumstance. Your mother wouldn't let you wear any of them. <laughs> uh, and how many are there? In... You would guess, without sure. particularly counting, 60. 60? <laughs> That's all the hats. Yep, there's not going to be a lot of space in this coach. Apparently, she loves her hats. Are any Has sport? anyone have <laughs> Lore Middenland? No. Yes. Then you may do a test. Um, good fail. Fail, but n- no levels of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, yeah. just fail. No, just you don't. Fail. You, you don't know what we're looking for here, uh, unless you're rerolling. No, it's because I do like using up a fortune point. <laughs> um, yes. You may will um, join Armin away on the roof. And Sounds good. Whisper. She's tootling away. Uh, um, the hat boxes are locked. Why would you lock a hat box? Could I, could I use your lock picks? One hand flew to the wall. That's going to be some impressive that sleight of hand. <laughs> She's an elf, she has three arms. <laughs> elf bullshit. Tail. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, tail. I'll, I'll just bring the you just kick, ear kick. to it. Yeah, yeah. You I'll, just uh, kick your hip out and yeah, they can yeah. sit there. It sounds perfect. So, you have your lot picks and you make your way down. What are you doing, uh, Gerhardt, at this point? It appears, um, uh, well, I'm trying to go to, between trying the two to... of you. He's dropping oh, his head. Uh, That's what he's doing. One success for you. Uh, no successes for me. But just, oh, you, just you've got the upper hand. Um, I imagine teachable moments are being thrown mm-hmm. in his direction. Encouraging him how to go on the defensive and uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. guard up. It's doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the, What's the bare minimum? How, how, how... <laughs> zero successes. Yeah, zero successes. <laughs> no, no, he can definitely do worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> and I imagine Birdie's looking on with just humor sparkling in her eyes. I occasionally interject with, you're dropping your hip again. And again. Keep that hip how up. Do I, they're connected to me. I don't understand how I could possibly drop them. <laughs> As a wallop hits you in the side of the head from him. <laughs> the second one from her. <sighs> Go again. I hate doing this side. Hip so clock test. Uh, we're back down. Yeah. Back down you go, you pass by um, one of the uh, coachmen who is snoozing in the downstairs. Common room, the tap room. Yeah. Different demeanor from Elric on this one, where he will forgo the foot shove <laughs> and just grab his collar. Intimidate? Uh, yeah, the room gets a lot hotter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a pretty easy intimidate thing. Go for it. Uh, three successes. Um, he, eyes open, goes, The Sigma preserved me. He says, I'm sorry. It's just always very, very tired. That's fine, but one of our lot is driving in the coach. Drops him and walks away. 
He singed me. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay, Gunnar. It's all right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. As he makes his way out. He's not crawling. He's actually walking. But it's that walk version of crawl. <laughs> um, as he makes his way over, lifts, stops a moment and watches you sparring, sees the enthusiasm beautifully contrasted <laughs> by the complete lack of said enthusiasm. <laughs> Doesn't really notice the difference between the two of them. Thinks for a moment he's meant to walk between you and spends a good 10 seconds trying to figure out how to get round before he realises you just need to walk around. That dawns upon him, his genius, and he makes his way round to see his compatriot who is currently finishing off with the horses. Climbs up. He goes to sleep. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hatbox, did you get in? Uh, no, I haven't rolled yet. Why am I rolling again? Pick lock. Pick lock. Pick lock. Uh, put these all in. Um, zero successes. That's enough. It's not a particularly complicated lock. And with a ping, well, it's a glorious hat. <laughs> it's a glorious hat. But is it? <laughs> <laughs> It's a glorious hat. Oh. Amazing. So, it may be a glorious hat, mm -hmm. but that's not going to fit her. Interesting. Dun, that dun, is not dun. going to fit her. Is it going to fit one of the other two women? It would be most likely to fit her far more larger compatriot, oh. yes. Oh. Um okay. I will put the hat back, uh lock it and things. Uh put it back. Done. <clears throat> Sparring done. One coachman asleep, one awake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I rolled eight successes. Okay, I rolled <laughs> nine, minus six. So. <laughs> You're unconscious. Bone! <laughs> that was too hard. <laughs> Throws it down. <laughs> Eventually up on the coach. This is Don't why you to need to practice, my lord. This is why you need to no, practice. No, not playing. <laughs> there is a long pause while everyone waits for her ladyship to arrive, but she won't arrive, apparently, until the horn is blown. The coachman has no desire to blow his horn. <laughs> Give it here. <laughs> says, if you don't mind, could you blow it just over there, father? <laughs> he says, it's me edge, you see. It's a, it, it's an issue. Me, all me family's got it. I have <laughs> no, no desire to cause you any pain. And, I, and oh, Leopold fuck. will respect his wishes. Thanks, father. You're a gem. Took the way a little bit. Star. And then blow the horn as hell. as he possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> that wakes up the other one. He responds to said noise with a resounding... <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh fuck! <laughs> he says, "It's all, it's all right. It's not worth it." <laughs> Promising. <laughs> Maybe we'll throw the horn to him. <laughs> Thanks. Who's <clears throat> her ladyship comes out with her maid and her bodyguard about five minutes later, and they make their way over. And they alight. The bodyguard goes in, the maid goes on top. Which is now really rather full. Everybody's crowded on the top of the uh, coach. Lucas is, is in the coach. Um, only if he's paid. Has anyone approached to pay uh, for him? I told him. He threatened the coachman. <laughs> oh, uh, if, you, if, you, if you tell me, I'll, I'm quite happy to cover that. Yeah, because I would have told Lucas. L L Lucas doesn't want to cause an issue. No, Lucas. Lucas no, no, there's no need to cause a fuss in a kerfuffle. No, no, it's fine. I actually have a job for you. So yes, you're 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 travelling in style, but also um, just you know find out information, a little bit of passive stuff. Apparently the hats are all locked up. Strange. The hats are all locked up. Yeah, Lucas, Lucas, the hats are way too big for her. That maybe she. Delivering hats? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound strong, does it? Maybe she's a hat smuggler. <laughs> oh God! A at this point already. <laughs> um. Well, did you, you say know, a huggler? A uh, huggler. Oh, is an, uh, someone who would barter, but yeah. also a huggler. But also smuggle hats. Oh yes, very good. <laughs> a huggler. 
uh, I shall endeavour to make some sort of... Um, but I fear that attempting to follow the hat smuggling route is not going to be a profitable line of inquiry. No, Luke, I don't actually think they might be smuggling hats. I, I, I know. Um, okay, good. I'm not even sure what I'm going to say to her, if anything. But we need a disguise for Carl, right? Maybe more hats? <laughs> Just to pull out the hats. <laughs> you mean you are actually ridiculous? <laughs> I, I, I'm quite amused. Um, uh, if an opportunity comes that she wishes to sell one of those hats, being the the, the haggler, haggler or whatever that she is, should that arise, I shall endeavour to ensure I get the most flamboyant option available. The, of course, a hat designed for someone most particularly of his presentable gender. Says so you'd look marvellous in it. I would go for, I would suggest, a marvellous bright red one. Purple, ideally. You, you already have a purple hat. Oh, that, well, yeah. I mean, you know, it's not as big. It's a little bit bigger. Right, of course. Wonderful. He says, <sighs> does she know? Know what? I'm going to have to deal with this myself, aren't I? Marvellous. What's the, what is the question? No, Sorry, no, she... she knows, Lucas, it's fine. Thank you. Opens it up, and you hear a, yes. Uh, uh, apparently, passage has been paid for me to sit in with, with you, my lady. Is that correct? She says. And who did you pay passage to? And the coachman, I believe. He says. I mean, I could go up and talk very well. Click. I think I fucked that up. It's <laughs> <laughs> the last we'll ever see him. <laughs> that, that didn't go well, did it? Um, at least he says a bit more loudly. Maybe you um, should. I, I think I'm all right riding on the top, actually. He says, I, I, I can negotiate my way up there. It can't be too hard. No, Lucas, uh, <laughs> one second. Uh, if I, uh, I, 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 should, I should probably go and have the conversation. Yes, okay. Right, but so perhaps I am... the uh, German apprentice should go with True, you. True, so you're originally. Look scary. Well, more to the point of he originally you negotiated. You also did the, the conversation. Yes, okay, fine. <clears throat> okay. Death glare at the two <laughs> drivers. And it's okay, one's asleep, he doesn't even see it. Yeah. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Quite. I'm practicing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I use a uh, a knock that only the gentry would know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a knock of such sophistication. Line. It's all in the wrist. You're like, you're like rubbing the yeah, door. <laughs> <laughs> so the other will definitely From side, you hear? Yes. Um, excuse, sorry, excuse me. Hello. Uh, my you open up and she uh, looks at you and smiles. And who are you? Um, would you care to introduce me? <laughs> my lady, this is Lord Carl of House Shadow. <laughs> she smiles. House. Thank you. Thank you. She says, "Good morning, Carl. What can I do for you?" Um, yes, I believe there has been uh, well, uh, the good. Um, do I call you a wizard? Do we call them wizards? Magister. Magister. The good magister. Magister is someone who's graduated, you're not magister. Okay. Almost, Almost a magister. <laughs> Almost, <laughs> <laughs> Almost magister. <laughs> Let's just go with wizard. Barrel wizard. Wizard. Okay, wizard is fine. Um, if you want to be absolutely accurate, you know the correct terminology. It's journey, journey, journey apprentice. Journeying apprentice. The good, uh, whatever. Enric. Uh, Enric has, has um, bought passage for my servant to travel uh, within the coach. Um, I think he just knocked, but it, it appeared that he's... Unfortunately, he's taking him unwell, so he's not the most direct when it comes to enforcing his wishes upon things. Do you mean the fellow who chose to go on top? Yes, but trust me, he needs to probably ride in here with you. He's taken a bit of a beating recently. Um, well, I shouldn't like, she says, to interrupt his convalescence or... Exactly. Otherwise, impede his health. But I do believe he chose to go up at all. No, no, it's okay. Lucas, Lucas. He's um, sitting off to the side. He didn't clamber all the way no. up. <laughs> he looked at it. No, no, paused. I don't think no. any of us even let him no, try. No, 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 very much would have kept him on the yeah. ground. Yeah, I'd yeah. kicked him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lucas. Good shot. Good shot. As a. Uh, uh, he says, no, no, it's really not a bother. No, it's not. It's not a bother. You're right. So come here. She goes, hmm. Right, perfect. Charm test. No, oh, okay. Um, do I get some stuff for <laughs> etiquette? No, do I get my stuff? Yes, you do. Yeah, baby. 
So he's got a talent that gives him extra successes should he do well. So uh, three successes, but with the Etiquette Nobles, four mm-hmm. successes. Four successes, marvellous. Uh, she smiles. Well, of course, do, do come in, but sit comfortably on that side. <laughs> <laughs> he like squished up against all the hats. Yeah, sits down, um, careful of the hat box. The hat box. Those hat the boxes. As um, he sort of shuffles, sits down. Hmm. That will do. She takes out a small book. Is there anything else? She says. No, that's everything. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> Perfect. I think we got that. Can we finally go? Where's her retainer? Her retainer's on the top. Um, oh, the she's just, right. yeah, oh. she's uh, all mug- bunched up and hiding underneath um, our big shawl which she's wrapped around herself. It's time to go. And the coach moves off. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> and then you hear a Oh, not so fast. <laughs> Clip. Clop. Clop. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're doing well. Doing well. You'll be a coach when you... Shut up! Oh, you just call it. Seriously. Pop, 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 pop. And the coach slowly but surely moves off into what slowly becomes the early morning. Late morning, early afternoon <laughs> drizzle, and that is where we leave off. Before we have a quick break, our first part was nothing more than a quick relaxing, get to know our characters, get to talk about them, try a few tests, get everything into place as we head off towards the coach moving into uncertain waters. We'll be back in about ten minutes. And welcome back. So, our previous session was a nice sedate, relaxing, getting to know you sort of <laughs> situation where each of the players had an opportunity to be completely whited out, apparently over on one side, because one of our cameras is so a funny setting. Told you it was going to be shoddy for our first few. That's just the way it goes here at Lawhammer. But beyond that, it was a nice, easy relaxation in comparison to what's about to come. And with that, Bombshell, which pretty much everyone who's ever read the ever with enemy within goes, yup, yup, I, I know what's coming. But do you? We'll soon find out. The early afternoon turns to the mid-afternoon. The drizzle turns to a consistent rain. Lucas fortunately gets to avoid the worst of this really horrible weather. It's that sort of rain that doesn't just land upon one and is easily brushed off. It's more sinks into you. Winter clearly has decided that we're done. Spring has begun. Sprung, perhaps. But it's really not in the most warming fashion. You are all cold and wet. One coachman knows exactly how to deal with this. It's a nice mixture of snoring and farting. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's almost like punctuation. Go over a bump, go across a long flat area. <clears throat> the other coachman at least has the presence of mind to nudge him every once in a while when he's a little bit too loud. <clears throat> Whoa! He's snoring. I'm trying to, I'm trying to ride. His driving, not riding, (coughs) skilled coachman, (laughs) is not exactly the most skilled. It appears to be nothing more than loosely, limply holding on to the reins and letting the horses meander at their own pace, which is not particularly fast. And that suits him perfectly because he is nursing quite the hangover. You nudged him a few times, perhaps not with the foot, but most certainly at, oi, get him moving. We need to reach Aldorf at some point. You're not going to reach it today. There's going to be at least one other coaching house stop, but you may need to get moving. And there is that sort of lackadaisical, oh, yeah, 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 we're moving. As it settles back into a slow, wet, wetter 
horrible rhythm. There's not a lot of conversation on the top. <laughs> There's quite a lot of self-reflection. And it's fair to say that when you were younger, Garhart, you never imagined that you would ever be riding atop a coach in the rain in, of all places, the south of Middenland. <sighs> but downwind of that particular, you know, coachman. We forgot to ask at the end whether they had that unliveried coach had stopped. Well, you do have people yep. on the back of your coach, you could ask. Our scholar is no longer reading his book. He looks absolutely miserable. His hair, which used to sit in an almost lovely little bob, is now just plastered to his face. He has no hood. His coat's pulled around that, and he's well frowny. <laughs> Whenever someone makes the uh, opportunity to perhaps open a conversation, he immediately yep. looks a little bit scared, like, uh oh, are they gonna talk to me? And then looks away. So far, nobody has, which clearly fills him with a deep sense of happiness <laughs> until someone talks again. <clears throat> the maid just shuts up in the corner and says nothing. Her face is blank. She's just waiting for this particular journey to be over. What are we doing? Birdie would like to sit next to the henchwoman. She's sitting on the top, yes. her arms folded, um, and she's on the side uh, where all the hat boxes aren't, because they're all stacked up on one side of the coach on the inside. So she's on the opposite side, so she's got easy access to the, uh, the door into the uh, coach if necessary. Um, she uh, is not a talkative person, but may engage if you engage her. <clears throat> Our unnamed Bretonian, um, he uh, is snoozing through most of this. He just pulled down a hat and just sat down and allowed the lulling motion of the slowly moving coach to send him off to more as careful, or well, maybe not death, but most certainly the realm of dreams. <laughs> <laughs> In the rain. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's hat down. He's fine. Apparently, the lower orders can sleep in the rain. I'm rather grumpy. <laughs> Are you grumpy? Yes, I'm a bit grumpy. Um, so Gerhard is uh, obviously not entirely happy with the current situation. Um, looking around, is there anything that I would use for like a sort of tarp or something? There you know? absolutely isn't. There is, however, <laughs> there is, however, luggage from down below. Her luggage is all stacked up nicely in the corner. That's it. Okay. Unless you've brought your own handy tarp. No. Oh, my lord, would you like to borrow my shield? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do not drop it. Oh, it's heavy. It's quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I did warn you. <laughs> <laughs> it's really rather heavy. Slowly leaning forwards. Um, this will do for now. In the distance, You're welcome. There is a grumble and a rumble of thunder. That is enough to cause this response from our scholar. I'll take my project, buddy. This is the worst journey ever. It sounds like the weather is worsening. Welcome to the right. It's going to be a storm! Braveheart, sir. You know that I am a fear's no ample. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm ample. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, Father Hammer Anvil. Perhaps I could um, lift everyone's spirits with a, a tale of. Sigma. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> the lack of piety on display of Thomas Coach is worrying me for all of yourselves. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> Our souls are quite heavy. The shield is quite heavy. Well, I'm not sure I could lift your burden, Alan and I, but, but perhaps for us mere lesser beings. Well, give it a go. <laughs> Okay then, uh, Lupa will deliver a sermon on Grab fortitude. your selfie, quick! Entertain <sighs> rhetoric. Entertain rhetoric test. Uh, six successes. Smart, look at him go! He is depressingly engaging. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the worst part is, every time you're like, oh, just shut the fuck up, for God's <laughs> sake! He says something funny. <laughs> and, and, and the rippling of laughter <laughs> spreads around. Even the scholar goes... <laughs> um, 
The young maid is wrapped with it. The uh, bodyguard <clears throat> nods every once in a while. Mm. And uh, your story of Sigmar and his many trevies is he faced off against various awful creatures when he was but a young man. And the lessons that can be learned from this. The witticisms that you drop in. <laughs> God damn it, how annoyingly, frustratingly good at his job is. And as time passes by, you have to admit every once in a while you even forget it's raining. Is it raining? I mean, it's not Andy McDowell bad, but it's most certainly, <laughs> it's most certainly not necessarily the worst experience of your life. I mean, that's a, that's a high yeah, point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> high point. It's unfortunately made all the better at the high-pitched sound of an unexpected scream. Really high-pitched. It's Lucas. Guys, go hard. And not human. Oh, it's no. coming from the horse. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh, that's not good. And it's enough to obviously, it's not one of those things you require a perception test for. As uh, the old GM adage is, if you don't need to roll for it, you don't. There's nothing to roll for here. It's an incredibly noisy, high-pitched scream. But that's not what really alerts you to the worst of it, is the jolt that the coach suddenly lurches with. Who's at the back? Good question. No, it's you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> perching nicely at the back. Well, uh, that is an athletics test, or you will be doing the old. Oh, crit. Oh! <laughs> back flips off. Yeah. yeah. Three, yeah. three point up. landing. Yeah. Three, three. <laughs> It's, it's one of those moments yeah, yeah, yeah. That where Michael Bay would be proud <laughs> as it all moves into slow motion and the lurch goes, the back wheels suddenly rise, pitching her into the air. Everyone else is fairly firm, tumbling forward into the front part of the coach. She literally flips and then lands back on the back of it. And if you wish, you can be sitting on the back step or you can be perched up on the top. Your on preference. the back step, so um, she's hidden. That sounds perfect. Nice. And crouch down at the back. Now, there's a reason that she said that she said, and I'm going to quickly interrupt here, because her path, which we mentioned right at the very beginning of the stream, she's in the path of shadows, and that means that she can never target someone at all if they know she's there, because she always strikes unseen. And that inevitably causes some issues for her, as I'm sure you can imagine. They're handled in almost exactly the same way as priests, who have got their own strictures, things that they're not allowed, not, they're not allowed to do. She's got similar things she's not allowed to do, but unlike a priest, she can't break it. It's literally hard-coded through everything that she does, which makes it a little bit tough sometimes for her. Hence, ducking down right at the back, lest there be trouble so that no one can see anyone that's coming through. And she'll whisper under her breath, I walk in Ladriel's shadow. Nice. Nice, nice. The coach bounces at the back. It's enough that everyone's going to need to do themselves an athletics test, not to not pitch yourself off, but just to see what sort of ready state that you're in when it lands back down. <laughs> not great. Oh, <laughs> so close. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. Um, six, six, six. Oh, yeah, it's nice, six. <laughs> right. Can you, this one. I could spend a fortune point. You certainly can spend a fortune point if you wish. Increase it by... By one success. One success. Have you, uh, yes, yes, yes. That's yes. only Wait. if I'm successful already, right? uh, No, 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 you can just add one success. Oh, on do we still have point. the advantage or not? Um, yes. We are in a stressful situation. You do not. Now, okay. here's another little point. Advantage you always have unless it's stressful, which this is. Um, and once we move into combat, we're going to be tracking it with a simple card. I think everyone's got a card, do they? No, we're all using cards. That's brilliant. So they just flip it over. If they have it, they flip it back if they don't. And every time they're successful, it flips one way. Every time they're unsuccessful or they're beaten, sure. it flips the other way. <laughs> um, and yeah, you've got advantage at the moment if you desperately wanted it because you're a big know-it-all elf. Um, right, so uh, that done, you landed heavily with a cross. It's the lack of shield. You expected it to cushion your yeah. back, you oh. miss it, and it's a little bit like doing that last step. Um, Oops, there's another step to go as you stumble. Oh, yeah. As you expect the shield to catch your back, you don't, and you slam back really hard onto the railing, which is unfortunately jaggy and slips past your uh, breastplate into the back of your arm there. Oh, you know breastplate. Well, just, uh, of course you know. Uh, you missed that one in a previous adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so, no breastplate. Slam, slams rather sorely in. Not enough for a wound, but enough to cause a... Uh, it's a really almost nerve jangly pain that um, zips down. Anyone else fail? Zero, oh. but still fail. Oh, you're, you're all the luck. Clearly, Renal's blessed servant. Um, <laughs> as uh, you go up, 
and the coach goes up as you go down oh. and you just bang hard um, it's enough to wind you slightly <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> <Terrible>. Seriously. <laughs> I'm going to have fingering this coming your way if you don't watch out. <laughs> so, that aside, oh, you're banging hard in the corner. I uh, told you, grown ups. We're grown up adults and we're totally mature. <laughs> um, are we? <laughs> are we? So yeah, totally. Uh, the coach then doesn't slow, in fact, if anything, suddenly speeds up even faster as the horse at the front panics. Right. Um, Fortunately, you have two expert coachmen. <laughs> Absolutely marvellous. One of them literally tumbles over your shield and falls off the side. In that you are sort of half hundling under the yeah, rain, yeah. he falls backwards at the lurch, goes over your shield, lands heavily, squashing you slightly, then tumbles off the edge. And his oh, legs I just flail. Sure. Can any of the rest of us attempt to grab him? You landed too badly. Yeah, you can certainly look at him and say, I wish I could attempt could, to grab you. Could, could I ask whether Sixth Sense might have given me a little warning that this was about to happen? No, because there wasn't something to be uh, called out in this particular case. Is he near enough Didn't for me to Didn't trigger this one. Pardon? Is he near enough for me to um, he, Yeah, he'll tumble right by you if you want to do yourself a quick, I'm going to grab him out there. Do you have a melee brawling test? That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Um, grab out. Do you get uh, your... I'm going to use a fortune point. Because he's important. Zero successes. <laughs> Zero successes. That's enough to get a good grab on. I'll let you do a strength test, but this one's going to be difficult. You're going to need to get at least three successes. Now, there's another little spot here where we go how we handle difficulty. We don't do modifiers to our rolls because that's a pain in the arse. All we do is we say how many successes that we need to make something work or not. In any case, she needs to roll at least three successes on a roll. If she fails it, that's it. That's somewhat equivalent to saying it's minus 30 on the test. So it's a hard roll. Easier than maths. Yeah, it's much easier than maths. You need three successes. Two successes. Oh, it's beautiful. You reach out, you grab them. A look of hope. A look of hope. Fortune point brings it up to three. You can spend a fortune point to bring it up by one success. Fortune points. Um, Everyone's got a number of fortune points that can be used to reroll failed tests, or you can just add plus one success to one of your rolls. So she can take her two to a three and... Doing so? Yes. The hand goes out, it grabs on, that look of hope hits his face as he's falling backwards into the wet mud below. And your fingers slip. And he's again grabs and yank and pull him up onto the side. That gets a nod of respect from the bodyguard that you're sitting beside because that was some pretty fast reflexes there. Yeah, yeah, bam, bam, straight down. Nicely done. The other coachman is fortunately in a far better place. Much, much better, because he's not falling backwards. The horses at the front have bolted, and they've taken him with them. As the coach, which wasn't perhaps quite as well built as everyone would have liked, just breaks. Now, obviously, the Warhammer world doesn't have Superman. And there is no clear descriptions of someone piling off the front looking like Superman. So he doesn't look like Superman, but he most certainly <laughs> looks, like looks like he is flying forward, <laughs> holding on to his reins, doing his best to do his job. He's not shouting woe, though. He's just flying. It's more of a... Oh! As um, he flies forward and the horses careen off and then dart to the left-hand side into the tree line away from the road, causing your coach to immediately slow down and then come to a stop. Rain is slashing down on all sides. At the front of the coach is our father, who's a little bit winded. You're sitting beside him on the side there, I believe, as well? Yeah. Um, Yume's over there. You're near the front as well yeah. with your shield, but you passed yours, so you're in a place where you can look up if you wish to do so. You've already saved someone, and you're sitting at the back. So you're the one that will get an opportunity to look up and see what the hell's all the issue as you look up from side to side. The and it doesn't look like it's much of an issue. Uh, you can see that there's someone on the road up ahead, not too far ahead. We're looking maybe 20, 30 yards. So a distance away, but certainly not enough to make the horses immediately plunge until it lifts its head. Ah, so it's gone from him to it. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah, okay, yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. What have we got, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> the first word is not one that is normally in Gerhardt's <coughs> typical day-to-day -day spoken vocabulary. Fluorescent. Mm. And that's why you've moved from him to it. <laughs> and it's weeping from its eyes. Green. It pours down its face and mingles with the rain and drips down its front. And it's fluorescent. You can see it by its own light. That is not a good sign in a... Yes, admittedly rainy, dark sky, but we're still in daytime. 
and it glows with its own power and enough of it that it can be seen not a good start it's when it lifts up and there is a hand in its mouth covered in green and it's not just sitting on the road it's sitting over a corpse okay across its front is some sort of hessian sack or some equivalent cloth something that peasants would wear most certainly perhaps that is his normal garb <laughs> maybe that's just how he sartorial sartorially chooses to position himself and a host of rags it's definitely a look it's not one you would favor which is Gerhard most appalled by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, 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 isn't it? And because I'm speaking to Gerhard, it's relatively important we make sure his sartorial choices are called out. Mm. <clears throat> that is what you see. Now, we also have, just to again cut in, a set of rules for stress, things that cause you stress, but we don't worry about those until the encounter's over. And once it's over, we do a test to see how well our characters may or may not have dealt with it once the adrenaline calms down and they get a moment to reflect. So be aware, at the end of this particular section, Gerhardt's most certainly heading towards a test. Just rags, just rags. <laughs> <laughs> because who would wear that? Um, so with that being said, the horror of his, you can choose between clothing choices and his eyes and his goop and his uh, and his, uh, is before you. And so far, you're the only one that's noticed. Others, like the good father over there, he's looking at the whole... Well, oh, they've got all over looking back, seeing the coachman getting dragged off into the trees. Oh my goodness! Um, anyone else passed? You got six successes, didn't you? It. Okay, so um, you're in a position where, as the coach slows down, you've got a choice. What would you like to do? Our will be looking in the direction of of Gerhardt. Um, Gerhardt looks like he's a little bit mouth agape. Yeah. Um, is he saying rags? Is he saying horrible blood? You can't be quite certain. So Irish gaze will follow that. See. Wow what he sees the hand drops from its mouth and it howls that's enough for everyone to be aware that something untoward is definitely occurring beyond just the coach itself careening off unfortunately not crashing uh, our go bellow Gerhard birdie we've got more mutants stand up draws a sword Ellen and Rachel ready her bow so this is where we move from Standard rounds and do combat rounds, and that means map time! New map. Map time! Now, um, for, uh, uh, here we go. Let's just pull that out. If I place that on top of the map that's already there, it'll hopefully be centered already. Or it might not be, and um, you might not be able to see anything. We have our coach up here, where everyone is currently. <laughs> oh, the urge to call you all manner of euphemisms <laughs> as they all slide up there. So, uh, Birdie's down that side, Alameda Wife is at the back. Uh, your dog is with you. Uh, Gerhardt is in front of you to the side. There's our bright wizard, there's our father, and you may sit down to the side there at the back. Okay, so that's where they all are. Obviously, we've got our uh, good old. It's nice to see a map, finally. I just take a moment to pause and say, we've got a map out. I had to make this today, because I made it four months ago and couldn't find the file, and when I did, I found it was corrupted. So I literally made this this afternoon. This was me panic mapping! <laughs> um, and all the maps that we use during our streams, we're going to be popping them all up for free, so you're going to be able to just go and grab it yourself if you want to use it in your versions of the Enemy Within when you play it, assuming that you do. So that's what we've got. We also have this fine-looking fellow over here. Mm. Um, and I do mean a fine fellow. And now, as I said at the beginning of the stream, don't worry about uh, the map cam that we have there looking down onto this, giving you the best resolution images. I'm pretty convinced it won't. But we're going to be <laughs> replacing that one later. But you should be able to see enough to give an idea of where everything is. Right, so there's a couple of things that I need to say before we start combat. Number one, right at the beginning, I mentioned yeah. initiative and how we move in initiative order. That means Andy will always be slowest in the order, and Alameda Wife, the... Um, I'm almost almost hearing the bullshit elf coming from Elric there, um, will be right at the very top making her choices. We have one additional rule on top of the standard Warhammer Fantasy roleplay rules, and that's that we have a set of defined actions and moves that you can take. But for our first combat, we're going to keep it nice and simple. Everyone's just going to declare what they're going to do, and we're going to plow in with it so that we can see how it goes. So at the top of the round is our elf. You're, at the moment, unaware of exactly what's going down because you're tucked down at the back. Um, you are, however, quite clear that there's more mutants around. It has me shouted. So what's her plan? Um, to go to the woods. Excellent. So what's your movement? Um, 
movement five. is five. So one, two, three, four. You can go up to ten if you want to still have an action. Um, yeah, deep in oh, as eight, nine, she now, knows she can see. <laughs> normally trees slow everybody down, but she's got herself a special trait called arboreal because of course she's a wood elf. Um, now that does two things in particular. <laughs> one, it gives her mighty advantages for moving through woods, which is awesome. And the second one, it means that woods never count as blocking line of sight for seeing stuff or targeting stuff, meaning that she can fire arrows through woods where everyone else would do that and they'd hit trees because bullshit elf. Um, <laughs> but that also means that she can see stuff that others quite literally cannot, including what is over there by this section. A bloody mess of corpses, a, co a coach over at its edge, and others. Yay, others. This seems fine. Yeah. 100% fine. Let me just pull out these. I'll give a brief description of each in just a moment, because each of them are quite word? different. There's one the tag. there. Uh, now there he is. He's back there. And finally, we have him, who's just a big black blob in this one. Tokens made today. Um, using the actual tokens from the, uh, uh, the adventure, because I thought that'd be quite fun. Um, but normally we'll be using our own ones that we make ourselves, but I thought, first one, let's go with the ones in the book, because that's quite cool. Um, so, we have got ourselves more than one individual over there. At this range through the woods, you might be able to target them, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're aware of who's who. But I will give you some loose general ideas of size. And when I say size, I mean very large indeed, for all the head looks small, that one. It's big, it's burly, but you're quite convinced his head is quite the opposite. Tiny, sitting atop it. The others are just figures at this point, but you can see them milling around. You're also aware that you might not be able to see everyone. There are definitely corpses over there. So, top of the round, what's your plan? You've moved? Call you've out. <coughs> Call out. Um, group around the bend. Because she can see there's a bend in the road, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And then she's going to fire at that one. Because she doesn't want to alert them to her in the woods. Okay, give yourself uh, a quick shot. <laughs> oh, oh, I've yeah. got advantage, don't I? Was that a bad roll? Yes. I'm, 88? I'm, oh, I'm, okay, I'm, not, I'm also doing another small I'll call out. Eight point. in our uh, version of Warhammer are important numbers because the eight-pointed star of chaos. It just represents, generally speaking, bad shit. And the worst roll is not necessarily 100, because you're always trying to roll under your skill. It's often 88, because little weird things trigger in the Warhammer world yep. when magic is perhaps imbalanced. <laughs> so we can't and, have that today. <laughs> and we are in a five minutes to midnight setting where magic is already imbalanced sing quite badly. So 88s are great. I approve. Let's keep that roll. I rewrote it. <laughs> I am disappointed. 96. Hey! <laughs> so, as I said, works. Arboreal, best traits ever, allows her to target things without worrying about the trees. Dunk, hits a tree. <laughs> um, well done. <laughs> Good shot. As the arrow arcs forward, thuds into a tree, utterly oblivious. What's your initiative? Just so I know where you are in the order. Um, my initiative is 71. And yours is? 57. Okay, now, her initiative is actually lower than Gerhardt's, but she's got a special talent that boosts her up during combat, which is why she gets to sit ahead of him. He's not at all annoyed by that in the slightest. Um, <laughs> that being the case, I do get to go first. Um, that may surprise people who are aware of these stats as pitched in the book. The stats that are pitched in the book are designed for basically total noobs. Um, people who've never played anything and have no idea, they're not at all reflective of what mutants would actually be like. Um, these ones are quite the freaking opposite. Um, as um, this one here bounds into the forest, also with Arboreal. Oh, no. Okay, fully aware the elf is there. Um, and does uh, a charge test on his goat like legs, which allows it to move one, two, three, does add count in squares, it might not reach. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it does reach! Um, as he bounds through the forest and, and leaps. A clever mutant might have perhaps used a sword or something similar, but it's half frenzied. It's not really thinking very straight. It's just going for you with its teeth and its, its, its fingernails. It's not even claws, oh. it's fingernails. Um, so, in uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, we both test and we compare to see who did best. If I do best, I wallop her a shot. If she does best, she gets out of the way. Oh, 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 not looking good. What'd you get? 98. No. <laughs> so how many fails? All of them. All of them. All of them. <laughs> um, 
I'm not even using a weapon. I'm no, you're not. Rolling. Six well, you've only got your fails. bow out at the moment, so six <laughs> six fails. <laughs> wow. Well, I got six successes. Um, oh. As um, he re- bundles I'm through. Re- I'm re- oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Eight fails. Eight, eight fails. No, 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 sorry, six. Um, what did I say before? Six. You said so six. Five, five fails. Five. Okay, so I win by eleven. That's a pretty impressive one. Um, it gets no benefit at all onto its uh, weapon. It's got no extra damage because it's just using it. As it bites its teeth um, oh, into no. your neck and tears a bit of it, chunk, straight out there. How ripping. Much damage? You have just taken yourself a rather impressive 15 wounds. Oh, five. So she takes that many. She takes her toughness bonus off that. Which is tough five, so um, I take 13. Oh, no, what did ten, you say? 15? 10, 10, 10 wounds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. How many would you go left? Eight. Oh, wow, she's well tough. Bullshit elves. <laughs> <laughs> Wood elves as well are tougher than standard elves. B- b- bless their souls. Um, Barking. Um, nice one. Uh, that's my highest initiative. Your initiative is 57, as I recall. Yes. Yes, yeah, so you're next. Uh, getting down from the coach. Okay, you've heard the shout from Alamein and Wife. Yeah. Um, you've seen the horrible creature sitting there. Are you yeah. getting down or are you bundling forward? Is she intending to charge? Um, What's her plan? Yeah, she she wants to engage if she can, but she's also conscious she needs to get Meat Pie down. So she'll kind of... Oh, Meat Pie can jump down. Ask. Yeah, he's, he's only fine. little. Yeah, he's rock hard. It's mud, though. It's, it's, it's vicious. If he dies, <laughs> that's on you. Right. Um, You're right. Uh, <laughs> bird, birdie... Heads into combat. Okay, so you, you've got a movement of four. Uh, 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 yeah, easy peasy. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can use uh, Meat Pie in one of two ways. You can either use Meat Pie to attack separately, mm-hmm. or you can use him to assist, which means that whatever success you get, you'll get plus one on top of if he succeeds as well. He'll assist. Yep, he'll assist. I good move. That can turn on uh, success. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> the thing, right, before you charge oh. it, as you get closer, You'll need to do a fear test to charge it because as you get closer, you realise just how awful it is. I'll let that roll stand for the fear if you'd rather. If you've critted it, for example. I have. So would you rather? I'll, I'll, I'll let you let that do in your combat roll if you want to roll fear separately. But you might fail the fear and not get that combat roll out. It's your choice. I'm going to use that for my combat roll. Sounds good to me. So do your fear test. That's a cool test. Fear test. Uh, yeah. Zero success. Oh, super! Nice. That's enough. That's all you require. Yeah. Um, as you go charging into it, there you're going to get a crazy killing. Um, and that's another three successes. And what are you striking at this mutant with? Sword. Yeah. Sword out, street in, yeah. wallopy, wallopy. So that's Stab, six um, plus nine. And have you rolled for... Uh, the correct, yes. I know, for, for meat pie. For meat pie. Oh, yeah. To assist you, but possibly have another success. Four successes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so that's another success on top yeah. as well. So you've got a total of how many? So that would be seven successes. Sweet! Plus nine um, for the sword. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it, it did relatively well. It got two successes in its defence, but that was not Plus enough. Six. So that means you went by five plus your nine, which means, rather annoyingly, 14 wounds. Oh, Stabbed. Um, it oh, takes the blow and howls as it falls to the side. Um, it is definitely not out, though, which means we now move on to Gerhardt. Okay, okay, okay. Um, There's uh, apparently squealing and shouting and all things going on. What's your right, plan? Uh, so Leopold and just like, <laughs> <laughs> move his shield towards him. <laughs> Um, uh, right. Um, okay. Off. Off the side of the. Uh, yes. Lovely. Excellent. Um, uh, turn to the door quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lucas, stay inside. The, um, uh, inside there, you know that the bodyguard has already moved into the coach. You didn't even see her move. Um, she's uh, sitting uh, on the inside, and um, she's got a small target shield. Sitting like that, she oh, um, looks in, and Lucas is on the inside, <coughs> being protected by. Okay, so he's him, fine. So it looks like it's a pretty good place. Yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, then next up, what do we want to do? You got. You can move up to four more squares if you want yeah, to. Yeah, that's a good. Basically, point. you've done well, what is in our action um, rounds. It's a dismount action, effectively, okay. um, rather than a charge. In that he dropped down, and he can move up to his movement in squares after that. So who you hit? So you've got advantage now, haven't you? Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, let's shift you up four, and then um, uh, I'll. I'll uh, you may. It's the 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 fluorescent one, the one with the rags, <laughs> and the fluorescent one. Uh, no, word you don't get to often use. No, exactly. <laughs> uh, I'll go for a leadership test. Leadership test. Uh, success. You have yep. advantage. Now. So it uses leadership. Yay. It's one of the many th- skills. Have all got different things that they can do in combat. Leadership can give you advantage if you try and give other people advice or buoy them up or some equivalent. But you need to outrank them. 
Do I? Do I have a ranking? What's your uh, status? <laughs> With both nobles. Is, is, is this That's where the pair of you no, start? No, well, your, your status your is the important one. It'll be on the front of your career. Do they start pulling out genealogy tables at this point? <laughs> I think that's exactly what happens with nobles, because some people will just ignore you because they'll be like, who are you to tell me what to do? Is it just for my current Yeah, current yeah. career will do. Um, the noble uh, talent goes on top of it. So then it's just silver. Is it the silver four bit? Yeah, it is indeed. And your status is? I believe you're currently a student. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not that. It's, it's not that, is it? Yeah, so you, you, you ignore him. Uh-huh. What does he know? <laughs> <laughs> it's always nice to get those That's little rules way. out as we uh, give it a go. So, uh, uh, thanks, Carl. <laughs> I can see him. <laughs> I'm mansplaining fighting. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's your turn. You've done your action and you move over. You move up to four squares. I'll let you do that in your own time. Um, if someone's got a pointy stick to move them around. Yeah, um, move. What would you like to do, you may? That's silent. I mean, to and what's your initiative? Uh, 44. Oh, 44. No, I get one front first. Okay, great. I hope they're not arboreal <laughs> too. It's actually a tree. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bunch of eggs. That's it. Just one of them is moving. That's it. So, what are you doing? Um, that's hitting a mutant can't a self-defense if they're clearly aggressive. No. If you charge it, you're the aggressor. If it yeah. charges you, 100% fine. Yumi is also struggling under strictures um, <laughs> because she's actually, not that she talks about it very much, a blessed servant of Renald. In our game, blessed servants are super rare. That's individuals that the gods have chosen to actually empower the miracles with real effect. So Yumi is a very somewhat secretive, not really talking much about it, servant of Renald. Um, Yumi understands what Gerhardt was trying to do, <laughs> so she will approach him and uh, put her hand on his shoulder and uh, pray. Oh, excellent. You're going to go jumping down over to where he is. Dismount up to moving over. Do yourself a little pray. What uh, miracle are you going for? Or I blessing? I am going for a blessing of protection. Lovely blessing of protection. Oh, sweet. Uh, which is uh, one success. That's enough. Cool. Yep. Um, so you can. Um, you, the, the opponent has to pass a willpower test before they can attack you. Nice. Nice. Got to look after your girl hearts. Love it. Pat, pat. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Bright Wizard. The rain is pouring down. All channeling tests have minus one success on them. Boo. Yeah. Before jumping down, Elric will. I will say though that if you had Geyer in his wind, it would have plus one. You know, that's the green wind of magic. It likes rain. You know, just to be an arse. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Uh, Elric heard Alamenawaith shout about the group. Yep, right? yep, yep. So in battle language to the father, mm-hmm. Elric will say, I can take care of the group. I just need you to cover me as we approach. So one of the things we have with how we deal with battle tongue. Battle tongue means that you can effectively, for a free action, say as much as you fucking want every single turn. Um, And they can happily chat between themselves and it represents them doing a bunch of hand signs, barking a couple of very simple words. So they can speak amongst themselves while the rest look on going, yep, yep, what? So, yep, 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 what? And... Uh, Dismount and start walking towards the mutant engaged. Just walking, you're so so cool. Yeah, um, but... (laughs) I've used my action to dismount, haven't I? So I can't. I know that's just your move. Okay, so I'll start the channel. Yep, start Um, the channel. Do yourself channeling test, as I say, though, sadly, one success down because of the horrible rain. This is one success. Yeah, one success, that's enough. You've got a little bit of magic channeling up as we then move to. You. Lovely. Um, Well, having received somewhat. um, Unceremoniously, his shield. um, (laughs) Marvellous. Liverpool will uh, also hop down and it essentially move alongside Elric, attempting to get to the other side of Gerhardt, if possible. Uh, around that side? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be. And, and, and if, if possible, getting in front of him. Um, no, I mean, you haven't got quite enough move, because you're on the same yeah. move, and he moved as far as he could. Yeah. But you'll be up right by him. Yeah, lovely. And so, as, as he does so and unlimbers his hammer, he will call upon Sigmar to, to right imbue you. it with his holy flame. Uh, and he will fortune point. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, successful. Superb. Yeah, so bang on, best success. Oh, 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 nice. So as he bellows prayers to Sigmar, the flame almost comes alive from not just his mouth, but the weapon itself as 
sparks of it cause his eyes to glow wholly yellow, causes his hammer to burst into flame. And yeah, blessed servants are rare. This is something that will cause most inside our version of the warmer world to not just pause, but possibly run if they happen to be on the other side. That's assuming they spot it. Because, you know, flaming hammers, not exactly obvious. Hopefully this guy does. This one right here. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. This guy. Um, all right, let's uh, move he our guys around. Dreams. This guy, oh, um, good. this guy lumbers out and calls out a mighty war cry. <laughs> you don't need to do a language mutant test to figure what that was being, <laughs> being said there. And he... Chilling. <laughs> he really makes big headway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> over here, this one backs off into the forest I am uh, and this one here oh no he was the one who's doing the uh, I got my wrong one there he is moving forward at full pace Ooh. around to there Whoa. and he's doing an athletics Whoa. test Hello. to go further which he fails <laughs> 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 he actually didn't make he, he completely failed that he attempted to go further and clearly slipped in the mud um, and that brings us to the end of round one. At the end of the round, if we've got anything that triggers, it goes off now. If anyone's got any spells or miracles, I've got a number of turns. That's when they start to take over. Uh, as we start the start of the next round, and Alan Anyway, who is currently locked in combat with a horny mutant with gold light legs. No. I was waiting for a phrasing. Um, <laughs> what are you going to do? It's ripped into your neck. The thing's bitten you. So she she can't actually attack. Like how you does that? Out and just hit it. No, but how does that work for striking at someone? What do you mean for striking? Shoot, shoot. Is it from just shooting shadows. from the shadows? You can strike. Oh no, yeah, you can. It's uh, you. It's when you're. You no no. I see what you're saying. You're saying for your stricture. Yeah. No, your stricture. You've got to get a combat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah you've yeah, got so to I'll, withdraw and go hiding from the trees. Just beat up Alamena wife, and she can't do anything about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, um, that job. Yes. Your <laughs> unique path strictures do cause issues, but you are, however, in your natural element. Sadly, so it's also it? its natural element. <laughs> just um, run back there. So if you wish to pull yourself out of combat, do yourself yeah. an athletics test, a dodge test. Pardon me, sorry. <laughs> I'm oh, guessing that wasn't a good roll. New dice, bad. please. <laughs> How new badly dice. did we do? Go on, give me an 88. Zero, zero. Oh, Ooh. big 100. Worst roll you can get. Do you have any fate point, fortune points left for me? No fortune points, it's me. She has to take it. This is one of the big weaknesses of elves. They might have high stats, but they're super fragile. They run out of luck super fast, and they tend to have to rely on those stats to see them through. Or not. <laughs> I rolled so yeah. badly, like five. Uh, you fumbled. Rather badly. Hold you hundred, please. Seventy-seven. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have wow. that one first. Um, uh, <laughs> hmm. Lindsay, do you want new dice? Yeah, please. <laughs> uh, hmm. As you skip backwards, trying to get away from it, it lunges and snaps and takes off just the tip of your nose. Oh! <laughs> Lose one wound. Um, How fair, fair uh, causing a, a quite high-pitched, one may even say girlish yelp to come from you because it's really nippy. Um, and, and toughness test. Yay! <laughs> Three successes. You shall never know what would have occurred if you failed. Um, let's move on to initiative. It um, attacks next. Uh, and it's going to be lucky to hit you. Let's see how you do. You're dodging or attacking I'm back? Dodging. You're, just, you're dodging. Okay, yeah. go for it. Uh, if she dodges and she gets a crit, normally you get a crit when you're defending, you can attack someone right back in their face. But if you crit with a dodge, you can get out yeah. of combat. Um, one success. One success? Yeah, yeah. No, I've got um, minus three. Um, so I've got three fails. You won by four. You've got advantage now. Have you, uh, oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Uh, what are you doing over there? I could... Yeah, I think I will. I know. Mm, well, we have... No, I won't. Birdie, what are you doing? Okay. Um, <laughs> sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Um, it's going through their tactical sense and lack thereof. Is it dead yet? Uh, oh, absolutely not. It's um, it's stumbled to the side and is clearly wounded. It is not dead. Then we shall continue to work. Give it a wallop. Okay. Oh, I did pretty well there. Not great, but pretty I well. I have advantage. So. You do. So plus twenty on your roll. Three successes. Three. I have four. I get out of the way. I've now got advantage. Lovely. As it dodges to oh, the side. Uh, that was fine. Meat pie. What about meat pie? Uh, meat pie succeeds. Um, it will still be. Uh, it'll be equal. Point and yeah. bust it up one if you want to. I mean, if she wants to. <laughs> Uh, three successes from meat points. So that's an extra plus one success. Okay, yep. that means you're equal. If you spend yep. a fortune point, you I can get over. I will spend my final fortune point. 
Yeah. <laughs> you and your <laughs> cunning use you of rules. Um, <laughs> and how dare you use rules? <laughs> so unfair. Um, as he leaps to the side, quite confident that he's got away from your blade, and you just show what being a giant can do as you overextend and push right through and into it. Good job. Thank you. Ow! You got plus nine, did you say? Yes. That's ten points out. Ah! Um, he falls backwards, stumbles from his feet down onto the ground. He ain't dead, but he's not up and actively attacking you. A splash of that green icor, that green stuff, moves outwards and may indeed even strike you. <laughs> Dodge test, please, while we go to Gerhardt. Okay, uh, right. What's it going to be, Gerhardt? Uh, 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 Bernie, I'm on my way. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Bernie, Bernie rolls her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Three successes. Yep, you, it splashes at your feet, but it does not strike you. Am I, I would also like one test for your good old Poochie Hound. And I'm in oh. charge range. Uh, you are well within charge range of this one, if you wish. Oh, no. That one's around the corner. You don't have Arboreal, so you can't see through that. Yeah, fine. So I will charge the... You're uh, going to go rumbling for it. Direct towards the fluorescent zombie. Uh, and fear oh. test. It may be on the ground. I'll give you... Um, your, have you got advantage? Uh, no. No, I'm going to give you advantage because oh, it's thanks. down on the ground and you're definitely in a superior position. Charging me. Pardon? Do I need to do charging the, Oh, you get it for charging anyway. Yeah, do the point. fear thing, right? Oh, yeah, exactly, the cool oh, test. Yeah, yeah cool. Point, Andy. You get advantage when you charge. Yeah, because I charged. So Meat cool. Pie did not dodge. Ah, uh, he didn't dodge. Toughness test, Meat Pie, please. Uh, pass, but no successes on the cool test. That's enough. So that I can give me the old stab. It's got fear zero, so you don't need more successes than what it's got. Uh, one success. Right, I'm uh, down on the ground. No. <coughs> oh, I critted. Oh, <laughs> bollocks. <laughs> now, combat in Warhammer is deadly. Anybody can get struck even when it's not your turn. And if you get a crit when you're defending and you're defending with a weapon, how does that work with protection? Ah, how does that work with protection? Uh, that's a very good point. I'm going to do a willpower, willpower test. test to say I easily passed that. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was a good call. The, the blessing in there. Sorry, he's clearly not. Calls. So, uh, ooh, that was a fail, so I only got two. So, um, that's a plus two critical on you. You've just taken yourself a bleeding wound. You're going to be losing one, one wound per round until it gets medical attention or okay. some equivalent. Um, and uh, it hits you in the 69, dude. Mm -hmm. A body. Um, so, uh, a, a nick of a bleeding wound that's really gushing quite badly from your the side of your ribs there. That's one wound per round. One wound at the end of every round the gets ticked off round. until you get yourself a bit of your roll. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that in a second. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gerhard's just gone charging off. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, <laughs> how does it remind me? How does it work with blessings? Can I do multiple, or is it one? One blessing per round. One blessing per round, like and you can only have of... each blessing up once. And so, if you cast the same blessing again, you're, you're taking it away from him, and you're channeling your god's attention elsewhere. It's up to you. Like, you know, clearly he's not interested in self protection. Maybe you should but be doing could, it to yourself. But she could use a different blessing then. Absolutely. The blessing of protection with skill. Oh. Yes. Um, it's very tricky when you can't attack things yeah. um, yourself. So she will walk into the tree. <laughs> walk into the tree line? Yes. Move out. Are you going to hiding back over here? Yes. Now you got to remember, you can break your strictures. It just means you're sinning. Yes, but I would rather not. Well, you know, <laughs> okay, you're not like an elf. Um, you can, you know, do whatever you want. So you're hiding off towards the tree line. And then I will uh, pray once again if yep, yep. I can. Of course you can. Which, uh, which one are you going for this time? This time I am going for. You ain't seen me, right? You ain't seen me, Roy. Nice. Love it. I love this one. Uh, three. Ooh, I think it's a crit. It is. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 that ooh really sounded like a fumble. Yeah. Was like, ooh, 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 ooh. But it was a good ooh. ooh. <laughs> um, they ain't seen you, right? Um, so effective is that? I will let you take your counter off, and you can place that counter anywhere from five. Well, leave it on there, but you can place yourself on anywhere within five squares of there. Huh? Um, at the start of your next turn, you can choose where you are. I'll give that for your crit. Cool. Nice. Um, good yeah, like totes. It. So, good time. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, because I ain't seen you, right? Okay, bright you wizard boy. Love the rain. 
<laughs> it's coming down on you. It's making your hair flatten. Oh, oh no! <laughs> His luscious locks. Uh, you have seen <laughs> Gerhardt attempt <laughs> to take on the mutant so <laughs> and it's uh, on his ground it's stabbed up yeah. thrust that and then uh, got so up. he'll forgo his it. current channel oh. grasp a sword in his right arm right hand that he holds <laughs> and he will <laughs> charge the mutant makes sense and, uh, um, shouldering aside Gerhardt out of the small way small extra there every turn everyone's allowed one free ready as in draw a weapon put a weapon away or some equivalent there's also a talent that allows you to do multiples for free um, other than that it takes up your action to do extra action so if you want to drink say two potions you would need to have yourself a pretty <laughs> impressive <laughs> belly but that aside um, that would require a special talent um, for those potion swinging moments um, <laughs> have the potion? so no, what no. you're charging in no, yes there we go, charging in there. Poor mutant. I mean, he's on the ground and everyone's like, die! Uh, ha! Uh, bu- 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 I think that's seven successes. Yeah, I'm not going to get anything like that. Um, and you've got one more. Yeah. Ooh, boy. Um, you're, uh, this is one of those put it down moments. How do you choose to kill them all? The, the old mutant. Mm. Uh, he's decapitated. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Well. As he comes up, tries to lunge at you, you twist around the body. Boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Roll a d10. Let's see how many squares it goes away, because that's just too much fun. Nine squares. <laughs> Nine squares! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna hit you, mate. <laughs> Pull it back. <laughs> you, mate. Oh, take that. Oh. <clears throat> Do with that what you want. Andy. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, they're all holding back. So there's another little thing as Andy's making his decision. There's one action that's called effectively hold. Um, whereas you wait, you delay your action. It's called delay and allow other people to do things first. And that's what they're doing because they're quite unaware of what's going on in the real world. They can hear conflict, shouts, and all the rest. These ones around the corner are unsure what they're going to do, which is why everyone's getting their turn first. Um, well, I think Leopold will will try and get like past. Gerhardt again in terms of <laughs> <laughs> attempting and to that, stop, stop yeah, him getting very easy to move in front and then yeah. you'll see that one there mm-hmm. um, it has well he's an attractive chap a horn that's growing right out of his head and the skin has burst out and Peel. is peeling oh. quite badly to the other side and uh, <laughs> as a lovely little detail water Probably. is pooling oh Pooling just nicely <laughs> with horn and flesh parts, and as it shakes its head, lots of little splashes go off in different directions. Worst unicorn ever. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna pray for Sigmar to give him courage. I think, he's gonna, I think that's a wise thing yeah. to do. Yeah. Uh, no, Sigmar doesn't want to give no, him courage. Sigmar's like, yeah, you fend for your yourself. Own? Yeah, quite. Yeah. Dude, enough. look after you. He received. Now that uh, <clears throat> will charge. Rah! Boom, 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 head down. Boom, 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 he's gonna rhino you. Boom, 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 you've got a big scary sword. Boom, 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 he changes his mind. Boom, 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 and he heads off into the tree line. That hammer on fire is way too much for him to cope with. He's like, no, no, that's just not right. Turns around and heads off in a completely different Aww. direction. Did but I? there is that little moment of dum, 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 as he just runs away. Well, in battle, uh, Liverpool will yell out to Elric that one of them has, has run into the forest. Okay. That one, the one I just well, saw. You, 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 well, you were busy <laughs> dealing with the guy in the ground. This is all happening at the same time. Right, that one's calling out um, a leadership test, which passes as he shouts, and you hear a quite clear, Oi, get your arse back in line! Oh. Um, and <laughs> advantage given to him in the tree line. It's not much advantage. That, that's, that was in Reichspiel, yeah? <laughs> that was in Reichspiel, okay. absolutely in Reichspiel comes a call from down there. Okay, so that's him done. And this one, <laughs> Speedy. <laughs> I feel like this one, now time. he's in the trees, can move at full rate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, oh, 12, wow. 13, 14, 15. Wait. And we'll do, oh, gets an extra four. One, two, three, four. As it launches itself all the way to there, runs through the trees. And that, is everything that I have. When, can I ask a query about yes. line of sight in trees? Yeah, yes. That's what I was now that they're on the edge. Can yeah, within two them? squares, you're aware that they're cool. there. You don't even need to do a perception test beyond two squares. Another two beyond that, you'll need to do a perception test beyond that. They're just in the woods. Um, and then you might need to crit test or get so many successes, depending on how deep they are. 
Right, tell them anyways, you are doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> the bullshit elf line apparently. Maybe oh, you should just be reduced oh. to show. Oh, just yeah. bullshit. Do your endurance tests. Yeah. If this uh, test is critted, you will lose uh, uh, the condition you have. No, I've, I've passed. So, so, two so, passes, you, so you just you just lose one wound, but you're still you're still bleeding. Meat pie, okay. Um, n- n- who knows? He's a dog. It's not like it's he's going to communicate. Saying, Excuse me, mum. That green stuff, I didn't like it. Well, it's going to be very inconvenient having a ratting dog that glows in the dark. If Meat Pie did answer like that, that would answer the question. I think that would answer the question. Meat Pie does not answer in a hello sort of voice. So it appears that whatever nasty effects have happened, I'm fine, Mum, have yet to occur. Okay. What are you doing, Alan? Anyway? So if I disengage, can I then just run my full movement? Uh, if you disengage, you can. Uh, yeah. Can you, <laughs> if you disengage, you can go ten squares. Um, if you successfully do so, and I imagine you probably will. It, but it'll probably just charge me. It might do so if it can see you. Run towards us then. Yeah. Well, I'll try and disengage anyway because I need you. Successes? Five. Great! Right, you're well out of there. <laughs> Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I would rather go towards the group. Ten? Yeah. Right there? That's, yeah. that's close enough. That sounds yeah. good to me. Yeah, that makes you a significantly less attractive target. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, let's hope that he's not some sort of frenzy guy who doesn't really care about that sort of thing. <laughs> Can I only go ten because that's all you can go because my movement. Uh, yes, okay. it says that your movement's five, so it's ten that you uh, move when you do a disengage. Oh. Oh, okay, um, I see. Yeah, yeah totally. Um, uh, roar, wah, ooh, I, I think it's uh, <laughs> approximately where I was. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it was right about there. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> however, I'm going to do a test for that, which has passed. <gasps> Timber! Secrets have been revealed! <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> 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 He's out there somewhere. Oh, oh. oh no. What a dick. Um, okay, as we move around to Birdie. Okay, I... you can see. Where are you? There. Yeah. Um, you're aware there's one moving around the forest in these directions. You're aware they're there. Um, if you charge, though, you won't get advantage because you're going to have to be charging through wood at the end. It's going to be a little bit different. But yeah. it would just be. You can charge that one with ease. One, mm. two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. You've yeah, got so advantage already. Anyway. Yeah, I'm good. So yeah, you've got advantage already, so you're fine. Yeah, yeah. I will do that. <clears throat> charge in, bomb! Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, just take a moment before you roll. Bit of All right, there. sorry. Oh, yeah. Bad roll. Let's just, just re roll that one. No, no, actually, actually, <laughs> yeah, I know how it works. They were, they were cocked. Seven successes. <laughs> okay, now you're just a good player. Uh, oh, you're just lovely. Anyway, <laughs> big stats. You charge through, and that shape takes on more distinct. Shapeless. You can decide yourself whether you wish to charge this because mm. it's a bestial creature. It doesn't look human at all. It's got a long snout and horns curling out from the back of it, like so. It's got a pie bulb mixture of black and brown mixed with sort of almost mossy looking bits of um, fur mm. slicked with wet on its shield and the sword that it's holding in its hand. Mm-hmm. You don't need to do a fear test. I don't need to. No, you don't. Okay. So you can choose whether you wish to charge it or not. I might as well. I thought you might. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how well does it do? It does that well. Mm. You just said seven successes, seven did you? Successes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's make that 12 successes. Put mm. him down. <laughs> 21? 21. <laughs> <Blackjack. laughs> wow. Oh, Birdie piles into the um, forest, sees the creature, doesn't even blink, and pokes her sword right through its head. Wow. It goes in there, it goes out the back, and for a brief moment, it blinks at you. And then the blood goes... <laughs> crunch. Dead. Hmm. That simple. Okay. Nice. Nice. Um, I'm going to. Oh, this is not. This is not ideal. Looking at the wound in my current uh, yep. in my torso. Right. Um, okay. And pull out a selection of nice ribbon hanky elements. <laughs> <laughs> at least seven or eight. Turn them in a large thing. Go for a. Your right. action's going to be tending yourself. Yes. Yeah, so exactly. Go for your heal test. <laughs> heal test. What are you doing? Six successes. Oh, sweet. Nice. Um, uh, yes, you've now been tended. You have lost your bleeding condition. Lovely stuff. You may well move five. So where's, where do you want to be? That way. 
Uh, uh, do, do the old campus thing. Is. Well, yeah. 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 And then um, could she? No, you can do whatever you want. She, that you, you're aware of that one being there. Yeah, but I can't hit it anyway, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> um, I'm uh, happy to. Uh, in terms of her own theological position, um, these are not pals. They're not your best mates, and they are clearly now attacking you in the plural form. Okay. So I'm quite happy for you to be in a what you feel is a theological safe spot. Okay. <laughs> but I will warn you, that's feelings. Okay. So it's up to yourself entirely whether you wish to make that attack. That's not certainty, it's feelings. <laughs> Power of love. No, nothing would really <laughs> Quite. That's a vast. Well, could I... I think Sorry, actually I'm going to try and approach and get a good look at that person first. So you're going to... To keep walking through the tree line. So, <laughs> I can't see anything because it's stupid GM screen. Who needs a GM screen? So um, are you going to... Because the its head is over there, its body's over here. No, no, I'm going to keep moving towards the one that's still alive. Uh, that, that one over there? Yeah, or okay. maybe the one that Birdie just killed and kind of go look at it. Oh, can we flip over that? Is that possible? <laughs> it's got a dog's head on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take that off. There's a head over there. There's already a corpse in that square. We'll be fine. Someone do a dog on the other side. No, that was everywhere. Oh, no, that, that wasn't was me. Play. Play. <laughs> 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 You're just doing a lot of dog. <laughs> I was drawing a dog and then we realized we needed them. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, um, uh, do yourself a perception test as I move over to our bright wizzy woo. Knowing Wizzy-woo. that there are still more because there was a group yep. um, I've only seen. Have I, or has Eric seen Bernie kill the guy? Pardon? Well, she's aware. She, you, it's I'm more sorry, you charged into the woods. Usually things okay. die shortly um, after the that. The rain is <laughs> pelting down. Was there a yeah. sort of noise? Yeah. He will uh, still begin to channel uh, while in the battle. He'd have seen Alamenoite as well. So, <laughs> Don't come back out bleeding. Okay. Good, because he was worried there wasn't a lack. Of, there was a lack of arrows yes. peppering our enemies that we normally used to. Yeah, uh, to channel. Uh, fortune points. <laughs> uh, cool. Six successes on his channel. Five. Oh, 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 yeah, five because of yeah. the nasty rain. And um, the second you get a spell off, that um, negative will go because you'll have a fire burning somewhere. Just worth noticing. Several fires. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do believe it's Father Leopold. Yeah, now I'm assuming that one I can see in the tree line is too far away. It certainly is. Yeah. Um, in which case, I guess he'll wear really circle. <laughs> well, no, I think like maybe march yeah. forward a couple yeah. of squares. March forward Elric a was also moving. Yeah, so, okay. so Elric's right. already moved. Four squares. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Like, in fact, you can go up to eight if you want. You unless you want to go cautious. He would go cautiously, but he's going more towards Birdie. So uh, more yeah, like where that. he knows Birdie is. That yeah. sounds good. Well, that, and that's exactly right. Loophole would be between him and yeah, any that other. That makes sense. Sort of so protecting the wizard. Mm-hmm. I, I guess for his actual delay in case somebody charges yeah. him. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. Also, and in my uh, uh, the delay takes both move and action. You won't move. Does it all right? Uh, in which case, he won't. He will do a blessing defend. of battle. Blessing of battle sounds yeah, great. To kind of guide okay. The guy that goes. What does that do? Yes, How do you do? Critted. That means oh. I can reverse my next failed weapon skill test. Nice. Interesting. Because <clears throat> this has her suspicious. Yeah, yeah, quite. Um, the answer to that, he said being slightly oblique, is that no, you do not recognise this individual. Okay, cool. <laughs> Raised eyebrows are bound. Um, as uh, we're now going to do our guys. He is um, very enthused. Um, uh, he's considering rhino horning again. Um, he's not charging. He's just going to pelt straight in, um, like so. He's not going to benefit of advantage because he's already got it. So I'll then do my attack. Uh, I did pretty well. I'm sure you're glad to hear that. No. <laughs> oh, really? I pass, but only with one success level. Okay, so he bounds forward, occasionally dropping down almost into all fours as he charges, and the horn goes in and lifts. Oh, wow. Do a strength test, which he has, uh, this isn't contested, oh. which he's done. He throws you whoa, wow. that far, and wow. you take 
21 wounds oh. Um, oh. as it skewers you right into your non breastplated oh. chest. Yeah. Um, let's say that you've got the shield up in time because that's yeah. pretty cool. So it well, bashes I into got, that. Got yeah, because you've got the defensive roll in yeah. place. So it bashes into oh, wow. that and it throws you flying back. If it successfully pushes back, it's allowed to do another free attack. If there's anyone beside it, there is not. So instead, it won't. <laughs> um, instead of his free attack, he will just do those one of those impressive bellows that nasty creatures of their ilk do love to do in the rain with a. <laughs> That's what you get. in your flaming hammer. Yeah, take that. He's feeling feeling well hyped. Um, that being done, he will uh, skip forward. Um, He's going to be feeling well burnt soon. Can't, can't just ping with his crossbow. Oh no! Oh, dick move, mutant. <laughs> He's not really got line of sight. Is he? Mm, I hope he's not yeah. He can well, shoot the mm, guy with the rhino horn. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Shoot the only guy you can really see clearly. Mm, no, I'm going for Birdie. Um, can you see me? I'm yeah. in the cheese. Um, it just makes the show a bit more difficult. He loses two. Um, you can find the first two squares, and he's got two squares between. Um, so uh, that takes the damage down to. <laughs> that takes the damage down to only. 16 wounds. As the uh, <laughs> bolt. <laughs> 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 Mine's my touch, so an armor. Yeah, still a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. Um, hit you by the way in the leg. This bolt has that taken you down to zero wounds? No. Oh, he's got a hit in the leg with a crossbow bolt oh, as it slides off and does nothing more than cause her to bleed inconveniently. Um, Quite so, a lot, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one, um, he's got the best action. <laughs> Don't like this dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to arrive one day. Yeah. <laughs> boof, boof. <sighs> it's the end of the round. Does anyone have anything going off at the end of the round? Has anyone got any blessings or spells that run out? Just double check those. If not, we hit the start of the next round in Alamenowise. That's you. She's actually, she's in the trees, isn't she? Yeah. Mm. yeah. But arguably these people know where she is. It doesn't matter if they know. Certainly if she's a target. target. So she can... Fire and yes. then move yep, all the way over here. Getting fire and then move, <laughs> so, so you're, you're you're not in the same position. Go for it. Um, probably fire at the one which was the one with the crossbow. The uh, the one that you're pointing at. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Seems legit. Take a ping. How'd you go? <laughs> Best elf ever. What's <laughs> <laughs> going on? <laughs> I've got a feeling she might have missed. Did it again? Why did you roll those dice? We gave you different dice. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you the loaded dice that we use. <laughs> zero, zero. Oh! oh! It's a bad <laughs> And you flee. Ow. A lovely curl of flesh Ow. off the back of your wrist towards your hand causing a wonderful splash of blood to burst into the air, which you marvel at for a few moments before the pain hits and you drop the ball. That's a Unless you pass an endurance test. Hey, there we go. Yep, I passed. Let's see, changing the dice because obviously <laughs> changing the dice makes a difference. Because <laughs> that's true. how it works. Uh, marvelous, good shot. <laughs> Impressive work. The I arrow mean, lands at your feet. You have not. Oh no, it's broken. Oh, so you've it. also broken an arrow too. Um, and then she's going to move so she's like <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can get him back. Yeah, you yeah want. perfect. Superb! <sighs> Hey, Marty. <laughs> oh, the minute on fire. And not literally. You don't lose your yeah, shit. Get your yet. shit. <laughs> what are you going to do, Birdie? Uh, am I too close to charge the shit unicorn? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the shit unicorn that uh, you're about. Uh, yes, it's um, too many squares away. I one, will. Two. I, will no, just... I think it's only two for charge. So, yeah, yeah you yeah, make the one, yeah. two. You get the yeah, bone. You'll get your advantage back. back as you well. You can also back it up a couple and then come back. Um, I already had advantage. So. Superb. Yeah. Mm. Charge in the side, change his face into the EU. I've done oh, really well. How'd you do? Uh, you might... success and a crit. A crit. So roll again to see what you actually hit, and if you get more successes, add it on to. Uh, I've got advantage. Yeah, yeah, nine successes. Oh! Ow! Yeah. 
Oh, oh. Ow! Ow! Okay, yeah, so you very much won that one because I got four fails. That takes you up to a mighty 13 successes. As you stab for, get your plus one critical. Um, let's just, you know, scrape it across the face. That's what it deserves. The bleeding wound. Oh, no. The shame of that permanent scar upon his face is going to completely outweigh that enormous fuck-off horn in the centre of his forehead that no one will look at because of that scar. The shame that he'll carry for the rest of his life. Unless um, every scar like prompts a new horn to grow. <laughs> <laughs> I think Don't that's quite him. likely, yeah. isn't it? Um, right, so uh, that and an enormous wall wallop of damage as you thud into it and it laughs as the blade passes through there and you pull it out and didn't get the response you normally get when you stab someone. Very disappointing. Go ahead. Okay. Um, he's laughing at getting stabbed. Yeah, I know. I'm not. He's uh, laughing at getting stabbed. Don't care. Not messing with that at all. Thank you very much. Uh, so Cheers. I've seen. <laughs> you've got a job to do. Uh, <laughs> so one, two. Uh, can I? Oh, can I get to either Leopold or Alameda Wife? Leopold or Alameda Wife. Yeah, um, you're I'm pretty here. Much smack oh, yeah, you can get to. Them. You can get to. Yes, Alameda Wife is currently. Uh, she's over by. Oh, you get to either. You've got more than enough movement. Okay, um, I'm, I don't know about that guy in the woods, so she's presumably fine. Uh, to Lewis Paul, please. To his side. Um, to hind side. Uh, just to his side. Um, all right, come on, up, up we get. You're doing, you're doing a good job. Just <laughs> make sure you stand in front of me, that's good. Uh, I'll do a little heel check. Marvellous. Yeah. You might need it, because that was quite a wallop. Uh, zero successes. So you just add your intelligence bonus. Uh, my intelligence bonus. Magic Mind, uh, seven for you, my friends. Whoa! Oh! You savant. <laughs> yeah. Let's don't use the word ADO before it. Um, so what are you going to be going for? Um, you may well step forward a couple blo uh, cubes, squares. Squares? <laughs> That's cubes. the word. Cubes. <laughs> well, we're 3D. We are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Marvellous 2D 3Ds. Uh, so uh, you step forward, you can see the one with the large crossbow. He's currently <laughs> winding around, looking out to make sure he's not getting charged. Yeah, she will try. I think I think that arrow was too close to home. Th this counts as being attacked, she thinks. Mm -hmm, she mm -hmm, feels. Mm -hmm. And we'll try and shoot. Okay, give it a go. Out comes her short bow. And that's three successes. That'll do add your damage. Um, my five plus five. And where did you hit? What did you roll for your roll to hit? Uh, forty-three. That's that's exactly what they are. Bonk. Um, <clears throat> he's a pretty stocky fellow. Normally, when you shoot someone, they respond like, for example, Roar, ah, ooh, or ah, ooh, fall down. This one hits and sort of deflects and bounces off as its skin which you can now see a little bit more clearly because it's so much closer and the rain is it's actually gathering down the lines of the skin mighty big scales Ew. bounce what? <laughs> <laughs> yay <laughs> Okay, I've currently got some magic channeled up, boy. What's your plan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> oh, yeah. he can see one of those mutants kind of down the road, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy yeah. with that. I'm so, not too worried about. Uh, yeah, so again, knowing that there's a group, he's yep. going to continue. I mean, that to guy there's so big. Uh, like, Birdie, you got this. You, you've got that mutant, so it's fine. So he'll keep walking. <laughs> he'll see the two. <laughs> yep. He'll attempt his language magic. Oh, the words of magic twist uh, the air yeah, and... Yeah, that's eight successes. <gasps> hey, what are you casting? Adding to the channel I already have, so it's 13 successes in total. What have we got? Um, he's going to cast two fireballs. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's go one for each uh, mutant, but they're both... Okay, what's the casting number on that on, one? Uh, so seven. Seven, okay, so that's going to be... And what's the damage bonus? Uh, so this will do. And that will uh, plus six uh, magic missile for each one. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a fireball arcs through towards this guy and blasts into his chest, does enough. That I'm going to push him back at that um, a square as well because that's that's quite the wallop. Uh, it causes the. Does it cause flaming as well? Of course it does. Uh, he will be a. Okay. Yes. His um, clothes start flickering into fire. Uh, 
magical fire in the rain. We'll see how long that lasts. The other one, again, struck by it, doesn't move. It doesn't seem to be bothered by the fire that's beginning to scrape. Right, wreath its arm and around its body. It says. Wow. Oh, I think I'd like to see how that unicorn boy likes being charged. That seems fair. <laughs> He's not a unicorn! <laughs> Bang! He's a shit unicorn. He's a shit, shit unicorn. unicorn. I'm sorry. <laughs> shit unicorn. That's not one shoe, I think. Yeah. Um, so that's two successes. Take that shit unicorn. Um, he has got... Wow! Best roll ever! Minus five! Hey. So five fails. So seven, 19 damage. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and he is an enemy of Sigmar. He most certainly is not a friend. He gains a blaze and prone. Boom! <laughs> As the hammer thuds into his chest, he goes falling down to the ground. <laughs> howling as... Poof, holy fire ripples all over his body. Holy fire, yeah. Um, that's actually quite the crit. He has just taken himself... Oh, wow, it's a nasty searing wound. Oh, no, you burnt him. It's really mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> poor guy, he was just out having a jaunt. Not um, <laughs> 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 a, 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 a good mutant <laughs> jaunt, looking for, you know, trouble. Um, <laughs> as, boom, oh, yeah, he's minced. That really badly hurt. Nice. Uh, down on the ground, I'm going to do myself a test. No, I'm still conscious. I'm okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm just on fire. Uh, uh, that's it. Let's um, go the rest. This guy, um, he is going to pat the fire out Ugh. for his action um, and for his move. How much damage did those do? Uh, quite a bit. 19. He's moving there. This one is ignoring the fire. Ooh! Oh, God. Can't reach. Damn it. Um, he tried. He, now that he's close, is about nine foot tall. His head is the equivalent of a baby's. Oh. It's small and tiny on this enormous... <laughs> oh. um, on this enormous, meaty, quite human in proportions body. Its big hands are grasping now as it's going forwards. Its head lolls slightly to the side as it goes. Its tongue hangs out and is the normal proportion for a creature of that size. Completely filling most oh, of its mouth really? as it hangs out and flops. Friendly guy. Mm. <laughs> I'm in my wife. <laughs> it's just going to hide you. <laughs> hide behind this carriage. Um, can, 100! Can 100! Yeah, pop up. <laughs> So she uh, yep. crouch up there. down and, and shoot the one... The big one? The big yeah, one. go for it. And how hard would it be to shoot it in the head? What would that mean for my own? <laughs> uh, that tiny, tiny head. <laughs> yeah, that, that's going to be three successes required. So I'll knock three successes off if you're successful. Um, oh, no, it's a tiny, tiny head. You're right. No, it's five successes. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll just shoot. Can I... Uh, is the other one in range? The one who had the crossbow? Uh, yeah, you got a bar, a bar oh. you can see through that. Yeah, you can yeah. take a shot from nowhere. Bloody elves. Where's the, well, the other one? Guy. Yeah, the one that was hiding. Well, well my other know. action, I suppose, yeah, I uh, instead I could do, would it take an action to do a perception yes, check to try to find you it? You don't have an appropriate talent to allow you to do free perception tests, so the answer is yes. I think I'll actually do that instead. Wise move! Do that! I'll pull it off against my stealth. It's next to you! Ooh. <laughs> Three successes. It's behind oh, you. It's it was going for Gerhardt. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> um, and it's clearly it's well going around and it's going for him. It's stalking him. And yes, you caught it. I'll shout. Can I shout then? You can do whatever you Gerhard, want. Gerhardt, there's one behind you in the woods. What? Hopefully, I'll just one make behind you turn you in the woods. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, oh, you're fighting um, a spiky boy who's yeah. on the ground and on fire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are you going to try and finish him off, or are you going to uh, back away from it and try to deal with other things like Gerhardt possibly being in danger, or the <laughs> nine foot tall monstrosity? Yeah. I was trying to, you know, ignore <laughs> that. Well, well, I mean, it doesn't ball. look that dangerous. Yeah. The thing is, Birdie's down, to, Birdie's down to three wounds. Yeah. So. Got to remember, wounds though are not. They're also a representation, not just of being bloodied up and all the rest, but your general overall spirit and morale. But given how hard those guys hit, um, but yeah, yeah quite. if Gerhardt's being stalked. That's yeah. Okay, go. so you're going to dart backwards. Yeah, yeah. bodyguard. 
Okay, so he's down and out, so he doesn't even need to a break. Now you could run, which means it'll also take your action, and you can just do your full move for eight squares. I'll just do my full move, so I'm nearby. So that'd be you right by Gerhard. Perfect. You've still Hello. got an action left, if you wish. I'll you could use your action to, for example, go defensive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, so you'll gain benefits should you be attacked. Meet Gerhard. Nice. Meet Pie as well. Oh, of course. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Uh, oh, a little glow in the dark monster. Okay. Um, He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, from warning from Alamilwaith, yeah. Um, behind if you. I turn, can mm -hmm. I see? And if I you want to use your me? action to go looking, the answer oh. will be determined if you succeed or not. She sees stuff all the time. I'm just going to trust that there's something there. Uh, let's move. Okay. Um, who's got? Uh, right. Fine. So uh, yes, I'll go just behind. If you could basically circle me just behind Birdie, and uh, that's perfect. Thank you so much. So just marvelous. North, just to the north there, and then I'm. Um, um, uh, well, Adam and I, well done, good job. Uh, ten out of ten. <laughs> uh, you, but advantage for you. Advantage, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Leadership test. Artfully used. Uh -huh. What's it going to be then? You mean that shot seemed to bounce off it? It's now not on fire. It's withdrawn um, from the main melee. There are two, one on the ground on fire, one lumbering forwards. Actually, horrifically on fire, <laughs> and apparently ignoring it like it's it, nothing. What are you doing? Uh, it, these ones aren't scaly. No. Okay. They don't appear to be. In which case, she will try and shoot the big one. Yeah. Seems yeah, like. you're not going to miss this. Yeah, give it a go. Let's see how it goes. You say that, but <laughs> yeah. that's fair. Is it is it point blank range? Mm. <laughs> Would you you say that, but 98. <laughs> okay. What is it with bolts today? Um, I'm going to re-roll <laughs> that. Really Excellent fortune point! Really yeah. uh, right. Let's try that again. 95. <laughs> <laughs> Our bows don't like the rain. Yeah. 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 Strings are wet. Yeah, you get it. Get it. Yeah. Slides off its <laughs> enormous <laughs> torso. No effect in the slightest. That would normally really cause them to run away under normal circumstances, but these idiots... Nope. No. Elric grits his teeth, draws the sword again, and just charges them. Uh, can I talk in language battle out of initiative order? Yep, you got a language um, battle. Give, give me a second. Let, let me do something first. You could delay. Okay. Yeah. Do your thing, Father. Lovely, and uh, Leopold will take out his prayer book oh. in an unconventional manner. Because he hasn't, he hasn't memorized this particular prayer, um, and he is going, to, he is going to channel forth, and he'll move if need be, so that the cone will get both of them, and he will channel forth a silver flame. Oh, silver flame! Uh, assuming he successfully he rolls 99 no nope, he has successfully prayed yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so they take uh, d10 plus 3 damage each ignoring toughness bonus and uh, armor that's the well that's rubbish uh, no, no, that's that's <laughs> do you roll separately for them or do I roll and once for the ones something much easier and quicker oh <laughs> oh, oh, ten. Oh, oh, ten. Oh, <laughs> four wounds however as their enemies of Sigmar, they also gain the stunned condition. Oh! <laughs> um, he is immune to stunned. He is not. Um, the guy with the tiny brain is yeah, immune, to guys, yeah, yeah, immune to stunned. Um, immune to pretty much. He just probably anything. operates itself. <laughs> That's not where his brain is. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Spot where's, on. Where's um, just the one head. Yeah. yeah. Disappointing. Uh, so, oh, uh, <laughs> the number of wins was? Uh, four. You, can you reroll oh, oh, okay. Can you reroll the, the no. wins rules? No. 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 First, uh, right. Although. D10. <coughs> oh, no. You can reroll any roll <laughs> with one of those little. No. Silver no. Okay. Excellent. Love it. <laughs> um, that being the case, this one's going to roll around the ground a little bit more. Eric, Eric had readied and held. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What are you so, do? seeing as how the tall guy hasn't gone down, Eric will regrid his teeth <laughs> and he will charge him. I've got the space for charge. I've got advantage. Um, yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, seven successes. I only got three, yes. so that's plus four. I mean, uh, that's twelve wounds. Ow! Okay, a, a big slam. It. It barely seems to even try to get out of the way. Your blade bites deep. 
And again, as you slash across it, blood splashes. It's a disappointingly dark colour, though. <laughs> yeah, this, well, that one. <laughs> um, so, its attack. It will oh. lash well, out. They get to attack. Mm-hmm. Zero. Oh, plus one. Uh, one success. One success. I have four. So I win. Yeah. Forty-two wounds. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Bang! It's a bad hit. Elric's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna take a wee nap. <laughs> um, you'll have to burn a fate point. Yeah. So yeah. in Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, it's a little bit like Mario. You got extra lives. Okay. Not literally. All the PCs are marked out for something important. Be glad you're marked out for something important. Now, different people have different views as to what that means. Is it the gods? Is it something else? What's certain is, you've got a choice. You can either go get down and out, which means that you definitely survived this encounter. You will not take any more damage no matter what happens. So even if someone threw an enormous fireball from hell, wiping out forest for 44 miles, you would still stand up and go, yep, yep, I'm fine. I'm not saying you'll be in a good place, but, <laughs> but, but you'll survive the combat regardless. But it will mean that you'll be in that really boring position of not being able to do anything for a while. Or alternatively, you just ignore that blow. It did not happen. You take no damage and you carry on. It's a tough choice. But is it? Yeah, it is a tough choice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll let you dwell on that for a second. I go, oh, anyway, he's at the top of the round. He's uh, busy deciding what he's going to do. What's your plan? Shoot that guy in the You're just going to twist around. Ping! Yeah, go to it. I need to know what you're doing. Yeah, nice. <laughs> These dice are much better. How much damage? He really doesn't know. Look at him. 42 fucking wounds. <laughs> it was a lot of fucking wounds. 13 damage, plus it ignores any armor that's. I mean, quite, I'm sure. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Oh, nice yes. one! As the fist goes down and goes and goes. <clears throat> And you slip. Mm. It's as simple as that. It's not a deep and meaningful moment. It's nothing more than you attempting to get away and your feet go from you almost entirely. You go flying backwards, feet go up in the air, it swipes through, leaving you both disengaged. Nice. Um, off to the side. Um, it's confused. It takes a moment to realize where you've even gone. And it's rather puny brain, or perhaps big brain, depending on where it lives. <laughs> it's come to the conclusion that you just vanished. You are, after all, a wizard. So, what's your plan? Um, I've shot it. And how'd it go? Um, I hit it. Four. Four. Um, 13. 13 wounds. Nice. Punk. Oh, ow. No, no, not cool. I'm meant to be hidden. And then um, I'm going to hop down the side so the carriage is between me and it. So it- with that, um, our <clears throat> Bretonian will throw a knife down at it. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> Crit! Yes. <laughs> that was surprisingly cool. Um, for so That's damage. quite a lot of damage. Um, I think, um, 42. <laughs> plus what you did, that's, that's wow. Um, whoom, woof, 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 as it attempts to dive out of the road, accidentally pushing its heart directly in the way of the blade. If it just stayed where it was, it'd be necked, but no, whoa, fuck. Oh, that was bad. Trying to get away from your arrow. That double whammy of strikes and he's felled and he's down. And there's a moment on the back where he just goes, thud, down. That's nice. stagger gone though. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at it. Nah, so put it on. Put it on. Certainly a lucky nah. throw. Other men as well just yeah, look at was. him. Mm. <clears throat> he flashes a smile. <laughs> <laughs> so dashing. <Like> so. <laughs> What's the plan? So, can we see any of this happening? Or is this all in trees? Now that's what? mostly all in trees. You are where you are. You, uh, well, you can see them shooting down over there. Yeah. Over there. Th- that yeah. guy was to the edge of the trees. Look. Yeah. yeah. You'd be able to see him. He's like yeah. literally right on the edge. Okay. So we can see he's down. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about it. No. If you're doing the bodyguard protective job, you're doing a pretty good job of it just now, I'd say. By just turning up. <laughs> <laughs> totally. That's what your money's for. You know, yeah. protect the asset. <laughs> so turning back to where we were yes and that really big thing yes I'm not really keen to engage I don't blame you right up it's front. really big um, <laughs> it's, so, uh, it's, it's big so I'm going to pull out my sling oh, nice 
Okay. Okay. Go for it, David. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite as good with my swing as I am with uh, other things, but three successes. Sweet. The bullet arcs over towards it. Hits it. Where did you roll the thirty? Um, it was thirty. The thirty. So you hit it in the head. Oh, ah, superb! Pew, dunk. And it's a pummel, and it's plus ten. Yeah. Damage. It hits the head. Sadly, I'm just done. Um, and its head does this. Ooh, 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 ooh. As it goes, with its big thick tongue, which oh. equally lolls from side to side. Laugh out loud. So, <laughs> um, the lolling tongue I was not very impressed with the stone to the head. Your heart. Is, th- is this is this one that's in the woods? That You're was not sure. Me? Oh, don't give me that. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're completely sure. There's no problems. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's better. <laughs> I'll live in this world of denial. Um, okay, that one that's in between the big. Shack it's on the ground, and... on fire, screaming. Yeah. Okay. Let's just make sure that that's dead, shall we? So um... sounds good. Running forward, stabbing it. Yes, please. Charge. Yes, it's dead. Right, this is right. something else, right? <laughs> What do you mean, what? No, 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 it's okay. He's on the. Um, Too late now. Yeah, he's exactly. gone. <laughs> Done. Here we go. Good. Doesn't Excellent. Sense. Three successes. Stab. Run it right through. Exactly. Pull back. It stops screaming. The fire doesn't go out. Good to know. Perfect. Excellent. I don't have any movement after that, do I? No, that's your no, movement. Yeah. You charge oh, in. Yeah. Good hey, stuff. Yumi, what's the plan? Well, I'll put myself in a bad place. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, think? You're up towards <laughs> the thing. You've done 42 damage. I don't know, it does 42 damage. Yeah. I didn't yeah, do anything. Didn't do any, didn't do any damage. Didn't yeah. 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 Pretty clumsy, really. Yeah. 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 Drop the shoulder. Have you got a second yeah. to plant? Really doesn't <laughs> want to get hit by the big dude, to be honest. Mm-hmm. So she will move. Um, I don't know what her movement is. Uh, four. Four. She will move four. Through the tree line, like if she wants to keep nice, she can actually move eight if she wants. She can do a move for uh, eight squares. Well, I mean, uh, but then I'll just be near. near yeah. Don't do that. When he moved me my full action, that guy could charge me. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? Bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Not that I'm slightly <laughs> further away, I will try. Should it go? Give it a shot. You can't miss. I think that's what I said last time. You got a big boy. Uh, but actually. Is there a way for me to try and figure out, like, if the head was just, yeah, it um, is. maybe could I spend this turn up aiming? Yes. Looking at the aiming, yeah. you can just aim and, sure. and choose. I mean, there's, you're not really going to have any idea which bit's going to be more important than another. You can just pick and choose. But if you spend a turn aiming, you'll be able to pick at your target. Cool. Sure. Yep. Yeah, great. <coughs> uh, Less rolling. <laughs> yeah, you're def- still in the combat. And he definitely <laughs> felt the power that, uh, was uh, that blow. Yeah. So Elric is just gonna shout out that everyone should totally just back away from the tall lad. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your distance, and he will begin to move backwards. He'll have watched how slow he is on approach. Yeah, yeah. Um, and begin channeling again. Sounds good, keep away from the tall lad. <laughs> Sweet, seven. Oh, big one. Yeah, where'd I put my hands? Yeah, um, so, Leopold, what's he up to? Oh, oh six. I oh, know there's a fire, oh, there's a fire. Can, there is. can I use my action to physically drag Gerhardt away? <laughs> I mean, if you want to go over there and pull Gerhardt away from yeah. the potential, yeah, of course you yeah, can. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, you yeah, I'll just try to drag him as far away as I can. Get away from there! He's big and nasty and horrible! You can do your full move. Wouldn't he be more likely to move four. towards Birdie rather than moving into unknown yeah. 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 yeah, that seems yeah. fair. Don't let the GM yeah. move us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair play. Fair play. He keeps trying to get us into danger. I am 100% innocent. <laughs> We're playing right into uh, yeah. Right, so, Mago! Right, let's have a quick look. Um, a call comes out here in Battle Tongue. Who's got Battle Tongue? Me too. Um, us teacher and it's <laughs> um, called target the one with the purple hat <gasps> okay I'm okay with this <laughs> <laughs> um, which causes this one to immediately move and do a full charge action and in control ah balls uh oh I need to like, g- out given out. I'm dragging him there's no way I can like Dragon do really after the this. no not really <laughs> come on Ed this is 
gonna be a really I did not roll well. Okay. <laughs> I did not roll yeah, well. Dodge, dodge for you. <laughs> and you're dodging. Okay, yeah. so you can parry, but um, it's a big, oh. it's a really big guy, and you might find that it will ignore your parry. Dodging it always works a bit against big things. Let's dodge, baby. Just warn you on that one. Let's see how badly you did. Shit. I did pretty badly. Do you have advantage? Um, I do have advantage. Right, so, so do you want to know how badly I did? Yeah, I'm, I am... With his mighty skills, he has managed four fails. Okay, what have you good. got? So I am just seven percentiles over the test at the moment. Okay, so you've got zero fails. You've got zero <laughs> fails, that means you've won by four. Nice! Okay, it's a terrible punch, yeah. and you're pretty much getting out of the way of it purely by the dint of the fact that it's so big. Ah! <laughs> maybe, Big arm. maybe it took the instructions literally and it's targeting the purple hat. We really need to knock that hat off. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. Yeah. The hat. <laughs> oh, your hat! Your oh, magnificent oh, hat! I don't know where mind. we can get you some more. Yeah. Okay, that's not good. Good call, Andy. Uh, right, so he's done his action. Um, he's done his action. He is, I'm just going to do his end of round test now because we're effectively at the end of the round. Oh, he's passed it. He stopped screaming. Um, uh, he's dead. No, he's dead. Yeah. I don't need to edit them. Screw that. Guy. He does nothing because he's a corpse. Short one. Is, the, yeah. is the big guy taking damage every round for being on fire? Uh, no longer. Okay. Rain's put it out. Oh. Yeah. Um, he took it last turn. Uh, and, I need to hit him again then. Yeah. And that's the end of the round. Anyone going to hear the round stuff? Nope. Nope. Oh, anyway. Did, did we see that one go down? Like, he's down on the ground. Appears to be. He's clumped in the he's clapped down on the ground of the tree line over there. He's still on the map though. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't taken him off. <laughs> that is a smirk. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna give him another arrow just to be sure? Well no. You can probably gonna John Wickham. Bam bam! Body <laughs> no, shot, headshot. Yeah, because no yeah, I am gonna give him You're double arrow. tapping him, quite right too. Spend that cool, second right? arrow in. Really, really. Um yeah. For twelve damage. Pretty shit. Um, as the uh, <laughs> arrow flies towards him, uh, where did you hit him? Um, the 41. The right right the 41. Arm. Nice. Um, goes in and it howls <sighs> and immediately gets to its feet again. Oh, cheeky bugger. I will roll. I was <laughs> you use your movement to pull down up behind it. Yeah. Move out of sight so it doesn't know where you are. Sounds good. Birdie. What's going to be, Birdie? Did I hear slash see that howl? I think you saw slash heard the howl, yes. I'm torn. Again. Um, and, and if the yeah, big guy gets you, you will be. <laughs> From lip, yeah. I, uh... I'm gonna grab Gerhard and yank him back. Oh, you're pulling him back as well. Get out of here, Gerhard! Get him right okay, he's engaged at the moment. <laughs> secure the package, secure the package. Okay, <laughs> that means that there may be three hits coming out from it towards uh, him. In which case, I'm gonna back off and use my sling again. But you'll be firing into combat. And you might hit people who are in combat. Ooh, this is very difficult. Why did you. I don't. You're a nightmare. You could go around. <laughs> you're gonna charge it? Well, you're not charging it. You're in combat, pretty much with it. It'd just be move up to it and stab um, it. Yeah, stab, stab it. it. Okay. I hope yeah. it doesn't hit things. I mean, it might if it crits. It didn't crit. Phew. That's good. Three successes. Three successes. It got four. Uh, uh, you got meat four. Pie, two. Meat pie. Four. Meat pie. Meat pie. Meat pie still there. Do you meat pie roll? Two successes. But it's still, only it's still a draw. Yeah. It's still a draw. Oh, you've got a fortune it's point. Fortune. You can take it to a hit. No, we're at oh, fortune ball, points. Ball, ball, ball. ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's it going to be, Ed? Balls, balls, balls. Uh, ball, 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 the, the jokes um, make themselves. They do. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good bit of dither stabbing. Dither um, stabbing. I have. Ooh, I did not do well. I've got zero successes. Three successes, baby. Okay, so you've won. I do damage on. Tell me what you got. Uh, nine. Yep, you run it through, it looks definitely not dead. There is, however, a blob of disappointingly dark blood. Ugh. Ew. What's this mean? <laughs> Why is it disappointing? Yeah, not worrying. Disappointing. <laughs> That's a very oh, odd. I've been aiming yes. at this big dude. Yep. Now he's still I... in your line of sight and you're still at it. You can still pick your target even though he's in close combat. Mm -hmm. Um, he's, he's a so big massive. target, so you can choose um, which location you've aimed, so you're not going to hit them. 
I You're would fine. like to avoid all the areas that people have previously hit. That's a pretty difficult ask in the ring. Um, <laughs> he has well, been so far stabbed in several places. But you're behind him, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so no I one's hit him in the back. Yeah, mm. in the back. Yeah, yeah. Take a shot. Go for it. Let's see how it goes. 44. Ooh, it's a Roll again to see where you hit and add any extra potential damage if you get more successes. Uh, the, yeah, two more successes. Sweet, so I rolled that's a 28. Six, and what's your damage for your uh, boo? Um, it's a five like... plus... Oh, wait, it says... Uh, I, I guess it, it's, it crits anyway, because it's yeah, it's got, got precise. Got yeah. So you got plus five, uh, was it? Uh, plus five, so... Yeah, um, as the arrow goes into, where did you hit again? It was the right back. back. Yeah, so it's gone into the back and goes right in. I know you're left where there's some feathers. <laughs> um, which does cause it to do an almost comedic <laughs> <laughs> moment of side shuffle in front of everyone. The combat's radio and people are stabbing and it's like going, oh, that does not sit well. You can't quite get it in the right place. It's not the most pleasing of movements blood drips from it and it's sadly dark mm. over there uh, haven't seen him charge in Elric will begin to walk towards this monstrosity <laughs> uh, while continuing to channel you can go all the way up to about there if you wish, or you can keep so further away just in case he decides to do some sort of back turn on you. Yeah, he's, he's going to try and keep You're wary of that fucker, yeah. Just yeah. one success. One, did you say? Yeah. So there's not much in the way of channeling going on there? No. Yeah. I think Lupold has to help his, his allies that are engaged, so he's going to join the fray with Lupold. Love it! Didn't crit! Good. <laughs> um, so that's eight success levels. That's oh, way more than my two. So that's six so plus your damage, please. That's 20 damage. Ah, nice. Plus, he's on fire so and knock prone. Boom! He's immune to prone, too. Oh. Oh. Um, he's not bigger than Sigmar. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when was the last time you met him? Right <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in the yeah. The statues are huge. Yeah. Um, so, uh, that's a mighty blow, and it did not fell this tree of a mutant. Flame wreaths up it, causing blood to fizzle and pop all around it. The black icor retreats from it. To symbiote. Almost <laughs> that sort of idea as it slips backwards and moves back into the wounds to get away from the fire. Oh. We'll protest. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> it's actually cool, cool to be accurate. Yeah, sorry, pardon me. Um, uh, because of my blessing, I can reverse that. So that's a pass. Whee! Nice! <laughs> then... I mean, well, if I actually I would advantage have counted. Oh, uh, yeah, would have. I passed anyway. Yeah. yeah. No, Seven don't worry about it. Literally, it's all fine. It's just yeah, a big it's giant totally thing fine. with weird blood. It's 100% cool. Okay, so with that 100% cool part, it's its turn. Their turns. Our big bloke here... Hit the dog. The other guy. Put your hat on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> he. Writing that down. I'll go with the dwarf. I'm taking I, it I from Darren. Uh, um, that being the case, at the end of round, he's now beyond it. So. Fails his intelligence test. Does nothing this round except attack anything that's in close combat with it as it starts mm. flailing wildly. You don't need to test to disengage from it because it's wildly failing. It's not even doing it with any real skill or sense. Um, uh, possibly because it was on fire, possibly because mm. of Sigmar's wrath, possibly yeah. because of something, whatever it is. <laughs> it's clearly <laughs> wobbling around like he's got air getting blown up it. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing the it's impressive the thing. Arrow, so, right. big creature! It's the butt arrow. Almena Wife! What are you doing? This one did nothing, by the way. Just to confirm. Um, well... How, how high is the carriage? Could I conceivably, uh, it's like... It's like, it's up about there. No, but like, how big is the space? Could she conceivably go down, down under, and shoot yes, under absolutely. Yeah. Nice. So she's shooting out. Yeah, yeah. go for it. Yeah, yeah. Jump sideways. Yeah, yeah. 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 side yeah. right. Dive side. <laughs> yeah. Elf bullshit. Yeah. Hit, yeah. um, Four successes. Nice, as the arrow goes... But it's actually <laughs> 15 damage, because I can pick the higher. Oh! Nice. Boom, boom, boom. 
Seems to be dead. <laughs> Again. It's got an arrow in it. it. Must be dead. It's got blade in it. it must be dead. The blades in the heart. You weren't to blame. He was. So. I will hit it. <laughs> Dance forward, side to side, thrust upwards. Let's see how it does. Oh, it's a managed to roll minus nine successes. Wow. So that's nine fails for you to add on to. Seven successes. Wow, that's for a me. big blow. Uh, plus another one for me, Pi. Eight successes. Plus nine. So total damage is? 26. Seven. Oh. 20. Plus oh, nine. Plus nine. Yeah. 26. 26. Okay, yeah, you've taken it down to a crit. Oh, nice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and that's that. So that means you've struck it down in the. Where did you hit? I hit. Uh, it was 70. So zero. The head! Nice! Yeah. Okay, you slam up into its chin, your blade goes through the chin, pops out there from the book. For a moment, it's stuck there as you pull it right back down, taking its chin with it. Ooh. A large gaping wound. No. Royals. Around the tongue. Can I have a cool test, please? You can. Because yeah. <laughs> that's not a good look on anyone. No, that's a crit. You don't care. You've seen <laughs> worse. So what are there's wriggling, wiggly blood there? And a face in it. Hey, Gerhardt, can you see that? Can, can I say hit the face? <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of see that. Yeah, cool test, please. Yeah. That that's that's a somewhat disarming vision. <laughs> Uh, yeah, fine. One success. Okay, what are you going to do then? What's um, his plan? Oh, good. Okay, that's not nice. Uh, Hardy! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Minus 12. 12 fails. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not in a very good place five, just now. So, five successes. Five successes. So that means you've got 17. a rather impressive number of successes there. So, 17 overall. Yep. Plus uh, your damage. Plus my damage was six. And where did you hit? Uh, that's a great question. In the 52, what's the 52? Uh, body. You. The body. The body. You twist round, body. flex, stab, bleed directly <coughs> into it, into one lung, through the heart, into the other lung as you get an underarm nice. um, shot, pull right out, and a, an impossible amount of blood pours free. It gushes like a geezer. Splashing everywhere. Oh, easy gazer. <laughs> <laughs> All over you. Oh. Possibly over you. Do yourself a dodge test, yeah. please. Um, and as you're sans hat at the moment. Yeah. Splash, it hits. Splash oh, right down you. You're at the way? Dirty. Yeah. Tip to toe in this black, almost croiling, croiling? Crawling and roiling. Blood. Croiling. <laughs> good term, it. I like it's it. Yeah. That's yeah. our new streamer. Croiling. <laughs> <laughs> the croiling blood. And you feel it moving over you. Oh no. Possibly oh. seeking entrance. Oh, oh no. What are you doing? Uh, hold my breath and uh, mm. put fingers up my nose and try and put my pinkies in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a look. <laughs> and that's okay with my eyes. <laughs> that's our noble being the most noble you've ever seen. Um, all right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what what else can you do? Oh, it, it's nice. it, was, it was good. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, I think at this point you may would remember the scaly person and mm -hmm. have a look around. Perception test. Uh, yep, four successes. I fumbled. Um, <laughs> you don't just know where I am. He's clearly doing this. Crunch, crunch, <laughs> crunch. Fuck this. I'm fucking out of here. This is far too much for me. Crunch, crunch, crunch. As he storms his way out the forest, he's about here. Oh, nice. Oh. Um, he's clearly had enough. This is quite beyond him. Cursing under his breath. Best stealth check I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> as he passes out that direction. But you can hear him crunching away in that way. Through the wet undergrowth. Uh, I will, can I call out to Elric? Yeah, of course. And say, Elric, I think one of them's running away. <laughs> At about this point, you hear the... From the big one as it begins to deflate and the blood is just it's kind of pissing out in his direction and he's just like that and it's just pouring on him bubbling up around him wriggling slightly I, I presume i can do i have time to move as well um, you you want to move and uh, yes just like just you are kind of blind though that's fine 
just just back backwards. Back yeah, yeah, just backwards. Yeah, just agility. Uh, athletics. Yeah, I'll go athletics since we're on balance. Go for it. Athletics test. I don't mean, sorry. I don't mean. Go on, feel it. Because uh, that'd be funny. Uh, that's five. Ah, oh, you're far too. Crit. I don't crit. crit. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's five. Oh, <laughs> um, uh, then uh, I will uh, take it a step further and say if you wish to accept the potential damage to your clothing. He could fling himself down on the ground and roll around in the mud to potentially resolve his ick based issues. Can't try. Uh, well, I'm either either I'm covered in mud or I'm covered in uh Croiling blood. <laughs> so I'll take mud over blood. That sounds great! Yes. Down in the ground, rolling around in the mud. You got crit, didn't you? Yeah. It did not. The blood sloughs free, almost like it's flesh, and it starts to almost reform into the skin like of that. the big half deflated skin over there, like there's two separate creatures. But only the skin of them. Okay. I think we need some fire. Here. That's lying upon you like a really warm blanket. Oh! Don't like that. Oh. Wizard. <laughs> the worst part is. It feels kind of comforting. Mm. You know, like maybe yeah. if you just snuggled under it. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> cool test. Right, what's our plan? Back away from the blood. <laughs> Get clear as quick as you can uh, and continue the channel. Oh, just one success. Oh, he's doing poorly there. But you know what? It's enough. <laughs> I thought it might be. <laughs> Uh, Leopold's going to back up until he is about five squares away from the blood again so that he won't catch his lordship and he's going to again a call for Sigmar's silver flame to, to maybe do something about that because he doesn't like it. Or, yeah. Lo loads of silver yes. flames. A great out. wreath yeah. of silvery fire comes out and there's just a slight hint in the background of a deep male voice. Almost like a roar. Or maybe it's just the roar of the flames itself. And as it hits, the skin <laughs> goes up. And there's no trace of it. Oof. It's gone. Nice. Not even a moat in the wet wind. There is a scorch on the ground, though. Is he dead? Move the token. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway. Your nemesis. One hundred percent dead. <laughs> what are you doing? Um. Where's Gerhard? Gerhard. No, sorry. Over? Where's Elric? Elric is within your line of sight, just over there. Yeah. Edge of the road. To the north west. North northeast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I know he's channeling? Nope. Um, it's a fair uh, No, you've, you've, fair got, um, you've got the site, so yeah, go for it. You've got the site, yes? No, I don't have the site. No, you don't. I've just got... No, you don't. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what would Alamenoid see the flame I mean, I think he's probably his body drawing but... towards me, though? That's not an unfair mm. statement. I, I'll let a perception test go on that for an empirical perception rather than a theoracal perception. Five successes. Then I'm, I'm happy for you to be aware that... Uh, our bright wizard is drawing upon the actuary, the fire magic in the surrounding area. I'll just call Elric to my to my left, and uh, she'll just point where where it is, like through. Little fucker, interrupt. Uh, <laughs> 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 <You're by> marauders. <laughs> outriders. Yeah, outriders went off the board, clearly killed. For any of you who played Warhammer out there, you know if you go off board, you die. It was a standing joke in our old games clubs that you got killed by outriders, which became a standing joke in almost anything we played, bizarrely. Killed by outriders. Um, so, yes, off the map, and clearly our uh, other chap has gone as well. We no longer need to uh, pay that much attention to the map beyond the fact that you're on it. <laughs> I've got a whole year without spending a fate point <laughs> for a session. <laughs> Boom! I 
thought it was going to be me. <laughs> like, for sure. Yeah. You got hit by the meaning of life. <laughs> yeah. So, let's quickly sum to make sure we haven't forgotten any of our details. We've got the coach back there, which has gone careening off onto the edge of the road. There is no sign of the either the horses or the driver. The other driver is currently sitting on the top, quivering like the very brave and um, inebriated man that he is. <laughs> um, sitting beside him uh, is the scholar who's sitting at the front, peering over the top doing similarly brave things um, and the occasional knife toss aside he has been very useful that's what's there there is also an awareness because several people have been in that area of more trouble there's quite clearly a coach upended further down there there's quite clearly although sluiced away to a degree by the rain a lot of corpses stroke blood stroke nastiness down in that direction there's also a corpse in the middle of the road that was being feasted upon by the very first creature that you encountered. That creature which now has a head over there somewhere and a body lying not too far away from the corpse that it was once eaten. <laughs> nice. Joyous. Not great. We won't do our stress test until we've resolved what's going on here and we can finish it all off. But uh, not great. Is there anything that you're upon reaching the end and having driven off these creatures do it I'm going to oh. Elemena wife will knock <laughs> everyone all right in there um, thanks for help and are they gone yet <laughs> <laughs> we've seen them off but stay in there we are checking the surroundings right you are she says I think <clears throat> Leopold will feel obliged to, to check that wreckage yeah. for any survivors, as unlikely as Leopold is. Leopold is making his way uh, down that direction. Elric's like, walking that yeah. way. Elric's going that way, have it yourself, because you were with Leopold. Uh, also, like, I think that being very alert, Andy, to the fact that the two that ran off yes. might come back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fix Birdie up. Yeah. Yep, you're going over to Birdie. Um, Birdie's in a pad state. I'm going to fall with Lucas, because it didn't really care about the rest of them. <laughs> Lucas says, um, uh, uh, I, I'm fine, I think. There's, uh, uh, w what was it? Mutants. Oh, he says, not again. <laughs> um, and then you go, what do you mean, not again? He says, oh, no, it's just, you know, roads dangerous and all that, you know? But again. <laughs> um, you may well oh. approach the Gerhard Birdie group. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll look at the because the decapitated body of that first suite that is there. That right? yeah, it absolutely is. Um, she will gingerly like look at its scraps. Uh, and uh, if you are listening, you you may notice a few sniffs coming from you. Man. Hard not to notice her crying over the corpse of a dead mutant. Yeah, finishing bandaging up birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our anyway. there's, But there's two corpses there, right? Hmm? Uh, there's the one that it was feasting on. Yes, yes, yeah, absolutely. What's happening over here? Oh, anyway, hearing a sniff is not going to be missed on that. As you make your way down to the corpses, they are mangled. Interestingly, though, mostly not eaten. Only that one at the front was being eaten. One of them's got a few bites out of it. The rest of them are just torn to shreds. It looks like the big thing, possibly some of the others are stronger, if you could say, but that looks like it just went around and was dismembering things, oh, pulling them apart. These are not warriors or handy adventuring types. These are just normal folk of the Empire who have been properly broken. The coach is upended over on its side over there, and there is as many corpses as you can see there. I think there's like five sitting out, um, having been pulled free. Does this look like the coach that passed us without livery? It does not. No. Um, this, uh, if you want to go over, I mean, you can see the color is different, yeah. but as we get up close to it, it's got um, the Four Seasons uh, heraldry on the side. That's one of the coaching companies of the Empire, one of the larger ones. And again, somewhat surprised to find it down on the side road, although you might have turned out from onto the main road by now. It's probably just the main outdoor. Midnight oh, these guys got drunk and lost as well. It happens. Apparently. It, uh, hardly it happens. <laughs> um, so I imagine there's corpses in the library library of the four. Of the no of, no no not yet. No no drivers. No, you haven't found any drivers yet. And none of them are alive. That's a silly question. That's I, I think a fair assumption. If you yeah. go around and do one of those famous push 
with kicks. Yeah. <laughs> Punch ups. No, Punch ups. Do that. He's not alive. <laughs> they're, they're, they're beyond our first aid. Yeah. <laughs> but not got a head. Well, no, check his head. No, nope, the head don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fucking grim. It's pretty grim. One of them. One of them's smiling. Oh. That's going to stick with you. Maybe met the blanket monster. I don't know, my wife. She doesn't look happy, you think. Humans are hard to read sometimes. Gerhardt looks like he's helping Birdie. You still don't understand the social differences between them. He seems to help her when he's a noble, and he says he never helps anyone, yet he does. It's all very confusing. Are you all right, Yumi? Um, Yumi was looking down, potentially trying to see if there are any pockets she can access that aren't covered in goo. No, nope, it's now just goo and rags. Um, and, and she'll look up uh, and she's doing a really, like, she's working really hard not to cry. Just like... Uh, that used to be Rolf. I, I knew him. Oh my dear. He'd escaped. He was free. And now, now, now he's goo. <laughs> um, I know I will just hug her. <laughs> <clears throat> She's really tiny. Absolutely. And then say, try to say comfortingly, it happens to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. I think I nailed that. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so what was that guy who was doing? You may. You, are you saying that you you knew this? Uh, this? Yeah, he he used to run with us um, in East Ultra. You wouldn't have known him. Um, Probably not. Um, I'll have you know that the rags he was wearing was a very fashionable hood he made for himself. He started acting weird about a year ago when he got a weird rash. Um. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is that small moment where you're like... <laughs> but last I knew, he'd been captured by the watch because of said hood. You know, hard to see and stuff. And he managed to escape and that was it. We've not seen them since. You arrive at the coach. It's, as I say, upended on one side. What are you two doing? Well, I, I get in, I suppose. Possibly, possibly somebody might have hidden, like that lot did. Mm -hmm. like, see if there's any survivors. Uh, Hang on. Perhaps we should shout before, just, just in case yeah. anyone's waiting. Good. Okay, good point. Yeah. Um, hello! <laughs> We're, all the mutants are dead! <laughs> Yeah, they're they're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> there is no immediate response. This blue bubble sort of clamber up and open up the door. You clamber up in the top and open up the door, and inside there's two corpses. One of the corpses is a mutant. Um, it has a tentacle coming out of one arm, and it's wrapped around a bit of wood. <clears throat> that has no real reason to be there it appears to have grown out of the coach which is odd its face is frozen in a mask of absolute terror perhaps that's what it always looked like it's difficult to tell with these things you just saw a body body blobby thing who can say what goes on with these things but it doesn't look happy the other corpse is Gerhard And I'm not saying that he looks like Gerhard. I'm saying he's even wearing the same freaking hat. His clothes are different. Oh, the hat is different. It was just a, 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 a lurching Gerhard's dead moment. But that's Gerhard, and the hat's different. The hat's definitely different. And he doesn't have a scar over the eye. He doesn't have a scar over the eye. It's not Gerhard. But it really looks like Gerhard. Yeah. Uh. You pulled? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yup, there's a weird mutant thing with a tentacle sitting on top of the corpse of Gerhardt. 
They're both down at the bottom on the inside of the tipped over coach. Is it clear how they died? One's any, on top any, of the other. It's wounds? difficult to tell. They're, they're on top of each other, so it's really difficult to tell. The, the one mutant's on the top and has a tentacle wrapped around a bit of wood which has come out of the coach. And the body's covered, so it's difficult to tell. Something between the two of them presumably resulted in death of one or the other or both. We should probably let the others know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this doesn't feel natural, right? I mean, one of them was bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I knew the boy when he was a lad. He, he didn't have a brother. Again, that, that that family was willing to yeah. state yeah. that they were nobles alike. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, trapped in a tower, escaped. Who could be certain? You've heard rumors. You've heard of rumors. I think it's a slowly back away yeah. to go get everyone else. Meanwhile, back at the other side, Yume is really quite upset. A friend of hers hasn't just died. A friend of hers is a mutant. Was mutant. Point taken. The head's over there somewhere. Mm-hmm. What are you doing over in your side? <laughs> Going. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> There's too many tears. Quite a lot, yes. <laughs> um, well, uh, I, I, I guess that this is a um, what some people might call a character building moment. Um, Come no. on, <laughs> take him away. I'll, I'll tow him away. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, going, take character building! It's character building! Green <laughs> tears. Birdie puts her hand on his That's shoulder and says, we need to talk about that hat. This hat? Yeah, it attracts mutants. To <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Apparently, they said, go for the guy in the purple hat. Right, okay. We don't even need battle talk. Uh, it was a battle speech. Uh, oh yeah, good point. Oh, you yeah. did oh, that. Oh, oh shame. Oh. Good point. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the hat door has been knocked off. Been oh, that's fell true. down in the yeah, mud. Yeah, but then, yeah, let's yeah, be yeah, honest. Yeah. You are already caked top to toe in mud. <laughs> uh, the, the, the rain's doing a bit to help, but not much. You're, you're never going to guess what. We've got a spare. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all thing. we need to know. <laughs> Leopold, Gaha, no, I get them mixed up. Elric, are you all right? We will have. Yeah, we're, we're, we're heading back. Oh, in fact, yeah. I can see them. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I can't speak for Leopold, yeah. but I think Elric is pretty ashen faced. Hmm. Yeah, just like walking and not seeing anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a thousand yards there. Yeah, mm. sh- Leopold just shaking his head. Is it bad in that coach? Uh, just died. Elric's oddly proud that he decapitated the mutant, so he's not too sure. But uh, I, I, I think you just have to see this for yourself. I, I don't think you'll believe me. Yeah, yeah. Cut you... to everyone peering in the top of a coach at a dead Gerhardt with a mutant on top of him. See what you mean? All six looking down? That's definitely Gerhardt. There's no doubt. It's not one of those, is it kind of like? If it wasn't for the scar that you'd picked up just a couple of weeks ago, you would never have known that wasn't you. They could have sat in front of you and you'd have gone, that's me. I've seen my reflection more than once. Um, your, your friend he didn't sort of at any point look similar to me as I sit now, did he? Right. Okay. And, um, but you know, look at the bright side. Character building. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair play. Okay. <laughs> um, you, so what are we doing with these I, corpses? I'm a man with you are right to ask me to watch. We must protect him at all costs. Well, uh, people. Dur- during the fight, one of the mutants specifically told the big one to target him. What? I mean, I I I think I am I am me. But what if I am not? Who? What if that's me? That is not you. You are. No, I understand. It's not me. But what if it is? I that is me though. 
right? Someone okay. is trying to it take like your you. fate, your destiny, your weird. Someone is trying to steal it from you, and we will stop them. This could come in very handy, though. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Elves. How do you know that? And also, how could that be handy? Well, oh, any we take that, found him. Yeah. Oh no, he's dead. It's no That's more young Freud hunts. That's actually, that's very good, Bertie. You seem surprised. Oh, uh, no. Cheers just, for that. I didn't think, but no. Just, quite... if, if you do that, well, when you declare yourself as a young Freud, well, they'll say, well, he's dead. And we have the body, so. <coughs> yeah, there, there, there's some, something of a permanent. But a new identity. What, as the, as... Myself? As this traveller. Let's see what he's got in his pockets. <laughs> oh, you're right in there, aren't you? Corpse time! Okay, there's a mutant down there. Uh, oh. You don't care. C- can can yes. we, between all of us, tip the coach upright? It's possible, but unlikely. Um, in that, you know, you're looking at it and you're like... Maybe. Or what might be easier, tip it upside down. That may be easier. We just need to be able to open the doors. Are you going in, though? I can just drop it. She just drops in. Oh. Okay. Uh, it, it doesn't take much in the way of deep investigative skills to realise what happened. They stabbed each other. <laughs> one of them has got the blade right in the gut of the other, and the other one, almost accidentally it looks like, has killed the other one, is holding the blade like so, and it's plunged into the one that's on top, the mutant, with its weird, twisty, woody bit. Straight into it. And it looks like they've killed each other. I mean, I mean, He's dressed pretty well. Now that you've removed the clothes, there's obviously a large stab mark in the middle, which is not ideal. It's a sartorial choice to go, given that appears to be the words of the moment. Not necessarily best, but it's not covered in neck and hook. Um, uh, unlike him, dirty face, looking in from above. That These are fine clothes. Indeed, they're fine enough that even you note they are fine clothes. Is Purple Hat a mutant? <clears throat> Purple Hat does not appear to be a mutant, from what you can see. Just looks like he's normal. Rifle through. Rifle through. Rifle through. Oh, pew pew, there's a rifle. Um, you find, oh, you can't see it yet. Uh, no, no, look no. in your little. <laughs> <laughs> hand comes up and it's got a doublet and a letter in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the best day, yeah. doublet and a letter. I've wanted a doublet for a little while. Uh, Thanks. Oh. oh, we have a name. What What's is happening? Casta yeah. Aloysius Liberong. Okay. And this is signed by a priestess of the Temple of Sigmar in Nolm and witnessed. Do you know her? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's unlikely, but if you got a name. Yeah. You do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because I do. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to Nolm. Um, You've met her multiple times. Never heard of them. But you've heard of the priest. Mm. What? That's her name. Yeah, sorry, her one. Sorry, yes. You, that's the one you knew. Yeah, sorry, I've heard of the stuff. priestess. Uh, mm. You've met the priestess I've multiple met the times. Priestess. She is real. She is real. I've met her. So we've got some nice ID. Nice to meet you, Caster. Oh, is that... Oh, sounds good. Yeah. It's an affidavit. A legal affidavit. <sighs> claiming that whoever is carrying that... Is cast a libero. Why would he need that? Well, I can tell you why he would need that or want that at least. So this is a letter uh, from a lawyer's, uh, specifically Messrs. Lock, Stork, and Baal. Look into that as much as you wish. Uh, directed to uh, Herr Lieberung. <laughs> <laughs> Not good at the German names. <laughs> uh, that basically is a will and testament giving over a title, lands, estate, um, as well as a small sum of, I, I read it a moment ago, but now I've lost it, 20,000 gold? Is that how much it was? No, yes. Small sum of 20,000 gold crowns, Imperial. So that's why you might have a letter to say uh. that you are who you say you are. However, he looks like me, and I'm not. Who's this again? Caster. 
caster. Whose so, will is it? Um, it is the will of the late... Well, actually, it's technically a, a letter from lawyers. Um, the Baronet uh, so, Lieberung. Yes, Baronet Lieberung. Lieberung? Mm -hmm. Yes, very much so. Uh, written by an impossibly to read name. Uh, <laughs> D. Oh dear. Dietrich, do Dietrich you Bach? Bach? person to do Bar. this for you. Oh, of course it would be Bar because he's a. Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> I thought so. I mean, I can, I can obviously read most, most so, things. So, um, one thing you can say about that is Liberung is a real place, it's in the Widow's Vale. Okay. So this is this is theoretically it's by not far from Ubersreich. No, <gasps> they are subject to the Shadowfell. Shadowfell. <laughs> so, so, so this is this is useful. I think what we do with it is yet to be decided. Did because also this feels like a trap. Well, you didn't seem to get the Bretonian who was conning you. It was quite a spot. Fun game. It's political. It's very different. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can honestly say, my lord, I've never been prouder of you. No, I'm not an idiot. I mean, right. Yeah. <laughs> from inside the carriage. Do you want the hose? <laughs> Sorry? Is that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the basket. I guess the hose. <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> but clothes just keep getting handed out. Oh, oh yes. Nose. <laughs> Any Excellent. Any cash? Um, yes, there is. Uh, not a great deal, but there is some. Excellent. How much is not a great deal? It's that much. Oh, you might want to. Uh, That's so secretive. <laughs> I'll turn yeah, I'll it over. I can reach. No looking. Okay. One hundred percent. Not. Not a lot of money. Oh, bad things. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and with that, with the awareness that there's apparently a double of what Gerhard. was a double. Well, it's apparently a double of Gerhard. That apparently there's a double of Gerhard who's in line for a, let's say, suspiciously large amount of money mm. in an area where he was previously thinking of claiming that he had been born as a cover and as the coincidences ring high, we bring the episode to a close. The next episode will take place in Altdorf, the capital of the Empire, the city of Sigmar, where our bold adventurers, assuming that they are, follow up the lead of their handy little poster with Han Hals von Tassnick, well, no, pardon me, Hergard von Tassnick, and uh, debate whether this letter is as dodgy as it seems, or whether the opportunity of having 20,000 crowns might be useful in what is at the back of Gerhardt's mind, the war effort <laughs> that his family is potentially gearing towards. And with that, we bid you all a good evening. Thank you very much for tuning in. We will see you all next Friday. See you then. Bye.